for a reason. Mornings with Howard Stern, Pugs and Kelly Middays, Afternoons with Russ Martin, Evenings with Tom Likas and Love Live. This is Live 105.3. Join the alternative talk station Live 105.3 this Sunday at Bell Bottoms for the Texas Motor Speedway's Total Access NASCAR Pre-Race Show, hosted by Brad Gilley. Bell Bottoms, 8407 Great Fine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills was voted the best NASCAR bar in Tarrant County. Tonight, it's Jet Black with Dollar Domestic Drafts and $2 Wells. This Friday, the greatest disco band in the world returns. It's La Freak at Bell Bottoms. Saturday night, Jet Black plays your favorite dance music at Bell Bottoms. It's all NASCAR this Sunday with the live 105.3 Total Access NASCAR Pre-Race Show. Live from Bell Bottoms. Learn to be a NASCAR driver with Texas Motor Speedway, Lone Star Legends drivers and cars this Sunday at Bell Bottoms. Sign up to win a free driving school gift certificate during the NASCAR Total Access Pre-Race Show. That's Bell Bottoms, 8407 Grapevine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills. And remember, at Bell Bottoms, there's never a cover. He's the king of all media. Who's high pitch? And we're proud to have him. Uh, Howard. Uh, 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 he six. Yeah, there you go. On KLLI, Dallas-Fort Worth, live, 105.3. The Russ Martin Show. Damn it. Stop. You have a bad time today at the American Broadcast School. First of all, how would you know that? Because JD just told me. Oh. Yeah. It was... No, it's fine. Well, what was the matter? I didn't get the whole story. He said you were just kind of d- disappointed in the, the class. Well, it was a good time had by all. I just... It was weird, you know? Things are different now. Well, what happened? I don't know. It's just different than when I was going through school, coming through the ranks. Fire program director, show up at my place. I think there'd be... He a- still doesn't know I wrote those <laughs> that I wrote those questions. No, tell yeah. him. <laughs> tell him. <clears throat> I don't... I'm still not... I'm still not getting... Ah, it, was, it was fine. They were big fans of yours, and they were asking me a lot of questions. About? Um, just about the show. Um, how you taste. <laughs> they asked how I taste? Yeah. These people that don't know you from squat ask you how I taste? Yeah. Yeah. What did you tell them? Like cherry? I don't know. I just, I just moved on. So it was just the one? No. They asked more than that? Yeah. Some woman asked, why, when did my hair start thinning? And then, uh... Tell me. Shut up. Some person asked, do I sit down when I pee? <laughs> uh, just, just. These are, these are uh, 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 broadcasts. You're going out, you spoke for free, right? Yeah. And they're asking you these questions. Yeah. Yeah. And you just stay there after the first couple of questions, you leave. I was about two seconds from going off. I really did not react. I thought I handled myself pretty professionally. Well, what did you say when they asked you these things? I just said, you know, I just kept saying, Russ Martin's a great talk show host and, you know. Well, what laugh? does that have to do? What does that have to do about with me? About you? Do you sit down? I'm not going to gonna answer questions directly. When did my hair start thinning? How dare someone ask that about me? Why didn't you say that? How dare you? I don't know you. Because I wanted to act proper in front of class. Well, they weren't asking proper questions. Yeah, no, I know. Looking back on it, I should have just went off. I don't know why. Why you stayed there? Obviously, there was no respect for you. Why would you reciprocate? Yeah, I don't know. I've been taking the high road far too long. No more high road. Yeah, just uh, how many? How many uh, um, obnoxious questions did they ask? Uh, probably about five or six. Oh, because I wrote almost ten. <laughs> <laughs> what? Everybody didn't get to ask their question. I guess. Yeah, I guess everybody didn't get around to the questions that I wrote. What do you mean you wrote them? I wrote them this morning and sent them over to the school. <laughs> what the hell 
would you do that for? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Are you mad? No, I'm glad about it. I like taking half my day of work so people can ask me when the last time I had sex with a blow-up doll. <laughs> <laughs> I had bad ones before, but this one was just bad. It was bad. <laughs> you wonder where they can't tell that it's, it needs a little scrubbing. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you have to go? I just... <laughs> Are you talking about what Close said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm... <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy it, right? Yeah. But obviously, she'd been cooking in her pants all day. <laughs> right. So I'm down there enjoying it. Yes. And it's like, you know what? Possibly I'll lick her knees for a while. <laughs> and get me some fresh air. <laughs> the Russ Martin Show. Careful, girls. Why? The Russ Martin Show. No morals. L- lack of character. Bad, bad reputation. This guy's good. On the Alternative Talk Station. Live. 105.3. White people got no business playing the blues ever. Get ready for a hilarious evening with George Carlin. What the f*** do white people have to be blue about? Banana Republic ran out of khaki. Two shows this Saturday, 7 and 9.30 at Fast Performance Hall. I don't think white women should be calling each other girlfriend, okay? <laughs> Stop pretending to be black. And no matter what color you are, you go, girl, should probably go. You've seen his HBO specials. Now see him live. Overnight, I became a sun worshiper. Well, not overnight. You can't see the sun at night. <laughs> First thing the next morning. Two shows with the legendary George Carlin. This Saturday, 7 and 9.30, Vast Performance Hall. Reserve seats on sale at the box office. Charge by phone, 877-212-4280 or online at basshall.com. In prisons, before they give you a lethal injection, they swab your arm with alcohol. Don't miss George Carlin coming live. And that O2 Mustang is just about yours. Mr. Hall, this may be the single most frightening credit report I've ever seen. Uh Uh-oh. What on earth made you think we'd sell you anything but a half-eaten crumb donut? Your ad, for one. Bring us your tax refund and we'll send you away in a car. And? Well, here I am. In all your glory. Bob, can you explain the tax ad to Mr. Hall? We love tax refunds. We hate bad credit. But you say you'll take my tax refund and send me away in a car. Oh, right. That means your car. Beautiful. So, no Mustang? Not on my watch. At Drive Time, we sell cars to whoever we want. Bad credit and all. Unlike those other guys who have to answer to outside banks, we make the finance decisions right on the spot. So bring in your tax refund and we'll put it towards the down payment on a quality used vehicle, like a Ford F-150 or a Mitsubishi Galant. For the Drive Time dealer nearest you, call 1-866-DT-LET'S-GO. Credit status affects payment, APR, down payment, and term. This is pretty upsetting. Bobby. Yo! Bring me a hanky, will ya? So I was on Mavs.com the other day, yeah. and I checked out SBC Home Court. Home Court? What's that? It's this site that lets you check out pro basketball players' homes. What was that like? Oh, mind-blowing. You should have seen this guy from the Mavericks. Well, wow, what was it like? Well, he lives in a 60-room mansion atop his own, get this, private mountain. Really? Yeah, and a team of 27 specially trained monkeys waits on him hand and foot. Oh, that is so awesome. I've always wanted monkeys. What else? Uh, his TV set is the size of a swimming pool. Of course. The living room, entirely made out of marshmallows. Oh, unbelievable. I know. I'm, I'm messing with you. Here. <laughs> uh, what? I can't believe you thought he had a room made out of marshmallow. Oh, no. I, I knew you were kidding. Well, he did have a team of trained monkeys. That part was true. Really? No. Don't take someone else's word for it. Log on to Mavs.com and see for yourself how your favorite Mavericks players live at SBC Home Court. They'll take you on a guided tour of their own homes and let you see the technology that makes it special. Visit Mavs.com and click on SBC Home Court. Zero percent financing. That's right. Have your Wavefront Custom View IntraLASIK today and take until 2006 to pay. At Booth Eye Care and Laser Center, Dr. Booth wants to make your great vision a possibility. So he's offering for a limited time. No interest plans until 2006. The world's most experienced IntraLASIK surgeon having personally performed over 62,000 procedures continues to offer you incredible financing options. Want something just as important as the financing options? How about 
about Dr. Boo's personal 2020 guarantee or your Wavefront Custom View IntraLASIK is free. Call 214-328-0444 today for your free screening appointment. Great vision is what you want, so why not pick up the phone and go for it right now? More patients in Texas have trusted Dr. Booth for their Wavefront Custom View procedure than any other surgeon, and so should you. Experience the latest in technology and world-class patient care. Call 214-328-0444 or on the web. It's boothwithanylasercenter.com. Cabaret Royale, the ultimate entertainment complex where you can park and party all night long. Dance all night with our entertainers to help you party and stay for breakfast since the new expansion allows us to be open in the fair room until 6 a.m. Everyone is welcome at Cabaret Royale now that there are more rooms to party in with more than 200 entertainers to keep you happy and more plasma TVs to watch more sports than you can imagine. You can get in with your sports ticket stubs free at Cabaret Royale. All this fun packed into one giant complex. Cabaret Royale is the first upscale gentleman's club in Dallas, and they offer all your entertainment needs in one convenient location. Topless girls or nude girls, we have both. Bring your friends, bring your brother. We've got what you need to party till dawn with free breakfast till 6 a.m. seven days a week. Cabaret Royale, Dallas's first upscale adult entertainment complex. 10723 Composite Drive, 214-350-0303. Free buffet at the Fair Room at Cabaret Royale, 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And zero, zero cover. People go a little crazy when they turn 21. In fact, they go a little mad. Like CompUSA's Midnight Madness. It's part of their big 21st anniversary celebration. And it's going on Friday, March 11th from 6 p.m. to midnight. Come in and you'll see madness like a compact computer, monitor, and printer for under $250. A compact Presario notebook with an Intel Celeron M processor for under $500. Or if you prefer your madness on a big screen, you can get a 50-inch micro-display projection HD-ready TV for under $1,500. Stop by and you could also win the $2.1 million grand prize in CompUSA's Play 21 game. So come to CompUSA Friday night, 6 to midnight, and take advantage of their 21st birthday midnight madness. Do it before they wake up and wonder, what were we thinking? Only at CompUSA. Offers after mail-in rebates must be 18 to play game. No purchase necessary. See store for details. 97% of GEICO customers rate our claim service fast and fair. How would you rate your car insurance company? Call GEICO, 1-800-947-AUTO. Did you know that in Dallas we dine out some three to four more times than people do in any other city in the country? You are an eating and drinking machine. Able to spot a trend in a moment and a real original with a smack of the lips. Life is good here. It's simple and it's yours. There's a place constantly sought by people just like you and those that find it become what we call a regular. You go where you want to go because you live life that way. You go to a place called Humperdinks. Yesterday it was a, I've heard of that, but that was yesterday. You've heard we serve a full menu until 1.30 in the morning, that we originated hump nights, a sports mug, free Wi-Fi, and in March, we've got the Humperdinck's Bracket Challenge online, where you could win $100,000. We know you demand an original night on the town, and Humperdinck's is Dallas' original sports restaurant. In every person's imagination lies a place that you return to, because even though it's the same as it ever was, it's always fresh and original. When you're ready to taste it, not just think about it, you're ready to ease into one of the six Dallas Humperdinck's locations. Online at Humperdinck's.com, where they've got a couple of free burgers waiting for you. I'm John McMurray of Humperdinks. I've got you a good time waiting, and we're humping to please. It's that time. It's the Russ Martin White Trash Party, sponsored by Jose Cuervo Margarita Mix. This year, the party's at Gillies in downtown Dallas on Friday, March 18th, with Lover Boy. For more details, keep listening to the Russ Martin Show and the alternative talk station, Live 1053, the Russ Martin White Trash Party 2005, with Lover Boy, Friday, March 18th at Gillies, downtown Dallas. Sponsored by Jose Cuervo Margarita Mix and 1-800-THE-DOGS, legal representation with Bite. Do you know that home prices are increasing faster than personal incomes? That means that you will not be able to afford as large of a property next year as you can this year. That's right, you are slowly being priced out of the home market and you don't even know it. Interest rates are rising and this becomes a double-edged sword to attaining your new home. How can you put yourself in the driver's seat? By making the decision to purchase right now. Hi, I'm David Bradley, president of Just Mortgages Incorporated and the host of the Just Mortgages Hour every Sunday morning from 9 to 10 on Live 105.3. 
You know, there are no more excuses for renting. Renting is the slow decay of your financial future. As I always say, I can attain financing for anyone who is willing to follow my simple plan of action. Good credit, no credit, bad credit. Look, guys, you're entitled to your own home. Declare it. Don't procrastinate. Call my office right now, 972-248-1390. That's 972-248-1390. What's stopping you? Call 972-248-1390. Yeah. What? What a pussy you are! You, this is this is some kind of oh! <laughs> <laughs> you got a catch in your back. I had this is not. I went to the hospital. This is not a catch in my back. Yes, it some is. Some kind of what? <laughs> it's a catch in your back. It's some kind of muscle spat. Get Robin here to kick you. Kick oh. in the back. Square in the back. Oh. That's what it feels like. Well, that's what you wanted to do to my pancreatitis. But that could have helped. No. <laughs> uh, I was just leaving the house and it just kicked in. Did you twist a certain way? I didn't do anything. I'm just... Uh, it's, you haven't exercised anything wrong? No, I didn't do anything. Uh, if I stand just right, it quits. Okay. Let me find out where that is. We'll be both dead by by Easter. We will. I'm feeling better. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, Rob? You want me to call Benegas and get some muscle relaxer? No, because I bet that something like this clears up. You will. And now what it is? Just some kind of back? Because it's one of those Spatum. big muscles that go. That you gonna hang out the two? Mm-hmm. What are those called, Dan? God. <laughs> uh, wait. All right. What? I miss it. I only heard the last part of it. Someone was calling in saying it's because you're having old. a back spasm right here. It's because I'm what? Old. I need help. I don't need some smart ass. I know. <laughs> That's why I hung up on it. Uh, what, are, what are these two big muscles that go down your back? Uh, those are your lats. Yeah. One of them locked up on me. <laughs> and it's hard to breathe. You ever had that? Uh, yeah, plenty of times. You I probably, did. is it one big knot in one side of it? Yeah. You need some myofascial release. What is that? basically where someone can start with a thumb. Kick in the back. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> no. But it, you're actually warm. You're not exactly right. In other words, um, it's called trigger point uh, therapy. Do you know how to do that? Yes, I do. You're not gonna can you like come in it. here and do this? You're not going to like it. It's going to hurt like hell. It hurts like hell now. All right. Yeah. My massage therapist you. does this. How bad does it hurt? It's, uh, you ever heard of rolfing? <sighs> it's deep tissue massage. It's, but it has, you have to do it to release the muscle. Should I lay down? Mm-hmm. Should I lay down, Dan? Yep. Face down. Face down. Hang on. Let me get on the ground. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nothing's... I'm doing nothing. I know. I'm sitting at the computer, and I, I get up to go get my bag to leave, mm-hmm. and just all of a sudden, it's, it's a, sl- a slight tinge, and then every movement's a pain in the ass yeah. to where the debris... The I, I, it feels debris. like your lung collapsed on you. <laughs> Was it sudden or gradual? It was uh, it was pretty much sudden. It's not like I worked out and pulled a muscle. Yeah. That's actually a good thing. <sighs> All right, hang on. Let me get on the ground. I'm a cuss. <laughs> I'll stay by the dump. Thank you. <laughs> Quit with the old man noises. <laughs> Is it this side? Yes. All right, put your head that way. Which way? To your Toward left. me. Why? I'm going to the ground. Hold on. All right, just get there and I'll. Work I'm working on it. <laughs> I'd love to have seen you get in out of your car. Oh, it was. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Ah! Huh. Understand. 
your stomach. Wait! Oh, oh, I'm gonna cuss. Don't cuss. Alright, wait. Russell! Jesus! I apologize to, God. to the colors. I, <laughs> I hit the dump. <laughs> Uh, All right, arms at your sides. Uh, like this? At your sides. Well, which side am I? You're not Jesus. Like at your side. There you go. All right. Jesus. Go slow. I am. Let me find it first. Oh, Lord. Uh, it's, it's over to the left. <laughs> is that part of it or is that the heart of it? Go to the left a little. Oh, oh there it is. Found yeah. It. Right. <laughs> hey, Dan. Uh, John. I'm sorry. This is not the time to get cute. I'm not. Hang on. Let me feel around a little bit. Uh, was that right? Tell me when you're gonna about to do it. I will. I'm trying to get an idea. Of something. You may have slipped a rib. Yeah, my limb, my ribs are all gone. <laughs> <laughs> Your ribs are not gone. I'm just gonna use my thumb instead of an elbow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Try and take deep breaths. I can't. Those hurt. Well, you're gonna try. God, God. <laughs> Don't. It's not. Breathe, breathe. Uh, Take deep uh, breaths. Uh, uh, deep, breath. <laughs> deep breath in. <laughs> Deeper than that. Deep breath in. Let it out. Another deep breath. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Quit hitting my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gone? No, it's still there. Uh. It loosened up a little bit. Yeah, right. You may have slipped a rib for sure. Uh, that's good. Stop for a while. I'll get up now. Want help? Yeah, please. Roll over <laughs> onto your butt. Uh, Just kind of roll onto your side. As a butt. There you go. Uh, 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 you remember? Uh, you remember when I was putting on the the shirt, the muscle shirt? Yeah. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, God. oh <laughs> she ganked him off the floor. Did that help? <sighs> yeah, it helps a little bit. Okay. This will just this will just go away, right? Depends on what it is. Yeah, it really depends on what it is. I mean, if it just came on and I wasn't doing something, it should just kind of. You can move a rib out it, of place. It, it'll sort of dissipate, but the good thing is, even though it hurts like hell right now, is yes. that it was a sudden thing, therefore it's acute. It wasn't a gradual thing that you just built into it, and now it's going to hurt longer. Okay. Thank you. Whew. What a show. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go. Sweating. Go home. Hey, you are sweating. Uh, all right. So you feeling better? I am actually I've turned the corner today. I feel actually better. Did you eat solid food? No, I've had peanut butter only. You realize we sound like two old guys. <laughs> <laughs> we sound like two old guys playing checkers. Eat solid food today, you move. <laughs> you back. <laughs> I, I had a lung, lung collapse. King me. <laughs> I'm still on clear liquid. <laughs> I'm sitting in them. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Maybe an aspirin. Would aspirin help? I have aspirin. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> Everything else was cool today. I uh, I found out that I had a, uh, a sauna. Where's your sauna? How did I miss that? It's a... Uh... Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. That's fine. I remember it. Yeah, it's next to the weight room. Yes, I remember. Yeah. I went in there today. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, it was nice. Mm -hmm, very nice. Dry sauna, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where you pour the water over the rocks. Right. Yeah. Should I take this or should I wait for Venegas? Uh, aspirin's never going to hurt you. But those are small. Okay. No. <laughs> no. All right. Just two. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> uh, let me take this for window news. Okay. 
Hi, Mondo. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Fine. I'm hoping you feel better, dude, because I've had that pain before, and it hurts. I got a question for you. I didn't get to finish listening to yesterday's show. Did we find out what's up with our buddy, uh, Mr. Amak? Did Jerry uh, talk about it? I haven't seen the paperwork yet. Let me check. Hey, Rob. Yeah. You get anything on the Al Max papers? I'm still trying to get them uh, sent over. Uh, apparently, they were served, <clears throat> went to the court, and now I'm trying to get them out of the court's hands. Are you sure the people that that, that have this are legit? Because it, it's been like a day and a half to get the, this paperwork faxed over. Yeah, and I followed up with uh, Tim Powers, and uh, he's working to try to get a copy of it, too. Um, also, the uh, ar arrest warrant um that's legit as well <laughs> oh, wow so, so he's got a warrant for his arrest i i don't know right, right now it's all uh rumor it's, just, it's rumored rumor so he's, yes. uh, he's allegedly got a warrant arrest for his oh, okay okay i'll see what, we'll see what we can do uh uh yeah have a good show all right thanks Bye. it's officer mondo hmm. so what did you have to eat today I've had um, chicken noodle soup, <laughs> fat free crackers, and a bite of peanut butter and Gatorade. Yeah. The good news is I'm off diet drinks altogether because I haven't been able to have caffeine for over a week. And I've gone through withdrawals and I feel better. I feel great. Chinese checkers tomorrow. That'll be fine with me. Right. Under the tree. <laughs> yeah. I hate the sun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You just want to start news and see what happens. If you like. If you like. I know what this show has sounded like over the past couple of weeks. It's just people go through times when they just get sick. I mean, just everybody's been very kind to me. I've had strangers try email me. I've Brian Purdy sent me a great voicemail. They sent me flowers. They sent me a bouquet of flowers. Looks like somebody died. Who sent you flowers? This radio station. I mean, I mean, it's like four feet tall and three feet wide. Where is it? It's at home. I sent to my hospital. Really? Mm -hmm. It's very nice. I mean, it's huge. I woke up and thought I died because, I mean, it's giant. Oh. Very thoughtful. All the gifts, all the emails from total strangers, coworkers. Everybody but one. Everybody the one what? Everybody but one. One what? He never asked me how I feel. I ask you every day. On the air. Don't make me tump this board over and start the game up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on, we'll start. What is it, Lisa? <laughs> that was the gayest moment in radio history. What was? The beginning of the show. I can't help it. I can't plan my spasms around the show. Oh, my God. It sounded like y'all were getting it on. I don't care. Are y'all are y'all going to make it to the white trash party? I don't know. <laughs> you I, I'd are say both right, falling apart. I, that's what I said when I walked in the studio. Yeah. I, walk, I opened the door. JD's standing there. He goes, what's wrong with you? I went, lung's gone. <laughs> Oh, my God. It collapsed on the way in. I'm 44 and my lung's gone. <laughs> Y'all need to do I, something about this. Every week there's something wrong. Yeah. Every that, day. That's why I said in the next six, six years, at 50, I'm out. I'm beginning to go with you. Yeah. Okay, there's no need to be that extreme. Oh, yeah. If, oh, if no. things like this are creeping up... You know what? If I was out in the garage working on something or lifting yeah. weights and this back spasm started, then I'd go, okay, well, that's where that came from. Mm -hmm. But when you're just sitting there minding your own business, checking email, and it happens, then that's that's a sign. Wait, yeah. you didn't do anything? It just started? Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So I'll see you. Everybody has back spasms. <laughs> Everybody gets the flu. Yeah, but we get it all. Well, it comes all at once. It does. All right. Ready to go with news? If you'd like to. Do we have time? We're starting to hell. All right. <clears throat> oh, by the way, speaking of hurting ourselves, oh, I, I had Rob pull the audio from... Look at O'Malley's forehead. It's still red from where he smacked himself yesterday. Pull the hat off. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. Wait. <laughs> put your glasses on. Don't knock over the chest for it. Ah. Uh. That's wow! Just to the left. Oh, I see it. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> I got home last night, and my wife asked me. She said, "What's that on your forehead?" And I said, "I have no idea." So I went into the bathroom to go see. 
and I had no idea what it was, and then I remembered, oh, wait, I did punch myself today. <laughs> so I just matched up my knuckle, and it fit perfectly in the in the big bruise in the middle of my head. Where's the audio? Uh, Rob put it on one of the desks. It's marked. Well, will you hand me that? <laughs> put it in the machine. Thanks. I like it when you come by. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. For, what's the first one? Uh, let's build up because Dan was probably the loudest, right? Yes. Because <clears throat> it says that we've got Chloe, Trey, me, and Dan. So we'll go with track 10. We'll go with Chloe and work to Dan. Okay. Oh. Chloe flipped that to track 10, we. Is it 10? Because some of them flipped over. Let me look real quick. Yeah, it's, it's right. Okay. Would you hit play? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm stupid enough as it is. I'm afraid if I do that, I'll lose more sense. Actually, it might have the opposite effect. Yeah, why don't you give it a shot? You know, if I kick in a TV, this broke. Thanks, <laughs> 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 Appreciate it. I, mean it. I didn't mean it that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on medicine club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what is this? I don't think that would have been funny coming from anybody else. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Are you ready? Hold on. Turn your mic up. You got to get closer than that. Turn the mic sideways. That? Yeah. That way you can get up closer to it. Oh, okay. Here. Do this hand? This hand. Now turn side. Does Trey hit himself quicker? Uh, yeah. Let me go to Trey. Okay. Just get yourself psyched up and pissed off like Mama wouldn't take you to Sizzler. <laughs> <laughs> we do this at the end of the show? Yeah, last night. Why don't we waste all that till then? I don't know. It just came to us then. <laughs> Out of salad. <laughs> <laughs> Just get yourself psyched up and pissed off like Mama wouldn't take you to Sizzler. <laughs> out of salad. <laughs> what? They were out of salad. Yeah. No hot rolls. No hot rolls at the Sizzler. You can stop kicking your legs. <laughs> there he comes. How did we start this? This I don't remember. It's been years ago. You did it one morning. You got mad at yourself. And you said, that's it. I'm taking a hit. <laughs> and you wound up. And you smack yourself in the head. Uh, okay. Ah! <laughs> 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 All right, let me hear mine. Because really, you got to psych yourself up to go, I'm going to let me have it. It takes me. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid to say, but really, that's what you got to think. You got to forget that you're hitting yourself and you go, this guy's got it coming. This guy's got it coming, yeah. <laughs> All right. Do we need a break after this? Please. Right. It's time right. for sure. Yeah. All right, you ready? Sweet spot. And here it can little wind. Hard. <laughs> Always sounds louder in your head. Yes. Listen to Dan's. Dan's has got one. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Tried to decide which hand. Well, are you you're right handed? Yeah, I'm right handed. Well, then whack yourself with the right. Fair enough. All right, get into the uh, thinker position where your fist is up against your forehead. It flat now because of you. Hello. This sucks. I have huge knuckles. Well, don't break. Maybe me. next time you'll think about this before you bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring it up. Well, stop being so mouthy, and this wouldn't happen. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on a second. Trey, turn off the lights in here because there's a reflection on the glass. Okay, that's good. Do a nice wind-up. I think you would enjoy uh, giving yourself a roundhouse. Yes. Give it a going. Here we go. Oh. Ah! Oh, <laughs> he went all the way down. Let me hear that again. <laughs> 
All right, we'll be back. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. The Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. Hey, it's Eric from the Pugs and Kelly Show, and I want you to join me tonight from 7 to 9 p.m. at Sports City Cafe. That's at 3808 Town Crossing Boulevard in Mesquite. It's a big WWE SmackDown watching party with WWE legend Hillbilly Jim. It's part of their Road to WrestleMania 21 tour at the Town East Mall Friday and Saturday. I'll have tons of WWE stuff to give away, including tickets to Monday Night Raw March 28th in Fort Worth. So join me, Eric, tonight from 7 to 9 p.m. at Sports City Cafe, 3808 Town Crossing Boulevard in Mesquite. With the Alternative Talk Station, Live 105.3. With a new riding mower, I could have Yard of the Month by the end of the month. You can have it now, but pay for it later. Only at the Home Depot. Right now, get no payments, no interest for 12 months on any purchase of $299 or more. All it takes is your Home Depot or Expo consumer credit card. If you don't have one, simply apply on the spot. And with a new gas trimmer... I could find my sidewalk again. It's store-wide, so you can refresh your floors with everything from new carpet to slate. Revive your kitchen with the latest appliances. Or renew a tired lawn with new equipment by the best brands. As pristine as a putting green. That's how I want my entire lawn to look. No payments or interest for 12 months. It's just another way we're driving down costs. And it's only at the Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Offer valid through 31305 at U.S. Home Depot and Expo stores only. Subject to credit approval. Additional terms apply. Finance charges accrue if not paid within promotional period. See store for details. Maximum APR 21%. Minimum finance charge $1. Hey, it's Sybil from the Pugs and Kelly Show with Jeannie from New Fine Arts. Jeannie, when you think of spring, what comes to mind? Well, Sybil, I think of birds chirping, little bunnies, flowers blooming, a couple holding hands running through a field. Really? Because I just think of f- and I know just the place. New Fine Arts. What's the special this month, Jeannie? We're going to keep the buy one, get one free deal on all four-hour DVDs. <laughs> all multi-hour VHS tapes are buy one, get one free. So spring ahead to New Fine Arts. New Fine Arts has three locations. West Mockingbird near Harry Hines, Northwest Highway near I-35, and Shiloh at Northwest Highway on the east side. Or call 972-869-1097. New Fine Arts promotes safe sex. And lots of it. Mark your calendar. Adult film star Savannah Sampson is coming to New Fine Arts West, 35 and Northwest Highway, Friday, March 11th from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. And she'll be at the Shiloh location Saturday, March 12th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. This portion of the Alternative Talk Station is brought to you by Baby Dolls. If you're a truck lover like I am, Ford is the best in Texas. You know that. Independent surveys say it. Grand Prairie Ford can prove it. It's truck month sale time right now. Buy a truck. Best price. Best year. Best time of the month, rather. Try it again. Best time of the year ever to get a truck out of Grand Prairie Ford. And they have hundreds of new and used trucks, and they're ready to deliver. Uh, ask my buddy Tim Kirk out there. He will direct you from there, whether you're going used, whether you're going new. Uh, you look into new 05. You can get a new 05. That's the body style uh, that I have. Mine's the 04, but they do have the 05. Uh, F-150, starting as low as 14988 You can see my truck, the one they built for me up the beast, we call it, at uh, johndavidryan.com. It is such a blast to drive. You'll love it. And, and seriously, Fords are the best-built trucks anywhere. That's why they're number one in Texas, because Texans know trucks. Bank, bankrupts on site to get you your payment wherever you need it. They'll take care of you. And if you bring your uh, W-2 out, they know it's tax time. Jackson Hewitt tax people out there, they'll prepare and file your taxes uh, for you. Then you can either oh, just get your refund, or you can put it on your down payment. They're making it simple for you. I-30 at Bell Line Road, also easy to find. Dead center in the middle of Dallas-Fort Worth. Open Sunday Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's not open Saturday. It's the only day they're not open. It's Grand Prairie Ford. Ultimate Electronics presents Visions in High Definition. I can see him standing at the line, ready to take his free throw. I see the beads of sweat rolling down his face, a sense of doubt beginning to cross his mind. I can see that the last guy on the bench is too afraid to look. And even though I'm miles away from the game, I know that even the people sitting courtside aren't this close to the action. Thanks to Ultimate Electronics, now I see in high definition. Ultimate Electronics has made it easier than ever to add a new HD TV to your home court. Right now, you can save up to $300 on a brand new high definition set. 
with a picture that has five times the resolution and clarity of standard television, HDTV is the only way to watch this year's basketball tournament. And what's more, you'll pay no interest for 12 months on all purchases $2.99 and up. I see in high definition, it's definitely time that you do too. Ultimate Electronics. Discover the ultimate experience. Financing with approved credit. See store for details. Hey, it's Val, your morning news and traffic chicken. I'm here with my favorite mortgage man. He's none other than Rodney Anderson of CTX Mortgage. And Rodney, got to ask you, why is it so important when you're buying a house or refinancing to get pre-approved? Well, here's what happens, Val. No matter if you're buying from $80,000 up to multi-millions, you want to know what your payments are going to be. You want to know what your closing costs are going to be. And best of all, you want to know what you can negotiate with the seller. It's the best buyer's market that I've seen in 13 years. But sellers want to know, are you approved for your mortgage, give me a call today. There's no obligation to discover the Rodney Anderson difference. 972-985-5208. That's 972-985-5208 or 24 hours a day, Val. Everybody can always go to RodneyAnderson.com. And the cost for pre-approval? There's no cost at all. No obligation, Val. There you go. Straight from the horse's mouth. Rodney Anderson of CTX Mortgage. The number 972-985-5208. It's 972-985-5208 or 24 hours a day. Hop on to RodneyAnderson.com. The bus pulled up on the quad at McPhee High. When I got there, everyone was hurrying to get home. Okay, Okay, we'll see you later. See you you tonight? Hey, how come nobody's hanging out? What's the big rush? We've got to get home. Got to log on to AOL Instant Messenger. Peace. (laughs) Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah. Amy, meet you online in 15? Okay. You're rushing home to IM each other. Of course. What else would we do? Well, now that it's easy to instant message right on your Sprint PCS Vision phone, there's no racing home necessary. For only $2.99 a month, add unlimited instant messaging to your Sprint PCS Vision plan. It's just like IMing from your home computer. Use Yahoo Messenger, MSN Messenger, or use AOL Instant Messenger and take your buddy list group wherever you go. And right now, visit Sprint.com slash ready to find out about our IM to win sweepstakes. Yeah. Pretty nifty, huh? This is sweet. That's what I meant. Sprint PCS. Now that's better. Taxes excluded. Restrictions apply. Sweepstakes ends 3.30.05. No purchase necessary to enter. For rules and complete details, visit www.sprint.com slash ready. Pontiac's NCAA March Madness event. Big deals for the big dance. Now through March 31st, there's big savings from GM, an official corporate champion of the NCAA. Nissan introduced 10 bold, powerful cars and trucks and achieved the biggest sales increases in America. What's next? Nissan's drive to a million sales event. We're out to break a record. One million sales. So you get great offers on select new Nissans, like the all-new Frontier and the full-size Titan. Now get 2% APR financing for 60 months or $1,500 cash back when you purchase a new 2005 Nissan Titan from dealer stock. 2% or 1500 cash back on Titan. Only at Nissan's Drive to a Million sales event. We're going to drive to a million, so you get to drive a Titan and save. See your Nissan dealer by March 31st. We're in a drive to a million, so you get great offers on select new Nissans. Nissan, shift your ride. Sales increase based on PAI Auto Data CY 2004. $17.53 per month per 1000 borrowed. Subject to NMAC Tier 2 credit approval. Down payment may be required. See dealer for details. Offers end 33105. I'm on the phone with Krista from Advanced Laser Clinics of Fort Worth. Home of the largest laser hair removal clinic in the country. Very safe and comfortable and affordable. And they're going to take care of your unwanted hair. It's going to be gone. You offer a written service guarantee. And, uh, you know, I can't stress enough, nothing to be embarrassed about. You guys have pretty much seen it all and done it all. <laughs> seen it all and done it all. All right. So aside from the laser hair removal, you do uh, some of the skin rejuvenation procedures, the light pulse and the microderm. What does that light pulse do? A lot of people, I get a lot of email on that. Actually, it's great for removing um, sun damage or age spots. For myself, I've got rid of all the sun damage on my face. And we just got my before pictures in and I didn't even realize how much I used to have. Really? But it's gone. <laughs> now, you guys also have some March specials. 25% off your first treatment, and that's any of our services. So laser hair removal, microdermabrasion, or if you want to see what the light pulse is all about, come on in. Y'all are located where? 800 8th Avenue. We're just south of downtown Fort Worth over here in the medical district. It's 817-335-HAIR to reach Advanced Laser Clinics of Fort Worth. Thanks to Lotto Texas, there were thousands of winning tickets in the last drawing. That's because Lotto Texas features eight different ways to win. Drawings are every Wednesday and Saturday. Play 
day to day. If you're ready to take your business to the next level of success, then let the power of Howard go to work for you. Call local sales manager Josh Cooperman at 214-583-2577. There's no wealthier audience than my audience. The fact of the matter is we have not only the largest audience in radio, it is one of the most wealthy. Call 214-583-2577. That's 214-583-2577. When put the power of Howard and Live 105.3 to work for your business. Do you listen to Live 105.3 all day long? Do you love Howard, Pugs, Kelly, and Russ? Are you passionate about it? How would you like the opportunity to make some great money doing what you love? I'm Josh Cooperman, local sales manager here at Live 105.3, and I'm looking for the right person to fill a challenging position as a Live 105.3 account executive. This person must be outgoing, personable, and able to sell Live 105.3 to potential new advertisers. Are you interested? If so, please give me a call. My direct line is 214-583-2577. Live 105.3 is an equal opportunity employer. If DFW is a playground, consider him the schoolyard bully. The Russ Martin Show, weekday afternoons at 3 on KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth. You need a full body adjustment. I realize... Well, that. which way, Dan? The chiropractor or the full body thing? Well, massage or adjustment? They're two different things. No, it, I my, don't know. My, my massage therapist is also a reflexologist. He does full body massage. He can tell me on my wrist. Is he a chiropractor? No. Well, then how does he know? Because he's a licensed reflexologist. Well, they're a, a licensed, therapist. They're a licensed chiropractor. I know, but they come in. The chiropractors, for the most part, spend about three to five minutes with you. He'll spend a whole hour with you. I don't need a whole hour. I need this done now. You will need a whole hour eventually. I need somebody to poke it. Okay. Get somebody to poke it. So I need a chiropractor? Yeah. All right. Pop it back in. Won't even take 10 seconds. Well, what was it you wanted to do with me with the beach towel? Well, I was saying I did it like four years ago where a friend of mine had slipped a rib yeah. and put a beach towel across my chest, yeah. turned her around, and then <laughs> adjusted it back into place. But it's been like four or five years since I've done it, so I'm not even going to try it on you. Yeah. Mel Gibson puts his shoulder back into it in the movies. <laughs> That's how, unless you really know what you're doing. Seriously. You can do more damage than good. I knew what I was doing at the time. Yeah. Okay. We'll go get a beach towel. <laughs> uh, uh uh I am not about to do that to you. I, I, I feel like it's starting to subside. It probably will. And how is it one of my ribs moved out of place? Sometimes it's, I don't want to, it's not really a dislocation like Mel Gibson from Lethal Weapon. No. Right. It just sort of slips out of joint just a little bit and it feels like it's sticking you in your lung and that's what makes it hard to breathe and it feels like a stabbing pain in, your, oh. in the backside of your lung. Oh, okay. It's because it's out of position. Just from... Getting up off the couch, bending over to pick something up, anything can trigger it. It's usually something very minimal, like getting up off the couch, as opposed to, you know... Lifting weights. Right. True. Is this age-related? No, it's not. I've had them a number of times. Okay. Because it just seems like this show's falling the F apart. <laughs> <laughs> we have a vacation coming. We'll all come back 100%. No, we won't. No, we won't. No, we won't. No, we won't. The last time we took a vacation, you were getting over your sh shoulder surgery. Mm -hmm. We were off like a week and a half. That didn't do you any good, and I was sick the, the, the t week that's and a half. That's true. There's no coming back 100%. You can keep telling yourself that, <laughs> but it ain't going to happen. We'll come back amputees. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, my God. Oh. 
Who's on hold? Dan? That's uh, one of the officers that was uh, involved in the Corsicana chase the other day. Oh. He was listening to the show during the chase. <laughs> he doesn't want me to say who he's with? Uh, we probably shouldn't. Okay. Hello? Hello? How do you guys during a high-speed chase have time to flip on the radio? No, we just listen to you on a regular basis. At least I do anyway. But don't you have to pay attention or, or, or um, concentrate when you're chasing somebody? Oh, after years of doing this, it just comes naturally. I can hear about three, four channels at a time. And you can filter out everything that you need to hear? Yeah. It's called radio ears. You get your radio ears on. You can listen to uh, your police radio scanning and your uh, good time radio. How many, <laughs> How many cars total was in this chase? I counted 19, but I think uh, Ennis... And Ellis County dropped out as soon as they hit Nevada County. At, at what point do they decide there are too many cars? It's just based on uh, departmental policy. I guess Ennis and Ellis department policy wouldn't let them go outside the county. Okay. Was it was it Dallas that was leading the pack? Dallas and Dallas County, yes, I were leading the pack. Then DPS got involved somewhere around Ellis County. Then some more troopers from Nevada County got involved in it and took over the lead. What, um, what was the car? The car was stolen, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Is that the way the whole thing started? Or did they, uh, did, they did they rob a bank or something? Why were you guys I heard chasing two them? different stories. What were the stories you got? I heard it was, um, the car was stolen and then it was used in an aggravated robbery. Okay. Uh, I don't think we found that out until like middle of the chase that it was an aggravated robbery involved somewhere. And this, uh, Dallas PD, from what I understand, saw the car and ran the plates come back stolen and they tried to stop it and that's when the chase started how come no uh, all right so you had the you had the show on while all this was going on how come yeah. uh nobody shot at him as i uh indicated the, my wishes oh i i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, from what i understand one of the dps troopers i heard on the radio was talking about these might take a shot at the tires but the traffic was so heavy they called that one off Maybe they weren't listening to you. I'm very disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, this is going to have to go in your file. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, take, take it out of my pay. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, well, I'm glad you guys are all right. Yeah, we, we enjoy your show. And we appreciate all you do for us. I appreciate you. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. <clears throat> Bye-bye. I still don't know how you can go at 70, 80 miles an hour, even faster, dodging traffic. You got to focus on one thing. You got some jackass, me in the background. Right, talking. Uh, now's the time I'd uh, <laughs> prefer that you shoot him. <laughs> I figured out all those cars that were chasing the, the, that guy, yeah. somebody was listening and was paying attention. They're not going to shoot him just because you said so. They already oh, they already had approval for deadly force. I know, but they have to wait. You don't see the traffic coming the other direction. Yeah, I saw it on two different channels up here. I'm watching it. It's not like I was being... Um, Irresponsible? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you were. I made sure there were long strip, strips of freeway. I'm going to go ahead and leave, leave it to the DPS to make that decision. Well, I was looking overhead. <laughs> Thank you. Why do I, what do I, Dan, why do I care about line two? We'll start news. I uh, just had a few people calling in saying Mark Davis didn't ask permission to be on another show. So they ran a, who's, uh, what station is Randy Galloway on? It's uh, the ESPN station 103.3. Oh. They're both owned by ABC Disney, so. Okay. Mark's got his own radio show, so I don't really care what he does. Mm -hmm. So that one's okay. It's the TV sluts that have no loyalty to this show. Yes. All right, you ready to go? Yes. You already did a legal quote? Yes. You want one a little closer to the top of the hour? That'd be great. All right. <clears throat> 352 at KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. J.D. Ryan's uh, here with us. Thank you, Ross. Brought to us by Humperdinck. Clo will be out there Friday night on Beltline Road in Addison from 9 to 11. It's a white trash warm-up party, and he'll be also at Bell Bottoms in Grapevine Highway in North Wilson Hills. Saturday night, forget another white trash warm-up party with free tickets to the white trash party and register one person to win a trip to Cuervo Nation. Thursday, March 10th, 2005, Edie Brickell turns 39 today. Chris Titus, remember his show, Titus, is 39. Sharon Stone turns 47. Osama Bin Laden still kicking at 48, and Chuck Norris is 65 today. 
But Michael Jackson arrived late today to his child molestation trial and faces a judge who threatened to arrest him and revoke his $3 million bail. But the judge took no action against the singer in the open court, and the pop singer uh, is accused, of course. They resumed testifying today, saying the singer once gave him wine. The little accuser did. Uh, Superior Court Judge Rodney Melvin had issued an arrest warrant when Jackson failed to arrive on time, but the defense attorney said he would hold it for one hour. Um, let's see here. The, the uh, lawyer who told the judge Jackson had suffered a severe back problem was uh, being treated in, in a hospital, and he paced outside the court, his lawyer did, and talked on his cell phone until, until the singer arrived moments later and moments late. Jackson walked in gingerly, dressed in a jacket over his pajamas, and looked quite <laughs> distressed. Jackson's spokeswoman said outside the court that Jackson woke up around 4.30 in the morning and his back gave out on him. She said he notified his attorney and they rushed him to the hospital. Yesterday was a big day, of course, for Michael Jackson in the trial because Michael's accuser actually took the stand. The accuser told the court that he, Mike, uh, that he met Michael when he was 13 years old and undergoing chemotherapy treatments for cancer, which was serious enough that his doctor told his parents they should actually probably prepare for a funeral. Playing the odds. He's 15 now <laughs> and his cancer is in remission. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes they get better and they can testify. <laughs> the, <laughs> the boy went to Jamie Masada, the owner of the uh, Los Angeles comedy club called Laugh Factory. He said he'd like, before he died, to meet three celebrities. Michael Jackson, Chris Tucker, and Jay Leno. A few days shortly thereafter, the boy got a call from Michael in the hospital. They had a five-minute conversation, which Michael invited him to the Neverland Ranch at that time. Throughout his chemotherapy, the boy got about 20 different calls from Michael, seeing how he was doing. He said it was uh, the very first time he and his brother visited the Neverland Ranch that they actually slept in Michael's bedroom upon Michael's request. Their parents, by the way, gave them permission to do so. Their parents and uh, the sister stayed in the guest house. These are all part of the testimony. All right. It was also during this visit that they first looked at inter internet porn. Uh, the accuser said they looked at about seven different websites in about 15 to 30 minute period. Before Michael Jackson's accu accuser took the witness stand, Jackson's attorney got a chance to finish his cross-examination of the accuser's 14-year-old younger brother. He confronted the boy with discrepancies about his testimony. He had, uh, he had him suddenly recalling a third time he had witnessed Michael molesting his brother. During the boy's initial testimony for the prosecution, he said it only happened twice. Now he came up with a third time. So there's a lot of inconsistencies going on there. A uh, man denied alcohol during United Airlines flight went on a rampage yesterday, breaking a tray table and other equipment on the airplane. Brian Casillas is his name. He's been charged with interfering with a flight crew on flight 711 from uh, Denver to Anchorage. Casillas was heard swearing as he boarded the flight, and the plane's captain advised him he would not be served any alcohol. When the flight attendant denied Casillas a request for his drink, he allegedly threw his food tray down, spat on the floor repeatedly. <laughs> Casillas allegedly ripped the phone off the back of the seat and broke two tray tables, kicked his feet when there were no fresh rolls. Cassie also accused of urinating on the floor in the laboratory where he allegedly broke a handicapped bar and a changing table. He's also accused of swearing repeatedly and smoking several cigarettes on the plane. <laughs> Needless to say, he's in custody. <laughs> and will be for a while. Did he, did he have a freaking checklist? <laughs> <laughs> the big question is why the captain never let him on board if he was already swearing. Normally, if you're swearing at the gate, you don't get on the plane. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. You ever, there's an, uh, on A&E show called airline i love watching it because it's it's based on south it's mostly southwest airlines and they get drunks you know people are so drunk they can't speak or stand and they want to get on an airplane and then they have to let them you know will you go sober up for a while we'll let you on the plane all right uh speaking let me see here what else uh, authorities say a police officer twice used a taser gun device on a drug suspect, this is Orlando, Florida, who was restrained in a hospital bed because he refused to tinkle in a cup. Uh, our Tony, Antonio Wheeler was his name. He was arrested on drug charge and taken to the emergency room after telling officers he had consumed cocaine. Wheeler was then handcuffed to the hospital bed and then secured with leather straps after he refused to urinate in the cup. When the medical staff tried to insert a catheter to get the sample, he refused. At one point, a police officer jumped up, put his uh, knees on his chest to restrain him and then tasered him twice because he wouldn't tinkle. <laughs> this week, a Tampa woman learned uh, that the simple Bush Cheney bumper sticker can bring trouble, if not danger, from a total stranger. This is also out of Tampa. Uh, Michelle Fernandez was chased for miles on Tuesday by an irate 31-year-old Tampa man who cursed at her and held up an anti-Bush sign and tried to run her off the road. His sign, about the size of a business letter, simply read, 
Never forget, Bush's illegal oil war murdered thousands in Iraq. And the cops pulled him over after finding the anti-war sign in his car. They booked him into the county jail with one count of aggravated stalking, a third-degree felony. He could get five years in prison. Are you going to die? No. You just got that look on your face. Rob. Yeah. you call Venegas? Yeah, he, he doesn't know of any chiropractors that will come to the station. you got to go to their office, so I'm still looking. What else should I ask for? The massage reflexologist? Yeah, but Terry won't come here either. Why not? Because his office is in Northwestern Hills. He has to have his table in his area. What That's... about some of those chicks from the Swedish massage? <laughs> they don't know what they're... I mean, yes, they know what they're doing. They very much know what they're doing, but they, they're not trained as chiropractors. They said they went to school in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them up. Dan, do you want to try this again? Dan's not going to do any damage, that's for sure, but... You mean poke on it some more? Yeah. yeah. Did, I mean, could you actually feel a knot? Yeah, and I, I... The reason why I said it feels like it's a rotated or slipped rib is because it doesn't match with the other side. Yeah. Oh. If you know what you're feeling for, you'll, you'll know exactly what it is. You don't care. I do care. You don't care about me. I care as much as you cared about me in the last week. I checked on you. You did not. You called the negus. You never called me. You never called Joy. You never sent me a, even an email. How the hell are you doing? Yes, I did. When? I told you not to eat meat. <laughs> My apologies. And I'm grateful for your heartfelt sympathy. <laughs> Somebody's been making nighttime visits to a farmer in Ohio, Terry Patterson's sheep barn, actually. Uh, Patterson told the police he saw evidence of several, <laughs> it's happened again, several sexual assaults on his sheep, but never the intruder. So he installed an alarm in an intercom system. This happened two weeks ago. It sounded about 3 o'clock in the morning, Tuesday. Patterson went to the barn while his wife, Cindy, called 911. Patterson told the police he peered into the barn window and saw a man assaulting a sheep. Bruce Enger is his name. Is charged with felony. What's his name? Enger. What? Is charged with felony burglary for entering a building. What's his name? Enger. <laughs> Bruce Charles Enger. He's fifty-three. Are you just leaving out a vowel? No. <laughs> is charged with felony burglary for entering a building with the intention. Let me see how that's spelled. Of committing a, combined, a crime, namely sexual intercourse with a sheep. I'm, Let me see it. I'm moving on. Let me see the story. Patterson, bar. Say it again. <laughs> Bruce Charles Enger <laughs> had parked his car several hundred feet south of Patterson's home, jumped over a fence surrounding the barn. Enger allegedly told the police he was just petting the sheep. And they What's said, my penis? <laughs> <laughs> the cops said that was not a reasonable explanation for being in the barn at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this will be audio. Uh, if you want to hear, Did you hear Dan Rather say goodbye? Do you care? Uh, he was number one, actually, in the ratings last night. For well, the first time ever. I was going to say congratulations. <laughs> uh, uh, Chloe, put that in, would you? Cut number two. It's, it's about yeah. a minute and a half. It's this whole thing, if you want it. So, is it... Uh, is it something I'm going to expect? Yes. All right. CBS usually finishes a distant third, by the way, but they did finish number one last night. All right. You can press We've it. shared a lot in the 24 years we've been meeting here each evening. And before I say good night this night, I need to say thank you. Thank you to the thousands of wonderful professionals at CBS News, past and present, with whom it's been my honor to work over these years. And a deeply felt thanks to all of you who have led us into your homes night after night. It has been a privilege and one never taken lightly. Not long after I first came to the anchor chair. This is exactly the reason he has sucked in the ratings for the past 24 years. Yeah. Is he's got, he's got all the personality of, of foam. I know. <laughs> I expect his little cardboard mouth to open up and down. Yeah. He just... Ah. Night. It has been a privilege and one never taken lightly. Not long after I first came to the anchor chair, I briefly signed off using the word courage. I want to return to it now in a different way. How did he use courage when he signed off? I don't even... uh, he actually explains it at the end of this clip, but it was basically he would just end you know, the nightly broadcast with courage. But he never said why. 
Not that I can remember, although he does in this. Okay. <laughs> what about some sports cream? Would that help on this? What you need right now is ice. Oh. Ice. Yeah. And how's that going to help? That heat. He doesn't heat. No, 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 no. How, Why is heat bad? Heat's bad because it, it inflames the muscle tissue surrounding Could it Could it have been because I sat in the uh, sauna today? That could be a part of it. What um, Ice is what you want usually for the first 48 to 72 hours. After that, you can alternate ice and heat, but heat never for more than 15 to 20 minutes. It makes it worse. All right. Let's just do each other. <laughs> Not me with guns. No. Not the, the suck. <laughs> Let's just kill each other. I agree. Because <sighs> it's... You caught me last Wednesday. I'd agree with you. I feel like It's just... It's just... Because you know I'll hit 45 and I'll get polyps on my cervix. No. It'll just get worse as, <laughs> as we go along. You won't get... <laughs> yes, I will. No. <laughs> to a nation still nursing a broken heart for what happened here in 2001, and especially to those who found themselves closest to the events of September 11th. To our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines in dangerous places. To those who have endured the tsunami, and to all who have suffered natural disasters, and who must now find the will to rebuild. To the oppressed and to those whose lot it is to struggle in financial hardship or in failing health. To my fellow journalists in places where reporting the truth means risking all. And to each of you, courage. For the CBS Evening News, Dan Rather reporting. Good night. <laughs> you must design not There we go. <laughs> oh, oh. So he was number one for the last big hurrah. Limp Bizkit singer Fred Durst is suing now 10 different website operators for posting the rocker's homemade sex tape after it was stolen, he says, from his computer. The lawsuit seeks more than $70 million in damages and any profits from the site operators might have had in the last few weeks uh, when the three-minute clip of Durst and his former girlfriend began appearing on the Internet. In the complaint, Durst contends, Stop it. You look so pathetic. Quit. If I hunch over like this, don't hurt. Really? A little bit. Durst contends. <laughs> you, God, you do look like an old man just doing that. Durst right. contends the 2003 video was never meant for public viewing. It was stored in his home computer, but hackers managed to break into the computer remotely and make a copy. So he says, in December, Durst's manager was contacted by the owner of an adult video place that said, would you be willing to put this out for free, or for money, rather? And the Durst attorney said, no. You cease and desist. Okay. Uh, the lawsuit claims the site operators invaded his privacy and misappropriated his name. And I don't get how people get away with this. Obviously, you don't have rights to... You don't have releases. It's like when you and I, John, did the TV show. Right. We had to get releases to do anything with anybody's face. I don't know how they do it either. Other than Maybe on the internet, there's... Legally, that's so open, they don't know. It's not for broadcast or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I've got a bunch of hard drives I need to lock up. Why? Oh, yes. I'm sure you have some tapes floating around the house. You know, I thought about that last week. I was in a cleaning mode, and I almost threw everything away. Why? I just got in a mode. I just got in a mood. I went, you know, one of these days, I'm going to have a heart attack, be in the hospital, and there's stuff in this house that just doesn't need to be seen. I just got, I got, I came this close. I didn't do it. I went stupid. <laughs> Joy ever say anything about those? No. She didn't mind you having uh, tapes with other chicks? No. She's fine. Why is she fine? She's cool with it. She knows, she knows where they are. In fact, she's been instructed where to, how to get rid of them. Where everything and is. And she hasn't said, why don't you get rid of those now? No. She's cool. She's fine with it. How come is it you got to get rid of the sucker pump, but you can't keep... Uh, I think But you can keep tapes of ex-girlfriends when you haven't sex with them. Because I don't watch those tapes, and I do Well, why them. do you have them if uh, you don't watch them? I'm just historic reference. <laughs> I don't know. Now, great. Now that you brought it up, I'm going to have to get rid of those this weekend. You are such a pain You said ass. she knew where they were, and she... Well, she does. Okay. She has access to them. Have you guys watched them together? No. Yes, you have. No. Yes, you have. Maybe one. Have you? I don't remember. Have you? It's been years. 
<laughs> a bunch of people are offended at Kirstie Alley's Fat Actress show. One of these groups is the National Eating Disorder Association, which is angry because the show made, quote, comedic references to disorders like bulimia and binge eating. Those are funny. The gr- <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> yeah, they are. The group says, quote, to, many, to make jokes about this potentially lethal illness is as appalling as it would be to make jokes about any other life-threatening illness. Despite Kirstie's message, by the way, that she's a fat woman and she's doing just fine. Even the National Organization for Women is mad at her. They say the show is not sending a good message because, message because it, quotes, seems to be set up to make fun of fat people or describe how miserable their lives are. Fat people are funny. I have to agree with that. They always have been. That's part of the part of Jackie Gleason's charm was that he was a big, rotund guy and had big bug, bug eyes. Yeah. I mean, and she's a fat chick making fun of herself. Making fun of herself. And saying she's fine with it. And she's losing weight. The critics may be down on the show, by the way, but the public isn't. Monday's premiere attracted more than a million viewers, making it Showtime's highest-ranking series debut of five years. That's sad in itself. It is. A million viewers makes you the highest-rated show on cable. On cable. On Showtime. Go ahead. I can't watch her. On, I can't watch the promos. It's just so sad because I see the, the hot chick that she was. And you could tell on Cheers that she was... Oh, yeah. Plumping. Yeah. But, man, now... Well, she was in one of the Star Treks. Uh, Star Trek... I think it was two. Okay. The Wrath of Khan. I think that's what it was. All right. She played a Vulcan. She was hot in that. That's before she started to plump. This but, will be audio cut number one. If you want right. Now that 50 Cent has sold 1.1 million copies of his new album. <laughs> the, I got it. The Massacre. Just uh, pulled, God. In just four shade, short days, he doesn't need the uh, added hype with the big feud to him in the game. What cut? This will be cut number one. Cut number one. This Carl. is 50 Cent uh, saying he just wants everybody to get along. Cut number one. Overall, I feel like this is an opportunity for people to see us make peace. And together we can put negativity behind us. At the big press conference in Harlem yesterday, uh, this will be cut number Five here in a second. Number five, While please. they uh, barely made eye contact or spoke to each other, they did shake hands, and 50 even put his arm around the game, at one point appearing to kiss him on the cheek. The guys, by the way, donated a combined $253,000 to the boys' choir of, Har- of Harlem. Cut number five is, this is what's basically what's been going on. This is the game. Talking. I just want to apologize on behalf of myself, 50 Cent, and uh, to the fans, the uh, radio stations, our labels, and uh, I'm almost ashamed to, to have uh, participated in the things that went on the last couple of weeks. Almost. Almost. <laughs> I like that part. The Massacre once again moved 1.14 million copies in four days, making it the number one on the album charts. Well, what, what was the thing that happened last week, Clo, where one guy was on one show and somebody shot at him on the air? Yeah, it was at Hot 97 in New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just because he, he, he got on the deal. It just, it just the usual stuff that happens. Now, which one was that? Was it 50 Cent? Um, I think was actually on the radio, that, yes. Yeah. It was 50 Cent and... Uh, and who game, shot at him? I don't know. I think it was uh, one of the people... I don't know if it was one of the people within the posse or not. The posse think, went downstairs. Confer- the game's people came to the building. Oh, wait a minute. So 50 Cent's he's on the on, air. He's on the air. He's dissing ga- the game. And his posse's in the building? His posse's in the building. All right. So his posse goes downstairs. Correct. And, and why, why do they go downstairs? Because they found out that the game's people are downstairs. All right. Trying so to get in because the 50's on the air. Okay. Dissing the game. And who shoots at who? I got a better question. How come nobody's locked up? <laughs> uh, they never did find out who did what at the, down there. Nobody got really shot. I mean, hit, but they got shot at. By the way, the people that own that building now at Hot 97, from now on, they can only have one, each artist can only have one person come in the building, no more posses, and they've got to give them a week's notice so they can hire security and get metal detectors. Uh-huh. Hold on. Is that Black Eddie? Uh-huh. <clears throat> Hi, Eddie. What up, Russ? Yeah. Man, what's wrong with you guys, man? I, I, I don't care anymore. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Something will get me. Man. Y'all need to retire now, man, because I swear, man, the last week, man, I've listened to y'all, man, it's, it's like y'all have aged every day that went by. I know. You know what it is, right? No. It's punishment for the for the slavery y'all put the niggas in. Oh, Jesus. I never uh, enslaved any of you. Mm. Yeah, you did. Your grandpappy did. My grandfather was in Italy. He was enslaving... Uh, um, There's some niggas in Italy? No. <laughs> I believe that's what they call Italians. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, what's wrong with you for real, though, man? I, I don't know. It's some kind of back spasm thing. It'll go away. 
Damn, man. Between you and JD, damn, man. I, I know. I walked in the studio today and I went, that's it. There's no way that we're going to make it through the end of the year. Wow, man. Yeah, re- retire the show now. No. Why? Because. Oh, man, I forgot. Ru- well, Russ, okay. He just signed that contract with all that fabulous money. He just signed and got a big house, too. What about you, JD? What did you get? Signed all kinds of cash. Oh, really? What about, uh, what about that house you were looking at? Uh, I'm not going to get that. Why not? It got complicated. My realtor's uh, his mom got really, really sick. and uh, What's that got to do with the house? Well, because yeah. it, it just... it Because she had to leave the city, and I was dealing with her. And, and they can't give lot, you another realtor? A lot. Well, they, they can, but I want to almost stick with her. And it just... You know what? I just got a bad vibe. I just... I pulled away. Why don't you get a big black nigga mobile home? I don't need a <laughs> mobile home. I don't was know. that an RV? No, I don't need anything like Paint that. Paint it black? I'm stay in my apartment. And put your little headache rack on the top of it? Quiet. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen an RV with a headache rack on top of it? No. <laughs> what is that? Painted black. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, what are those mobile home things? Well, what is a headache rack? You know those little uh, chrome things with the lights on top? I got a little headache rack. Like a light bar? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got a little headache rack. Why? I don't know. Hell, it just seemed like a nice word. All right, thanks. Mm. Bye, Eddie. <laughs> I don't know where he was going with that. I don't so you're not getting a house because your realtor got sick? Yeah. Well, our mom got sick and very, very ill. And I just... Uh, that I still just, doesn't make any sense. I just got a bad vibe about it. I, I just About I, the house because the realtor's yeah. mama got sick. It just didn't feel right. So I just pulled out. If, if she comes back and it's still there, then I'll buy it. That's why I asked Trey the other day. It had just gone on the market and a ton of people were looking at it. And I didn't get the money. out. I, I didn't get the offering that I wanted. And I just thought, you know what? It just doesn't feel right. Wave off. So it's got nothing to do with the realtor. Well, it, it does, really. That was the kind of the, that was the, the kicking point was when she called me up. She goes, I got to be gone for a couple of weeks. My mother's gravely ill. I said, all right, you know what? We'll just withdraw my offer. I want to stick with you. She's a sweet lady. She's, she's older and she's just great. She's a really hard worker. And I want to stick with her. And if the house is available, then it was meant to be. If it wasn't, then it's not. The You're going to let a house go because some old lady's mama is sick? Yes. That's absurd. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I just got a vibe. It's got nothing to do with the house. I just got a vibe that it wasn't right. Did you buy my house? I ain't buying your house. I can't afford your house. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. Yeah, you can. No, I don't want to. This house I'm looking at is not as expensive Now, Rob, as yours. Rob's wife won't go clean it at night because she said something attacked her uh, Tuesday. Rob, tell you guys? No. What? Do we have time for this? We need to break very soon. Oh. What happened? She w- she'll go back and clean it. You know, she's because right. we got everything moved out. Now she's doing like the deep clean. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Rob. Yeah. You find me a doctor? Yeah, uh, coming and should be here in about 45 minutes. Who is it? Uh, Dr. Sam. You couldn't find one with the last name? I just wrote Dr. Sam. Yeah. I know that's stupid, but normally it's Sam something. Yeah. Harder to prosecute. <laughs> what? Harder to prosecute. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, Dan? Uh, that's her last name. Oh, is it a chick? Yeah. Uh, her massage therapist that works in the clinic called up, and I put him in touch with Rob. Oh. We've actually had a handful of uh, Cairo offices calling up. I just got off the phone with one that was about to clear out their entire schedule to come up until you said Rob had one. Oh, okay. So this is a real chiropractor. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Wendy's cleaning the house, yeah. and she said somebody taps her on the shoulder. She's thinking, well, they're showing the house. It's the, a realtor came in. Right. She turns around. Nobody's in the house. Oh, great. <clears throat> so no, now she won't go back after dark. <laughs> you always thought that when you were in that house. Nothing ever happened, really, yeah. in that house to make me think that somebody was in it. Dewana was the first one that brought it up. Other than the time I said... For the ghost to leave. And then your cell phone rang from your house. From my house. And nobody, and nobody was at your house. Yeah. And there's got to be an explanation for that. Okay. That's All right. Freaky. Let me ask you this. Dewan always said to get rid of a, a spook. You mm. just get in your house and you say spook leave. Or right. call the police. <laughs> no. And if you tell them to leave. Supposedly. Yeah. Supposedly they have to leave. So you did it in the house. That's where I got this drop. Spook, leave. Right. That's where I got that. Mm -hmm. So you said, and you were there, Chloe, right? He was, um, 
Um, I was there. At, with, I wasn't there for that, but the story. I think oh. somebody yeah. else was in the house with us because it wasn't just you and me, was it? I don't remember that time. I remember the time closed there, but I don't remember that. I think it was just you and me that night. Oh. I was there after the fact, I think, and you guys were freaking out. Yeah, you would just come out. He yeah. came over later. That was it. Yeah. All right. So you said that in about maybe two minutes? Less than that. Your cell phone rings, and it's coming from your apartment. Mm -hmm. And you answered it, right? Yeah, I did. And there was nobody there. Okay. Yeah. You said it couldn't have been any of your kids. I showed you the caller ID, too. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. It couldn't have been my kids. No, my kids at that time were with their mom. Joy was over west of Fort Worth. Joy was out west. So there was nobody in your apartment. Mm -hmm. Well, here's what doesn't make any sense. Let's say I believe in the okay. uh, haunted houses. Okay. They normally, I'm guessing, they don't haunt the house. They haunt the person. I guess. I don't know. Why, oh, why, why of all the houses in Plano would uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine decide to haunt the one I'm living in? Obviously, she's haunting me. That's true. So how come she didn't come with me to the new house? That's a Dewana question if you care. We'll see. Okay. All right, we'll take a break here. Right. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. Alternative Talk Station Live 1053 this Sunday at Bell Bottoms for the Texas Motor Speedway's Total Access NASCAR Pre Race Show, hosted by Brad Gilley. Bell Bottoms, 8407 Grapevine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills, was voted the best NASCAR bar in Tarrant County. Tonight, it's Jet Black with dollar domestic drafts and two dollar wells. This Friday, the greatest disco band in the world returns. It's La Freak at Bell Bottoms. Saturday night, Jet Black plays your favorite dance music at Bell Bottoms. It's all NASCAR this Sunday with the live 105.3 Total Access NASCAR pre-race show. Live from Bell Bottoms. Learn to be a NASCAR driver with Texas Motor Speedway Lone Star Legends drivers and cars this Sunday at Bell Bottoms. Sign up to win a free driving school gift certificate during the NASCAR Total Access pre-race show. That's Bell Bottoms, 8407 Grapevine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills. And remember, at Bell Bottoms, there's never a cover. If you can hear this commercial, if you're in the market for a pre-owned vehicle, listen carefully. Townies Ford in Mesquite has been designated the official Texas rental car depot. Decline in the travel sector has national car rental companies facing severe financial deficits. Hit it, hit it. To stabilize losses, they've shipped hundreds of high-quality, low-mileage rental vehicles to Townies Ford. Hundreds of cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs will be sold with no dealer markup, no high-pressure sales, no reasonable offer will be turned away, and only the official Texas Rental Car Depot can offer them. If you're looking for a great deal on a pre-owned vehicle, get to Townies Ford in Mesquite. Call 1-800-299-1078. That's 1-800-299-1078. Or log on to TowniesFord.com. These offers must end Monday night only at Townies Ford, the official Texas rental car depot on LBJ across from Townies Mall in Mesquite. Hurry, the best deals are going fast. Intellectuals, yes, we're intellectuals. intellectuals. Today on The Intellectuals, we have a guest, Edward Vasquez. He recently purchased a Ryland home. How magnificent. Ryland Homes has over 30 neighborhoods in the Dallas area with 15 new ones opening soon. Yeah. This is correct. Is it not Edward Vasquez? Yes, that's correct. Uh, we just moved. Yes, indeed. In oh. fact, Ryland has such a large number of neighborhoods to choose from that I must create a new world to describe oh, it. Please do. A bundleist. <gasps> wow. Ryland has an abundant number of neighborhoods to choose from. I have also heard that the neighborhoods cater to the different needs of different buyers. Correct. <laughs> Edward Vasquez is indeed impressed. I am. Ryland Homes has over 30 neighborhoods open across Dallas and 15 new ones on the way, each with everything you need right where you need it. Indeed. For a very short time, you can get a 42-inch plasma screen TV free when you buy a new Ryland Home as part of Ryland's Full House program. Visit Ryland.com today to learn more. Don't have 15 minutes. Don't like saving money on car insurance. Don't know the phone number? Why haven't you called GEICO? And that number is 1-800-947-AUTO. 
All right, Hoff Brow is uh, still featuring their sizzling platter for two. At the Hoff Brow, you can get a 20-ounce top sirloin aged to perfection from their own meat company. Comes over a bed of grilled onion strings. Also comes with your choice of two cups of soup or dinner salads and a selection of two side dishes. All of that, dinner for two at the Hoff Brow for twenty four ninety five. And because they have their own meat company, you know that you're going to be guaranteed a steak that's going to be aged to perfection. And through the end of this month, they're still doing the 72-ounce steak challenge. You eat the four-and-a-half-pound piece of meat uh, in an hour along with a side dish and a salad. You do that, you don't have to pay for it. If uh, you can't finish it, it'll cost you $50. If you do, you don't pay for it, and my foundation gets uh, $50. Uh, you can go to their website to find all the locations. It's hoffbrowsteaks.com. Uh, and so far, they've given the foundation, uh, I think it's about $350. So if you finish that, I get cash for the Police Fire Foundation. Uh, Hoffbrowsteaks.com, four Dallas, Fort Worth locations. The West End, Fort Worth, Haltom City, and Bedford. For over 25 years, great steaks, no bull. Whether it's a vacation or weekend getaway, visiting San Antonio means experiencing one-of-a-kind places like the Riverwalk, the Alamo, and the world beneath the waves. Because at SeaWorld San Antonio, you don't just explore the ocean, you're part of it. To erase the boundaries between sea and shore as you touch and feed dolphins, try to stare down sharks, and meet up with Shamu and friends. You'll explore uncharted waters as the tides move you back and forth and head over heels. You'll hear the ocean roar, and the audience too, as the sea becomes a stage and you're part of the show. So for your SeaWorld San Antonio excursion, be sure to pack the absolute essentials. A sense of wonder and adventure. Of course, a swimsuit and towel wouldn't hurt either. To make the most of your trip, visit SeaWorld.com. Hey, Metroplex Town Park here at Trophy Nissan, the home of the one and only original repo sale. Often imitated, never duplicated. In fact, it's back at Trophy Nissan now through Saturday. You can choose from over 500 bank repos, lease returns, trade-ins, and more. they got to go regardless of price or profit. You just make us an offer. And 19 down delivers on a huge selection. Nissans, Hondas, Toyotas, Chevys, Fords, Dodges, cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs, and every price range and all kinds of ways to finance. Never, ever preach at your credit. We have $10 million to lend now through Saturday during the repo sale at Trophy Nissan. Call us toll free 1-800-408-5555 1-800-408-5555 Remember 500 bank repos, lease returns and trade-ins must go regardless of price and 19 down delivers. There's only one original repo sale and it's only at Trophy, Trophy, Trophy Nissan 635 in Galloway and Mesquite. Don't miss this sale. Did you know that in Dallas, we dine out some three to four more times than people do in any other city in the country? You are an eating and drinking machine. Able to spot a trend in a moment and a real original with a smack of the lips. Life is good here. It's simple and it's yours. There's a place constantly sought by people just like you. And those that find it become what we call a regular. You go where you want to go because you live life that way. You go to a place called Humperdinks. Yesterday it was a, I've heard of that, but that was yesterday. You've heard we serve a full menu until 1.30 in the morning. That we originated Hump Nights, the sports mug, free Wi-Fi, and in March, we've got the Humperdinks Bracket Challenge online, where you could win $100,000. We know you demand an original night on the town, and Humperdinks is Dallas Original Sports Restaurant. In every person's imagination lies a place that you return to, because even though it's the same as it ever was, it's always fresh and original. When you're ready to taste it, not just think about it, you're ready to ease into one of the six Dallas Humperdinks locations. Online at Humperdinks.com, where they've got a couple of free burgers waiting for you. I'm John McMurray of Humperdinks. I've got your good time waiting, and we're humping to please. <clears throat> Good morning, children. This is Principal Fuller speaking. Today's lunch will be sloppy doos. Don't spill your coconut shell and save those umbrellas. Oh, those are fun. Don't forget your flip-flops for recess. Don't want you burning your little toes off. Now, if you need anything, just dial 9 on your phone to book a snorkel trip, maybe a massage if you're at all uh, tense. Have a great day, children. Let me know if you see any celebrities out there on the beach. What are you doing? I'm uh, delivering the daily announcements. For where? The Bahamas. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I just booked this great trip on Expedia. Got an oceanfront room, direct flight, saved a load of cash. I can't wait. But at least wait until you're off the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding, kids. Forget all that. 
except the sloppy joe part. Right now, you can get the guaranteed best prices on cruises with our Price Guarantee Plus. Just go to Expedia.com and select Expedia Cruises. Expedia.com. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Not certified by the Legal Board of Specialization of Frankel and Frankel and Rubin and Associates Cooperative Advertisement, Dallas, Texas. If you find yourself in a car wreck, dial one eight hundred the D O G S because you got your rights. Dial one eight hundred the D O G S. Hi, it's J.D. Ryan with The Russ Martin Show. You know, when I needed a lawyer, I called Frankel & Frankel. Now you can hear what other clients are saying. When I got in a car wreck and needed back surgery, I called 1-800-THE-DOGS. They got me $267,000. If you're injured in a car wreck, don't settle for any less than you deserve. You gotta call in the dogs. I didn't know where to turn when I had three knee surgeries for my car wreck. I called in the dogs and they settled my case for $225,000. 18-wheeler and truck accidents, motorcycle accidents, car wrecks. You gotta get what you deserve. Call Frankel & Frankel and unleash the dogs. I'm attorney Mark Frankel. Results may vary, but if you're in a car wreck, call us no matter how small or large your case is. 1 800 The Dogs. Legal representation with bite. Tell them JD sent you. That's 1 800 T H E D O G S. Get what you want now. 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 Why don't you just, I don't know, sex it up a little bit? Now. Mockingbird Adult Video. 708 West Mockingbird Lane at Irving Boulevard. Look for the big yellow sign. So don't go without it just because you don't have 10 minutes. Get what you want now. Choose from a huge selection of DVDs and VHS tapes starting at just $6.99. A huge selection of toys and novelties. You've got the whole thing now. you got the whole kit and caboodle, the whole package, and it really is great. Buy one DVD, get one free. Buy one tape, get two free. The perfect solution is Mockingbird Adult Video. Mockingbird and Urban Boulevard. Open 24 hours with 24 different arcades and preview rooms. That's just fancy talk for sexified. Get what you want now. So sexy. Discreet indoor parking available, whether it's Janet Jameson or Paris Hilton. We got it. 708 West Mockingbird Lane. That's West as in Randy West and Lane as in Chasey Lane. Whose videos you can purchase at Mockingbird Adult Video. The Alternative Talk Station, Live 105.3. This portion of the Russ Martin Show is brought to you by DFW Gun Range and Training Center. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. So now something's wrong with clubs. Yes. What's, what's wrong with you? Um, my cholesterol's up and my liver is swollen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big shock. <laughs> How did you find all this out? I just went in for re- regular physical and they called me back and the, the lady who's the doctor's assistant, okay. um, she goes, um, Clo? And I go, yeah. And that's weird because usually they say, they say, you know, Mr. Reborn or whatever. Like I said, I hope I didn't drag out of the studio. And I'm like, all right. So now you know, yeah. she's a listener. Yeah. And so she says, uh, we want to bring you. I don't know if you get. I'm going to fax over your results, and I want you to look at the the liver stuff and also your cholesterol. And she just goes, um, we want to bring you in for some testing. Okay. So I went in for the test yesterday morning, and I'm going to get the results. I think sometime next week. What do they think it is? Um, they don't know. I mean, it's it's barely elevated. She goes, did you drink? Did you drink in the last 24 hours? <laughs> I go, yeah. She goes, well, that may be it. After listening to the show, and specifically the New Orleans trip, we just want to make sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Rob will die from brain cancer from all the steroids. All right. <laughs> O'Malley gets a show? He does. All, all right. right. Congratulations. All right. Oh. Is that? That's me. Where's Dale? Uh, she's out today. Oh. All right. What do you got? Uh, actually, you got the, the delay on. What do you mean I got the delay on? I hear it in my ear. Well, then pull the thing away from your ear. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. Traffic is brought to you by Toyota of Plano. And also by tonight's Billy Graham television special. Don't miss Billy Graham tonight as he shares a special message of hope and find out how to have true peace in a world of uncertainty. Tonight at 7 on WFAA Channel 8. In Dallas, northbound I-35 to south or R.L. Thornton Freeway at Colorado. An accident has just been cleared, but traffic is still backed up to Keast. In Arlington, eastbound I-30 to Tom Landry Highway after 360. An accident has been reported. And in Louisville, southbound I-35 at Garden Ridge. An accident has been reported there as well. This report is also brought to you by 
Volkswagen service door dealers. It's Volkswagen's 50th anniversary in America, and it's a golden opportunity to save 10% on any scheduled maintenance. Stop by your Volkswagen service door dealer today. It all ends April 30th. That's traffic. I'm Dan O'Malley on the Russ Martin Show. Thanks, Dan. Weather brought to us by America Online. Going to be 45 for the low tonight, clear, then sunny and 70 tomorrow. Beautiful for the weekend. 80 degrees now, live at 105.3. All right, I didn't get many emails today because I still can't get DSL. Are we caught up? Are we up to speed on um, the shoot for Saturday? Yes. Because somebody said we got no audio equipment. That's the only thing we don't have. I hate to be a stickler. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we we don't have microphones yet. Wireless mic. I thought I I see I thought Alan had those. Alan Bajan are No, director. he told us and on that list you knew this 2 days ago. We didn't have wireless mics yeah. and you said you were going to call 39 and they could get us anything we needed. I said other no they cannot get electronics and stuff like that cuz it's too easy to break. You didn't them. say that 2 days That's ago? I marked everything I could get on that list and gave it back to Rob. Well, Maybe. we need I, I understand but we'll need audio. <laughs> I'm aware. So we have no mics for Saturday. Yeah. We have cameras. Yes. We have the lights. We do. We have the gels. Have those. And the flags. Got them. C clamps. Set. Stands. All in the truck. No audio. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, what about that Panavision company? Uh, they, Rob says they don't do microphones. Are we the only people into sound? No. <laughs> no. So, Rob, we have no uh, mics? Uh, I'm still working on them. And I know most people are thinking, well, you work at a radio station. Yeah. Take some mics with you. No, not the same. But they would work. Well, they would, but we need a little bit tiny, tiny wireless ones. We'll hide the big ones. <laughs> okay. We can do that. What's on line four? Now. All right, but we have a boom mic. Yeah, and I just talked to uh, Bijan, and he said that would work fine. Uh, he told me to continue to keep trying for the wireless mics, which I am, but I've got at least the bare minimum. All right. Well, just find some place that'll rent us wireless mics, and I'll pay for that. We're that close. Mm. And, and we have everything else. Yeah, uh, uh, two companies are helping us out. All right. Would you come in here and tell me the Wendy story and how come she won't clean my house? Who's in the lobby? Okay, give me a uh, he says he's a massage therapist and he's in the lobby and he's asking if you need his help. We don't know he's a massage therapist. I know, but he has one of those uh, dandy chairs with him. Let him in? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Obviously makes him official. Yeah, you get those at Sam's. <laughs> what kind of chair? Uh, it's, it's one of those massage chairs, I think. At least that's what he said. So it's probably one of those where it looks like you're sort of kneeling into it and put your face in the hole. Oh. Should I wait on the chiropractor? I would because she actually is coming with her massage therapist as well. Okay. So they'll be here probably about 30, 20 minutes. You, know, you need an actual adjustment. Well, just what massage. is that? Is this where they, they crack actually, your spine? No, no, no. They just move. They, they'll feel which ribs out of place and they'll move it back. Yes. That makes me nauseous. It won't. It will hurt briefly, but it'll feel so much better when it's done. And it stops immediately. Almost immediately, because I've had those before, and I actually got mine lifting weights one time. Or actually trying to pick up a weight, yeah. ran right to the Cairo office that was in the club. He popped it back in, and I was out lifting again in five minutes. Mm. It's just one of those things. It's acute, so it means it's happening right then, right now, and then right. you put it back in your diet. I've never big, been big on chiropractors. Once you have an injury that they fix. You're pretty much sold. I had a sprained neck, and I, you know, had my ear to my shoulder for a day and a half, and he fixed it in three days. I was sold ever since. Oh, okay. Well, it can't get any worse. No. All right. I'll take care of you. Uh, what was I going to do? Rob's going to come in and tell you about the ghosts. Oh yeah, and I was going to call the one. Okay. And of course, two hours on the phone today with the uh, with the internet company. Mm-hmm. I can't get no DSL. Still? Isn't that right? I thought you said the people had yeah, there before. no DSL. Yeah, the people there had that company and had DSL, but Rob spends two hours on the phone. They said, it's not available. Well, it was here before. You can't have it now. <laughs> but Am I making that up? No, no. Basically, they have so many slots. Okay. Oh, somebody's taking the slot. Yeah, and so I you're on well, a waiting the, list. What about the slot that was eliminated by the people moving out? I should have been in first in line for that one. But no. Trey said that they took their number with them, so they kept that slot. Oh. 
what do I got to do to get uh, broadband? Uh, Paul Colombo's working on it. Okay. Uh, Chris is working on it. SBC is working on it. How can they do anything? Um, because they actually can service that area. They use... Isn't this wild? Yes. If I was just a normal person, mm-hmm. I mean, without Rob climbing up somebody's ass, yes. I'd never have broadband. Not for a while. You'd be on a list. <clears throat> Until somebody moved out of that city or out of that, what, that neighborhood? Yes. Until somebody moves out, mm-hmm. I can't get broadband. You'll get it. But you're right. If you're a regular guy, out of luck. Who else is working on it? Uh, SBC and... Uh I don't know. There's a bunch of people working on it. The the thing is, is that that company owns the block, all right, and they lease slots out. Okay. So by their computer, they it says that there's no slots available. Well, the actual field technicians, the people that do it, right, they're actually going to the block to go. Hmm. It's what like, can we do? It's like saying there's no hotel rooms available. There's always hotel rooms exactly. available. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. And I got online and I looked at. Um, is it Charter? Yes. I got more information out of Charter online because they have a live chat. Okay. That somebody will actually answer you there right back, back and forth. Wow. I, didn't know that. I got more information out of them in four or five minutes on a chat line than Rob did two hours sitting on the phone. Jesus. They told me eight to ten days to get a modem. Mm-hmm. Um, my neighborhood uh, could get serviced by broadband. Perfect. But I wanted to find out what Rob got before I committed to them. Mm-hmm. Perfect. <clears throat> so I can get it from them. What about cable? Comcast? Comcast doesn't service it. That's why you have to go through Charter. Oh. What about via satellite? Uh, Paul was looking into that, except there's some sort of, like, slight delay with satellite because it's got to go up to the satellite and come back down, and 20. it'll probably frustrate you. So Why? Because it travels at the speed of light. So it's, twenty what, 22,000 miles up mm-hmm. to a geosynchronous orbit satellite. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, 22 up, 22 down. So it's uh, 44,000 miles. Travels at the speed of uh, light, 186,000 miles per second. Damn. What? You're impressive. It's well, still I can't, not fast I, enough. I can't divvy it up, but I know what the numbers are. Yeah. The technical people say you won't like it. I like it better than dial-up. Dial-up, it, it, going from having broadband and going back to dial-up, I can't imagine that anybody would tolerate dial-up back in the 60s. <laughs> I know. It's $800 for equipment and about $80 a month. That I got to spend? Yeah. For what? To be able to use satellite. Oh, I don't want that. Yeah. That's why we're working on other things. I wouldn't have bought the house if I knew there was going to be an issue. Yeah. Well, no, I wouldn't. Well, it's, it'll, it'll be resolved like everything else. And every day, there he is, dancing on television, <laughs> telling me how everybody gets it and that I don't get it. Sticking his mug in there. Scream faster. Oh, not you. No. (laughs) These people. (laughs) They get it. (laughs) (laughs) I know. Sorry. He taunts you. (laughs) Every single day. Yeah. So were they ugly to you? (laughs) No, just a waste of time. Why didn't they immediately, why did it take two hours to say, no, you can't get it? I listened to I it. I want to know why they didn't do it Monday when I was talking oh, to them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because they said, okay, it'll be on on March 10th. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why didn't they tell that you that? It was two hours on Monday. I don't know. So four hours total on hold. Miscommunication. We didn't give you the right information. And I heard him ask for supervisors and get up the chain the whole way. I listened mm-hmm. to the just eavesdrop for better, better part of an hour. And he was very nice, very polite. And each person, may I speak to your supervisor? I bet they can give me a number that I can call them in case we get disconnected. And he'd go to the next person, and he'd go to the next person. It was no every time. Right. Finally, we got a person in Dallas who wouldn't give me the inside line. I said, well, what happens when your family calls? Well, they call a number. Well, I want that number. Can't give it to you. Can we get DSL service? No, you can't. Okay. All right. So, worst case scenario, I'll go with that charter company. Yes. I just got to wait a week and a half. Yeah. He might want to order it yeah. to save time. Yeah. And then if Chris and everybody gets something else out, pops, then we just cancel it. Okay. 
Now, what happened to Wendy in the house? Which night was this? Uh, Tuesday, when she was cleaning. <clears throat> and this um, was after... What, what does after dark have to do with this? Well, I don't think she wants to be in the house alone after dark. It's empty. And well, if the house goes. is haunted, it's, it's haunted during the day. They don't have hours. No, it's not as spooky during the day. All right. So, she wig out? A little bit, yeah. Um, she was cleaning, and uh, she was back in the closet. And oh, first or second floor? Uh, first floor in the bed, the main master bedroom. Okay, so she was in the master closet. Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, and she felt. You know like- what? That's the closet. Abby would sit. It. Yeah, Abby would stare, just sit there and stare mm-hmm. for no reason. I remember that. The master closet. You have to. Uh, you got the master bedroom, and then the master bath, and then the closets on the other end of that. Mm-hmm. And she would just sit there and stare. And I thought maybe there was. Uh, Reflections out of the window or something like that. She'd stare into that closet for minutes for no reason. Mm. So what happened in there? Okay. Well, starting from scratch, she went in, turned off the alarm, and obviously no one called because there were some problems with the alarm. Okay. Right? She um, tried to use the phone. There was no dial tone. Anyway, she's cleaning. Well, that's because the, the fabulous phone company I had shut it off even though I told them not to. <laughs> And all the voicemail that I have stored in the house, gone. I can't get to oh, okay. because they shut off my phone service. Even though we said, don't shut off the phone service for a couple of weeks until somebody calls you. They don't care. Mm-hmm. They don't listen. They're too busy putting James Earl Jones dancing <laughs> on television. Oh, yeah. They canceled, they canceled your order, too, for DSL. Well, of course they did. I can't get it. Well, I know, but at least they could have told us that you couldn't get it and that they were canceling it because when I called today and said, hey, it's supposed to be in today, they go, no, that order's been canceled. I said, well, who canceled it? I don't know. Why wouldn't they just put you on a list? If, I, I, I don't care. Whatever. All right. I, really, who are you going to bitch to? Regardless of what company, you're going to run into... I could get on the air and bag on them, mm-hmm. but the past five years, I never had a problem with them. No. And that five years, I didn't get on and say, hey, I'm having great service with this company, so I'm not going to bag on them for this one instance. Mm. And, and really, who are you going to bitch to? No, no, nobody that answers the phone is going to lose any cash no. if you tell them, you know what, I'm yanking my phone service. Okay. I mean it. All righty. Cut it off right now. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's probably the most frustrating thing about dealing with any company is in, unless they're they have a vested interest yeah in profit sharing <laughs> they don't give a flying f what you tell them no. all right so she's in the, in the uh, closet all right she's in the closet she's feels, vacuuming yeah feel something tap her shoulder like so, tap it hard or uh, just a just a, a graze like, okay you know, almost like saying, excuse me. All right. She turned around, nothing there. Bothered her, freaked her out a little bit. Okay. She continued to uh, vacuum. And then apparently when she was done, there's a phone in your bedroom. And I think it's a speaker phone because she heard a dial tone. She thinks the ghost is mad that you left. Why wouldn't it just get in the moving truck with the rest of my stuff? <laughs> Somebody sent us an email about this. What? This guy, take this for what it's worth. He right. says he's an amateur ghost hunter, paranormal investigator. He says spirits attached to a location, spirits attached to a person, spirits attached to an object. Antiques many times become come with bonus features, he says. Transient spirits that simply wander from location to location also occur. Yes. This well, but does- Dewana said this is a, a, an ex-girlfriend of mine, the one that died. Yes. So maybe right. she's attached herself to the house somehow. He says, this sounds silly, but I've been an amateur ghost hunter, paranormal investigator for years, and I've run across all of these. I once had a spirit that spent the last 150 years in an East Texas hotel and followed me and my girlfriend back to my Fort Worth home where he bothered us for months. Best bet. Get a the spirit one. or a spook? It says a spirit. Because I've had the other problem. <laughs> <laughs> Not in your neighborhood. <laughs> Best bet, get the wanted to try and find out what it wants before trying to cast it off. If this ghost is at a power level that it can affect touch or move physical objects, I would want to piss it off. What, Dan? I was going to say, he mentioned... Um, th- antiques. Th- antiques, and you antique all the time, and you have tons of antique stuff. So even if Duana is right, one, you, know, you might have multiple uh, spirits. One might be attached to, you know, that Dukes of Hazard lunchbox you have, and the other one's your ex-girlfriend. Right. Well, you still have stuff in that house, too. What do I got left? 
Uh, Wendy has a whole list of it. Of stuff I don't want to go back now. Mm. It's safe. You've been there five years. It's never hurt you. Unless its power level went up. Yeah. <laughs> what is, this is not a game on Cartoon well, well, Network. We don't know. Maybe it ate some more energy dots while I was gone. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Could be in God mode. Yeah. You can't do All right. That's enough. So Wendy won't go back or just won't go back at dark? Yeah, she's there now. But she said as soon as it starts getting dark out, she's leaving. The phone should be off. Sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Gash. <laughs> we should go spend the night there before I sell the house. I don't want to. Yeah. All empty and everything. Yeah, I know. Even better. No. Makes it spookier. I don't want to. Yeah. All of us will go. Look at Rob. Dick. Yeah, yeah, let's go. You're a nut. There's plenty of doors. <laughs> All right. Let's do it before I sell the house. Oh. We got we got Spittleville this weekend. We yeah. got the white trash party. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not. Even if the house sells this next week, it'll take them a month to close. Mm -hmm. So we can do it. We can do it one night when we're on vacation. Mm -hmm. Is anybody going out of town? I'm not. Are you, Rob? I am. No. Oh. We could do it Saturday night after yeah. the white trash party. Okay. I'll go if you yes. ask. Well, white trash is on Friday, so yes. we could do it on Saturday. Don't say you're going to go, John, and oh. then don't show up. Because oh. every single time that you say you're going to go someplace, you there is no, we can't smell you. <laughs> if, I'll go. It'll be fun. Just bring a sleeping bag. Okay. Can I bring a blow-up mattress? Is that okay? So I don't have to sleep on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. All right. <laughs> we need a break? Yes. Like right now? Very soon. All right. Let me call the one. Hi, amazing. Hi. We're on the air. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> I was working on the computer. Yeah. You know, nothing big. Just yeah. doing some accounting and such. Not doing any appearances or anything? Uh, that could happen, yeah. Well, have you done any? Well, sort of, but in, in different parts of the country, you know, I'm not just there. I'm doing radio all over the country. Okay. Okay. How's the book sales going? They're doing pretty good. They, people, word of mouth is beginning to make them happen pretty well, and I'm liking that. Even though it's been out a year and a half? Uh-huh. Okay. Word of mouth is really making it go. Um, you know I moved out of the house in Plano, right? No. Oh. I did. The Claude turned on the radio the other night, the other day when I was going somewhere. Right. And he said something about you moving, and I said, "Oh, okay." He hadn't told me yet. Okay. Okay. Did you? Where are you moving to? You think that's going to keep you from having ghosts? See. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he's well, going to follow you. Rob's wife is cleaning the house, and she says there's something still in the house. There is. All right. So how come it didn't come with me to the new house? It will. Well, how come it didn't come with me? It, but it will. It will. She's just fooling around, looking around, and she wants people to know she's still there, and she will come with you. You're not going to get away from her that easily. I mean, she's dead. She can go anywhere she wants to. Why is it she's bothering Wendy? Just to let her know she's there. But she won't hurt her? No. See, that's what... People think that ghosts will hurt you, and they won't. They're just nice people most of the time, you know, unless you're a bad person and you want to hang around with somebody that's bad. And her, her reason for hanging around is what? She likes being around where you're at. Well... Aren't you supposed to go someplace? Well, she is someplace. She's dead. She's dead, and she's on the other side, so she can go anywhere she wants to at any particular point in time, and she can enjoy herself. Wouldn't she be getting bored of Russ's house now? No. Yeah. It's empty. She comes and goes when she wants to. It's well, where does she go when she's not at my house? She's got a lot of other things. There, There's a place that she goes where there's some water around that I'm looking at now. And she also goes to what looks like uh, she likes people around now for some reason. She wasn't so sure she liked them as much beforehand, I don't think. Uh, she didn't trust people as much, but now she does. But she's just coming around. She goes here and there, and she might be looking for you right now. That's another thing. How would she not know where I moved? Well, she'll figure that out pretty quickly if she hadn't already. All she has to do is think about you, and she can go wherever you're at. But it's not unusual for them to stay at one house and then move to another and that sort of thing. It's not. They Ghosts don't just stay at one house. They can go anywhere. They have got 
freedom to go anywhere they want to go. All right. Well, with the way you've always talked about it in the past, they seem very proprietary. Like well, you got one house, and this is my this is my turf. Yeah. Well, sort of, but not really. Okay. They can do what they want to in that house, <laughs> and sometimes ghosts will do other things like. Um, leave a manifestation that keeps playing over and over and over again, sort of. Like a movie reel that never stops. And Do you understand that, what she's saying? No. It's a ghost and it's not, huh? I don't understand what you're saying. Um, okay, like you have a movie that's playing and it, it continues to play. It never stops. So the ghost makes a little movie of themselves and sticks it in there and it keeps playing. But, but you know that's not a real ghost because if you walk through them, they don't acknowledge that you walk through them, that sort of thing, okay? It's just like a manifestation. It's a, a reflection, sort of. Like a hologram. Uh-huh. Mm. But they also, ghosts really have thoughts, so they can go anywhere they want to. What? And, and why, why put the hologram there? Is it, uh, like a, a celestial uh, scarecrow? Kind of, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Yeah. <laughs> I was with a friend of mine some years ago, you know her, and we were out camping, and she and I were kind of playing some psychic stuff, and we were in a motorhome, and we both looked up and saw this little old man in a night shirt with one of those candle things with a glass around it, Right. and he was going to the bathroom, Hurricane lamp, right through course. the motorhome door, and mm -hmm. right, right through our bathroom and right out, and she and I both looked at each other and died laughing. Because, I mean, he was doing the same thing every day that he had done at night before, going to the toilet. So there are times when they'll do that. Yeah. Could she be watching the house while Russ isn't there until it's That's, sold? She can do that, too. But, see, she knows everything's going to be okay. She's, she knows also she could talk to the lady that's there, Wendy, okay, she can talk to her or show her things, and sometimes that's fun for them. Uh -huh. Let's scare those live people, you know? Let's get a little rush started, you know? So it's that kind of thing. Why don't you hurry up and go get reincarnated? <laughs> Why are you worried about that, J.D.? Just, You're afraid she might call you again? No. <laughs> God. <laughs> that That's one of the first signs of anything spooky I've ever seen when JD told her to get out of the house yeah. and then his cell phone rings and it's coming from his house and nobody's at his house. Well, she let you know she was there. I know, but I've never seen anything tangible that you could actually point at and go, you know what? You can't explain this one. No. <laughs> well, she did. Could I have more than one spook in my house? Yes. Yeah, because once you start noticing them... Yeah, I know. Once they move in, they go... Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> they do. Stop it. There goes the neighborhood. Stop it. She said it. Why not? You know. And, and is there a way to keep her from coming to the new house? No. But you I can, can tell, tell her, her to... not to, and she'll, try to, she'll probably try to uh, adhere to your wishes, but you won't know whether she's there or not. If you tell her not to, she'll just go, he doesn't want to see me, and I'm just going to check on him on occasion, and I won't let him see me. But she can see through walls, okay? Well, I never saw her in the past. But she felt her. No. And so. obviously... You know, there, there was one thing that happened in the apartment uh -huh. before I'm... Uh, before you moved to the house? Yeah, I think it was that apartment. doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. But it was about... About three or four months after she died. Uh -huh. I'm walking through the the, the biggest closet in, the, uh, in the, the apartment. As I'm walking back out of it, a tie that she gave me fell off the rack. That's not unusual. Odd. She wanted you to know she was there. And she's been there in your house, the one you just sold, I'm assuming. Right. Um, she's been there for a while. I mean, she comes and goes. She doesn't, I mean, it's not like she stays there all the time. I never would have thought any of this, no. ever, had mm -hmm. Dewana not brought this up. I know. And then it, it got so bad after she brought it up the first time, I wouldn't go upstairs at night. I, know. I wouldn't go into any part of the house that wasn't lit. I would, There was just something about upstairs that wigged me out. I wouldn't go into the uh, the bar that I had right. only because you could see it from upstairs. And she did watch from upstairs because she liked it. I don't know. There's something about height. Now the house is a lot bigger. A lot oh, more really? rooms. Oh, a lot bigger. A lot more rooms. Well, she'll be able to look all over that house, won't she? Hello? What? <laughs> Russ, don't be upset with her. She's kind of like a garden angel now. Huh? And, and what good does this do me to have her around? For more than one thing. For Okay, I'll give you, for instance, when I lived in Colleyville, you remember when we lived over there, and one day I was vacuuming upstairs and whatnot. And I asked about me, right? Downstairs you did. Okay. And yeah. locked the front door. <laughs> you know, 
I'm serious. And I said, oh, I'm okay. Y'all will watch out after me. And I, and I keep vacuuming. And I hear, get downstairs now and lock the front door. And I went downstairs and locked the floor, front door and happened to notice the time. The house right up the street, you know, I was on one cul-de-sac and it was on the other. The house up the street. Maybe she didn't robbed. hear me possibly. ask about me. Not the whole question. Like All right. Let you know. I am, oh, she does ride with you, by the way. She's told me she does ride with you. She likes to ride in the car. Talking about mine? Uh-huh. My ghost likes to ride in the car. Uh-huh. She bite at the wind? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you thought she was a dog when she was alive. <laughs> no. Okay? And she does like to ride there. It, but but she could help you by telling you don't do something and suggesting it to you, and you don't do it because you could get hurt or things like that. They're not bad people, Russ. I mean, she was a nice person when she was alive. I know. I wasn't ugly to her when she was alive. And, mm. and no, you cared about her. You did. Uh, and she cared about part. you. She thought you were the first person that really loved her sincerely. I did. And so she wants to be around close to you now and to make sure you're taken sorry. care of and she wants you happy. What are you laughing at, John? I'm sorry. You guys had a very embattled relationship. Yeah. But it was because we cared about each other. It's because uh -huh. you were a nut. I wasn't a nut. You stalked her. You stole her dog. <laughs> I didn't yeah. steal a dog. You stole it wanted to come with me. <laughs> broke in the house. No. She, she threw batteries at you. She threw diesel batteries at you and stomped on your foot. Because you broke in with her. You broke in to the house with her and some other guy. But she did love him. See? <laughs> she did, J.D. Okay. She did, but it was a weird relationship, kind of like one of yours. What? Well, hey, two of I've yours. never... Well, uh, three of uh, yours. Uh, well, I've uh, had a... Uh, uh, fingers down. Three, right. maybe you. four. Russ, do you remember some of those? Yeah, I was okay. there for some of them. Mm-hmm. All right, we need a break. Okay. Well, you, need, you and Claude need to come by the new house. I would love to. We would love to. Mm -hmm. Can you, um, I don't care if she stays at the old house. She's not going to stay. She's going to come over to see you. Seriously. I think Rob's right. We go over there this Saturday after the white trash party. Okay. Stay. We don't even have to stay all night. Just stay for a few hours. Okay. See if anything happens. I'm there. Tell her you want her to come home with you. That's N all it takes. No, I don't want her to come home. Well, then why are you worried about her now? I don't know. Yeah, you worried about her when she was alive, too. Yeah, you did. Uh-huh. All right, we got to go. <laughs> Love you. Love you, too. Mm -hmm. Bye, Bye. All right. <clears throat> the amazing Dewana Bird. Psychic. Mm -hmm. Who didn't know I moved and didn't holler, tell her <laughs> husband he was going to have a stroke. <laughs> so? She didn't catch them all. <laughs> 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 Busy. Yes. <laughs> All right. We'll break here. We'll be back. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. Grand Prairie Ford is cutting prices lower than ever. No need to shop around. Grand Prairie Ford now has over 1,000 new and used vehicles to choose from. Grand Prairie Ford is open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Friday and is easy to get to at I-30 and Beltline Road. We are the talk of the town. Howard Stern, Hugs and Kelly, Russ Martin, Tom Likas, and Loveline. This is KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, Live 1053. 7 Eleven has a new Big Gulp ice cream float treat, the gourmet fountain flavor of IBC root beer with smooth vanilla ice cream. So satisfy your sweet tooth at participating 7 Eleven stores. Here in the Lone Star State, the official bird is the mockingbird, the official flower is the blue bonnet, and the unofficial amphibian is the gecko. You didn't know that? Well, then you must never have called GEICO for your free rate quote on car insurance. Or if you've called before, it's time to call again. You could discover the impressive savings that makes Texans love the gecko almost as much as they love the official fish, the Guadalupe bass. In fact, GEICO drivers are so happy with their decision to switch that they've given us one of the highest satisfaction ratings in the business. How much could you save by switching to GEICO? Find out with a simple phone call. Then you'll be all ready to pack up and hit the road in Texas. Just watch out for the official state animal, the armadillo. 
To find out how much you could save by switching to GEICO, give us a call at 1-800-947-AUTO. That's 1-800-947-AUTO. Or log on to GEICO.com. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. In the Kitchen with Johnny Caraba and Damian Mandola, founders of Caraba's Italian Grill. Hey, JC, what's your favorite dish at Caraba's? Hands down, it's the Polo Rosa Maria. Let's make one right now. What do you say, man? man? Get with it. See this fresh chicken breast I have there, Johnny? Oh, that's pretty. Now, look, I'm going to put prosciutto right there on that butterfly chicken breast. Look what I have here, JC. Fontina cheese. It melts in your mouth. Oh, man, that looks good. Okay, look, I'm going to put that cheese on top of the prosciutto. I'm going to fold that chicken breast back over. Look at that. Oh, man. Well, I can't wait to chicken eat breast. that. And we're going to let that... Just sizzle away. I can see a little of that Fontina cheese oozing Starting to ooze out, baby. While that's grilling, let's make our sauce, huh? I'm going to take some mushrooms here, white wine, fresh basil, a little touch of lemon juice, just to kind of spark those flavors up. You're an artist. They say Michelangelo was pretty good, too. (laughs) We're going to put that chicken on the plate. Here comes the sauce. Is that delicious? Mm. Come to Carrabba's for the Polo Rosa Maria. It's not your typical Italian. Visit Carrabba's in Lakewood at the corner of Gaston and Abrams across from the Lakewood Country Club. If you're in the market for a brand new high definition television um you know that there are a lot of different places you can go to and there are a lot of different questions that you're going to have you need to go to the go-to guys at digital planet 972-265-8500 they'll you're going to have questions about all the different uh, options with hd tv they can answer all of those uh also what's that thing that's on sale the 34 inch hd tv monitor for the low price, it says six ninety nine ninety. It's seven hundred dollars, which is still a great price because normally those things go for around a grand. And at those prices, they're going to go fast. Nine seven two two. Nine seven two two six five. 8500. Any questions that come up about anything, they're the go-to guys at Digital Planet. 972-265-8500. Thank you. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. When you need an auto part, you want to make sure you get a quality part that will last and at a price you can afford. At O'Reilly Auto Parts, you'll find more brand name parts at everyday low prices and best of all, you'll find more parts in stock than just about anywhere else in town. Your best choice for auto parts is O'Reilly. If you're like most people, you want to make sure you get the most miles possible out of your car or truck. O'Reilly Auto Parts has everything you need to keep your car running. Did you know that regular use of O'Reilly fuel injector and carburetor cleaner will help your vehicle run better, last longer, and be more fuel efficient? And for a limited time, stop by any participating O'Reilly Auto Parts store and get three 12-ounce bottles for only $3. That's three 12-ounce bottles for only $3. See store for details. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts at better prices every day. O'Reilly. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Nissan introduced 10 bold, powerful cars and trucks and achieved the biggest sales increases in America. What's next? Nissan's Drive to a Million Sales event. We're out to break a record. One million sales. So you get great offers on select new Nissans, like the stylish redesigned Nissan Altima. Now lease the 2005 Nissan Altima 2.5S automatic for just $199 a month for 24 months with $16.99 initial payment. The Nissan Altima, now just $199 a month only at nissan's drive to a million sales event we're gonna drive to a million so you get to drive a new 2005 ultima see your nissan dealer by march 31st we're in a drive to a million so you get great offers on select new nissans nissan shift your ride sales increase based on pai auto data cy 2004 tax title license and options extra call 1-800-858-8319 for lease details offer ends 33105 log on now to check out sbc home court only at mavs.com hey it's rob riddlemoser from the russ martin show and i am having uh, laser hair removal done on my back uh, about the third treat and it's working. Advanced Laser Clinics of Dallas offers laser hair removal, light pulse skin renewal, microdermabrasion, and a variety of other types of skin treatment, as well as skin care products for sale. And if you're thinking about trying laser hair removal, now is the time to call. Here's the number, 214-691-4499. Advanced Laser Clinics of Dallas, their March specials, 25% off. First treatment on any service they 
offer. Photofacial, laser hair removal, microdermabrasion. Check out their website, advancedlaserclinics.com, or visit them at the office, 5934 Royal Lane, in the shopping center on the southwest corner of Preston and Royal in Dallas. It's Advanced Laser Clinics of Dallas, 214-691-4499. See it all, see it now. See the new Gold Club at PT's Plaza. The Gold Club. DFW's newest and finest adult club megaplex, featuring the hottest international showgirls, showing you everything you want to see. The Gold Club. A BYOB party with all your favorite sporting events on 128 plasma high-definition screens. The Gold Club. Luxurious rendezvous seating in our oh-so-private VIP enclave and extreme skyboxes. The Gold Club. Five-star international cuisine from Chef Ramon. Enjoy a complimentary, lavish, 70-foot luncheon buffet Monday through Friday. Full menu service till 1.30 a.m. daily. And our own special Legs and Eggs Breakfast Buffet every Friday and Saturday night till 4 a.m. The Gold Club. Two for Tuesdays, where all dances are two for one. And $10 Sundays, with $10 cover and $10 dances all day. The Gold Club. BYOB and all nude all the time at the all-new Gold Club at PT's Plaza. Plano Road at Miller Road, just north of 635 in Dallas. The Gold Club. Be there tonight. My needs are simple. I want my grass to live, I want my weeds to die, and I want people to ask me who my lawn service is, so I can say, me. You can remove the lawn and garden guesswork at the Home Depot, the only place you'll find Vigoro, the amazingly powerful, extremely easy-to-use fertilizer, along with other trusted brands, all at guaranteed low prices every day. And no one else has certified nursery consultants in every store who know how to help you renew your lawn and make your dollars work even harder. So for unbeatable prices, uncompromising brands, and unrivaled expertise, hurry into the Home Depot or the Home Depot Landscape Supply today. It's time to prepare your lawn for spring with Vigoro Weed and Feed. Vigoro greens in 72 hours, it's time released for extended feeding, and it kills more than 200 weeds, including dandelion and chickweed. If you're ready for spring, make sure your yard is too. Only at the Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Using Space Age technology, I am about to illustrate the dangers of drinking the new energy drink Full Throttle. Here's what it sounds like when I open a can of Full Throttle. Now that may not have seemed significant to the untrained ear, but if you will, listen closely as we play it backwards in super slow motion. Drink from my bosom and feel my power surge through your veins, and you will be as I am, an indestructible force of nature. So please, for the love of all things big and small, do not expose Full Throttle to ninnies, sissies, or wussies. Full Throttle, 16 ounces of raw energy. Head to Full Throttle Displays at Easy Mart, Racetrack, or Tedco and grab a new Full Throttle Energy Drink. Then pick up an official entry form for your chance to win an official Martin Brothers motorcycle to be given away at the Texas Motor Speedway Big Race on April 17th. No purchase necessary. Entries must be received by 4705. Restrictions apply. See official rules at Easy Mart, Racetrack, or Tedco. Ultimate Electronics presents Visions in High Definition. I can see him standing at the line, ready to take his free throw. I see the beads of sweat rolling down his face, a sense of doubt beginning to cross his mind. I can see that the last guy on the bench is too afraid to look. And even though I'm miles away from the game, I know that even the people sitting courtside aren't this close to the action. Thanks to Ultimate Electronics, now I see in high definition. Ultimate Electronics has made it easier than ever to add a new HD TV to your home court. Right now, you can save up to $300 on a brand new high-definition set. With a picture that has five times the resolution and clarity of standard television, HDTV is the only way to watch this year's basketball tournament. And what's more, you'll pay no interest for 12 months on all purchases $2.99 and up. I see in high definition, it's definitely time that you do too. Ultimate Electronics. Discover the ultimate experience. Financing with approved credit. See store for details. Chevy's NCAA March Madness event. Big deals for the big dance. Now through March 31st, there's big savings from GM, an official corporate champion of the NCAA. DFW's number one talk lineup is Howard Stern, Hugs and Kelly, Russ Martin, Tom Likas, and Love Live. This is KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth. Live 105.3. Now, back 
to the Russ Martin Show. Sorry. Is the chiropractor here yet? I don't believe so. Oh. Rob would know. All right. Because this rib is sticking in my lung. That's what it'll feel like. Uh, well, I just burped and mm. I thought I was going to collapse. <laughs> I know the feeling. Last week with that pancreatitis, every bump I hit between here and the hospital was like somebody <laughs> stabbing me with a knife. It's terrible. And you'd hiccup, pass out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Somebody sent me, sent me an email said you can get broadband via wireless. Yeah, depending if it's available in your area or not. Well, that's, that seems to be the issue with everybody is right. whether it's available where I happen to live. And some other people had called in to see if, uh, to see if you had checked in as far as getting uh, fiber optic. Oh, uh, God. No. Mm. Oh. Whatever you're doing. I just, uh, what I do? I inhaled. Oh. Um, they said that neighborhood is being wired for fiber optics, and it'll be available next year. Cool. It won't make any difference, because it's the same company that won't give me DSL now. So I'm sure I'll be on some kind of list that I can't get on next year. Well, we've had a, uh, I've taken a number of phone calls with people that either, um, have connections with Charter or work for Charter themselves. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking you'll probably be hooked up in short order. That'll be fine. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure they love the opportunity to make Verizon look bad. I didn't say anything about Verizon. Mm -mm. I said James Earl Jones is a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, you ready for news? If you'd like to. Okay. Uh, did you do a legal ID cloak? Yes. Well, then here we go. Yeah. All right, 513, J.D. Ryan's here with news. Thank you, Russ. Brought to us by Bell Bottoms in North Richland Hills. Clo will be out there Saturday night with a, of course, white trash warm-up party. He'll have free tickets, and he'll be registering somebody for a trip to Cuervo Nation. Also, Rob, Sunday night at Sports City Cafe. Uh, Sarah, excuse me, Sunday afternoon from 1 till 3. That's at uh, 3808 Town Crossing Boulevard in Mesquite, a NASCAR watching party. Well, surgeons successfully removed fluid and scar tissue from Bill Clinton's chest cavity today, cleaning up complications from the former president's heart bypass operation. That was about six months ago. Clinton was awake and resting comfortably after the four-hour surgery. They expect Mr. Clinton to be walking around in about 24 hours, hitting on the nurses. A North Texas game warden hunting for an eight-foot alligator that is reportedly on the loose at Lake Ray Hubbard. Texas Parks and Wildlife game warden said the most alligators, uh, that rather said most of the alligators, are in non-populated marshy areas at the north end of the lake, in the creek and river areas that they are that's natural to them. The large reptiles do not feed or do feed on small mammals, dogs, and ducks. Game wardens warn that even small toddlers could be at risk of an attack if they come too close to the water. The alligators' sightings worry lake dwellers who'd like to hang out and watch the beautiful sunsets out of Lake Ray Hubbard. In the aftermath of 9-11, private security officers are being asked to step into the breach and fill in the gaps of the nation's homeland security plans. But experts now warn that most of this 2 million person workforce receives little or no training, aren't subject to the rigorous background checks for previous criminal behavior, and are paid kind of poorly that there's a big high turnover. Private security services are nearly $12 billion a year industry in the U.S., and they are employed to protect everything from the Empire State Building to Rockefeller Center to the Mall of America, etc., uh, yet national standards for private security officers actually do not exist. National standards. Some states actually do regulate them. Uh, there is no equalized training standard from state to state or region to region. In many cases, they're not even required. Ten states don't regulate security industries at all. Uh, the specific requirement for private security officers in the remaining 40 states vary significantly. Even as to the extent of background investigations, room required employment. Only 31 states even call the FBI criminal history for record checks. Good. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, according to a new study. That's my in-between story comment. Okay. Good. You have no energy. You're like me yesterday. No energy. I have energy. I'm just afraid to move. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm fine as I stand. If I turn mm -hmm. or if I breathe too deeply, All right. whatever this rib is, it's jabbing into my lung, reminds me that it's jabbing into my lung. Not to breathe. 
According to a new survey, the University of Arizona in Tucson, Hispanic immigrants who speak English well are much more likely to have casual sex. For the, uh, for the study, researchers examined the sexual behavior of almost 7,300 Hispanic and white students in grades 7 through 12. Hispanic teenagers who speak solid English are highly int- and are highly integrated into the American society are 170% more likely to, than white teens to have sex before high school graduation. They're also 65% more likely to have, uh, to have sex than Hispanic teens who don't speak much English. The theory is called healthy immigrant effect. Basically, it means that uh, the more someone immerses himself into a new culture, learning the language, adopting the customs, it's bored. Like, moving on. Thank you. A teenager has agreed to admit to three counts of disturbing the peace after anonymously sending semen-frosted brownies to fellow students <laughs> in Idaho. The recipient <laughs> shared the treat with two other teens, by the way, so that's why there are three counts. 17-year-old high school student was upset after a prank in which the other students put peanut butter in his cheese sandwich days before. <laughs> he told the, uh, the police officer that arrested him he hated peanut butter. The <laughs> teen got the idea for putting the semen on the brownies from the movie National Lampoon's Van Wilder, in which a character passes pastries filled with dog semen to a fraternity house. The youth, by the way, could uh, get 90 days in jail. Who said this? Well, what's nastier? Eating, not- eating a brownie with that, that on it or actually getting it from the dog? <laughs> I'm equally. No. Okay. Get it from the dog? I think I'd rather accidentally eat it <laughs> than get it from the dog. Yes. I'm with you. Thank you. Who said this? Right now, for the first time in my life, I'm finally happy. I don't think any more about getting high. Was it Ozzy Osbourne, Scott Whalen, or Brian Welsh, the guy who just left corn for Jesus? Right now, for the first time in my life, I'm happy. I don't think any more about getting high. Scott Whalen, Ozzy Osbourne, or Brian Head Welch. Ozzy. Scott Whalen, no. who says he's been sober for over a year now, he says the prospect of losing my wife and children changed everything for me. Everybody assumes that Charlie Sheen actually cheated on Denise Richards. He wants the world to know he did not cheat on his wife. These stories and allegations are simply not true, according to his spokesman. The reason for our separation is a private matter between us, he quotes. And Charlie's rep goes on to say, Charlie did not cheat. He did not have a relapse. There is no scandal. He is not going into rehab. Sometimes marriages just don't work. It's, Six months into a pregnancy. It's as simple as that. Yes. No, he did something. Well, probably. Uh, tickets and hot TV and hot, or hot, TV, God, hot tickets for the weekend. Uh, Gypsy Kings are coming to the Bass Hall. That Those tickets are oh, on sale tomorrow. What? Suck a monkey. <laughs> oh, God. They'll be here soon. Suck a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Suck a monkey. <laughs> Tom Jones coming April the 11th to the Marson. Dan, are they here yet? Uh, check with Rob. Oh, hold on. Rob. Yes, sir. Doctor? Uh, they were at uh, the toll road and uh, 6.35. They're on their way here. How long ago was that? Five minutes. All right, thank you. And when they get here, they could pop this out immediately. You'll be sore, but it'll be better. If it's what I think it is, and obviously I'm not a doctor, but... And it's what again? Uh, I usually just call it a slipped rib or a rotated rib. In other words, it's like... It's just slightly turned? Yeah, it's slightly turned out of its normal position, and that's what's sticking you, because it's not in its normal position. <laughs> what if I just jumped up and down? Did I ask this already? No. You asked me that, and um, I wouldn't, because you never know what might actually make it worse. Wait for the professionals. Okay. Tom Jones coming to the Myerson. Those tickets go on sale tomorrow. Pat Green coming to Smirnoff. Those tickets on sale tomorrow. You two on sale Saturday. They're coming to American Airlines in October. A new survey of, finds the number one reason the couples get divorced is, you want to guess? Uh, money. No, they drift apart. Yeah. Nearly half the couples, 47%, say that's the major factor. Uh, uh, number two is 30% say they, and obviously, cheating. Cheating. Follow up on the Martin Sheen thing, or whatever his name is, Charlie. 27% of cite financial problems. 27 say a lack of sex. 22 attribute to their problems to work pressures. 12% says it's all about raising kids. And the folks at Maxim Magazine, when it's finally time to break up, have come up with a six-step spineless man's guide to dumping your girlfriend. Move to Tarrant County. <laughs> no. That's what, that's the way it's playing out with Amy. She's not going to leave you over you moving to Tarrant County. It's it, because it's too far. And she keeps, And I know where she's going with this stuff. Which is? Well, it was really hard for me to drive out there and drive back home the other night and check on my dogs and then come back. She wants to stay. Oh, yeah. She okay. wants to, like, stay for it. 
long visits. And that ain't going to happen. Okay. Well, I understand. Has she actually come out and said that or you just hinted? No, that's what she... No, she hasn't come out and said that. She's just complaining about stuff. Hmm. I can't help it. No. I'm not going to pick a house that I'm going to buy and possibly, you know, die in Mm -hmm. this week. (laughs) Oh. Pick a house... Based on... Based on a relationship that's only been around for two or three months. She should definitely understand that. She should be excited. It's a beautiful home. A lot of opportunities for parties and... It's too far away. 30 minutes is not too far to drive. Well, obviously it is for her. Well, number one is not moved to Garrett <laughs> County. We're going to break up. The, this is the spineless man's way to break up with his girlfriend, which I don't understand because some of this stuff is really not easy. Ending a relationship is, this is number one, lay the groundwork. Ending a relationship is rarely an impulse decision. It's a marathon. It requires work. So for the next couple of weeks, you've got to mentally prepare yourself for this. Picture yourself 10 years down the road, miserable, older, and homelier. <laughs> Wait, that way in your mind you can think, I don't want to be here. It's psyching yourself up to do the event. Right. Number two, choose the right site. Even though you're spineless, decent human beings to break up face to face. Don't do it email. Don't do it fax. Don't FedEx her. Don't leave it on a message. Well, uh, wait a minute. Is this for the spineless guys or not? That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. This is to the spineless guy, but all these are really hard to do. So they're saying do it face to face. Well, it's telling you spineless guys don't do don't it this Don't do way. this. Yeah, okay. Uh, actually, from the author of It's Not Me, It's You, and We Cannot Be Friends, says, quote, at her home, she'll feel more in control, and then and she'll get to throw you out, so she'll feel better. No, you don't go to their house. Why? You don't go to their house. What's going to happen there? She could bad? end up calling the police. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if she gets mad enough. And it, if it, yeah, if it escalates, that's true. I, I always thought of a restaurant because they're less likely to throw a fit. But if they do, then you're at the center of attention. <laughs> What? Yeah, nobody ever walks up and looks at the chick and goes, what do you do? Yeah. They walk up to the guy and go, what, what happened here? Yeah. Go ahead. All righty. Number three, start the wrecking process. Once you start the process, be quick. The Band-Aid theory applies here. Rip it off fast. Uh, Best reason to give her a, uh, for the relationship breakup is probably the truthful one. You first were excited. Now you're no longer with kind of into her. Hold on a second. What is it, Todd? I had to call. I promised I'd call because... When you had that stuff the other day, she was on, Valerie was, and she did a Who was awesome on? job. What? The other day when you guys had best of on, you had Valerie on. Oh, Valerie. Yeah, and she was doing an awesome job. You've got to include her on the show in, in future telecasts. I don't want to. No, she's awesome. I don't want to. She talks about what all the guys want to hear. I don't want to. She's awesome. Okay. Awesome, awesome. And, I mean, she just brings another side to that show that's just, I, I think she does an awesome job. I, I understand. I heard that the first four or five times. I don't want to. Why? Because I don't want to. Just because somebody's requesting it? Or because I, just because I said I don't want to. <laughs> Bad mistake. Really? Yep. A- and what do you think will happen if I don't include Valerie on the show? Nothing will happen. I okay, so why change any? Uh, shut up, shut up. Why change anything? Do you not want to improve? I don't need to improve. I'm number one. Well, you can still become better even when you're number one. No, I can't. I'm fabulous. Can't. No, I'm wildly entertaining. I don't need Valerie. I don't need anyone. I need me. No, no. You, she would really, and who has more experience? Let's, let's stop and just think about this as normal people for a second. The only reason right. I'm uh, entertaining this is because you look quite stupid on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Who's got more uh, experience in doing this? You do. All right, then. So why would I take advice from somebody on the phone? Well, you picked up the call, didn't you? I just wanted to hear what you had to say. Well, I mean... It, it entertains me as uh, as who I am. Well, I mean, it's she's fun. She's easy. I fun. just told you fun. no. No, okay. Do what you want. I, 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 I intend to, and I hope uh, that meets your approval. Sounds good. Suck. Go ahead. Step number four, after you drop the bomb, she'll have a lot of questions. Keep things vague. Don't tell her the truth. If there was somebody new, you don't tell her that. You don't say, yeah, there's somebody else, and she's hot, and she's great in bed. See ya. Yeah. Number five, sweep up. Be- somebody knows how to wa- run a wash rag across it before we hop in bed. <laughs> now, I'm going to get up from this restaurant table. Yeah. And don't you throw nothing at me. <laughs> Hold on. What is it, Mike? Hey, man, listen, I'm on 78 North in Garland. We got a jumper on the bridge. You think you can tell your cop buddies in Garland to tell the son of a, you know what, to jump so we can all get home? Hang on a second. Let me see if it's on one of the TVs. Uh, 
I mean, oh. it, like, just happened. They shut down 78. There's no way into, you know, wiley Saxy area other than back roads. Uh, all right, none of the TV channels are on it yet. <clears throat> oh, God. It looks like he's a teenager. Save me the what? grief. Can you actually see the kid? I could see him, yeah. I was, uh, when the cops shut everything down, he was about... Oh, God, I was about 50 yards from the bridge, and I was like, what's going on? And then I see that he's hanging over the side, and they're all talking to him. And I'm wanting to scream, jump! All right, I'll take care of it. Thanks. <clears throat> go ahead. Step number five, sweep up before you leave. Make the whole thing happen in about 20 minutes, and don't go around the house collecting your possessions. This is the one I don't agree with. Do that in a week or so down the road. Come back and get your stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bring a pan and a broom. All right. Uh, Step number six, damage control. It's over, but it's not done. Shortly after the breakup, you'll get a phone call. She'll want closure. Do not have breakup sex. Okay. All right, That's that wraps that up. We can, you could, we can How are we doing, Chloe? Go ahead. All right, and if it's time for a relationship breakup, the guys from AskMen.com have come up with possible reasons to take a relationship break, and it's, again, not moving to Tarrant County. Things are moving too fast or too slow. If you're the person you're, uh, if the person you're dating is pressuring you to commit one way or the other, and you're not ready, don't do it. Oh, I lost the rest of them. There they are. Uh, Tip number two: Things are getting stale. If the day-to-day romance is getting a routine, is getting old, you're getting stir crazy. It may be a good time to step away. Number three: If you've fallen out of love or even like with her or him, it's time to go. Number four: He or she no longer respects you or what you do. Just a couple more. Are Five. you interested in the? Uh, uh, live private 101 uh, anal sex shows. No. All right, I'll delete, I'll delete this. <laughs> God. Number five, you want him or her to miss you. Do you want to see a picture of it? Yeah, let me look. Here's one. Uh, forward. Yeah, you forward that. Do you want this? Forward that. Let me see what the website is. Okay. It's just uh, butt cravings. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of extreme uh, photos. DVD quality, full service. Uh, ass flicks. <laughs> Exclusive uh, DP action. DP. Yeah. And then uh, private chat rooms uh, with ass horse. I don't. No, I don't. I don't <laughs> Just, I may have a friend that needs that gun to forward it. A couple more. Is it time to break up? <laughs> Do you feel smothered? It can drive you crazy. If your boyfriend seems to go everywhere you go and your girlfriend never wants to leave you alone, that may be a problem. And finally, you're not sexually compatible. Sometimes people just don't see eye to eye sexually, and it's time to move on. Are you done? I'm finished. All right. There's news and information. I'm J.D. Ryan. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. The Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. Chevy's NCAA March Madness event. Big deals for the big dance. Now through March 31st, there's big savings from GM, an official corporate champion of the NCAA. Whether it's a vacation or weekend getaway, visiting San Antonio means experiencing one-of-a-kind places like the Riverwalk, the Alamo, and the world beneath the waves. Because at SeaWorld San Antonio, you don't just explore the ocean, you're part of it. To erase the boundaries between sea and shore as you touch and feed dolphins. Try to stare down sharks and meet up with Shamu and friends. You'll explore uncharted waters as the tides move you back and forth and head over heels. You'll hear the ocean roar and the audience too as the sea becomes a stage and you're part of the show. So for your SeaWorld San Antonio excursion, be sure to pack the absolute essentials. A sense of wonder and adventure. Of course, a swimsuit and towel wouldn't hurt either. To make the most of your trip, visit SeaWorld.com. Rudy Martinez of ProTech Services talks about the new Heart of Dallas telephone directory from Best Publications. Rudy, tell us a little about your ad in the Heart of Dallas directory. We got a page plus in the book. I love the book. I love their position, so that was great. I'm really anticipating really good things this year with that book. So you feel the cost of your ad is okay then? 
I was extremely pleased with the cost. I could tell that distribution and the cost were extremely fair. Good, but what do you like about the directory itself? Well, one of the interesting things about the book is the hotline that it offers as far as getting information, and that's, I think, very helpful to the people in the Dallas area. Sounds like it's pretty important to be in there. That's extremely important for me to be advertising in the heart of Dallas. It gives you independence. It's a great challenge to have with your competition. Thanks, Rudy. Find it all in the heart of Dallas. The book made just for you. The new Heart of Dallas Telephone Directory. If you've never had a DVR, digital video recorder, it's free, easy to use, and really seriously will change your life. The guys from Dish Network will not only give you one, they'll also give you 100 bucks for switching over from cable. That simple. Call this week, 888-834-1999. Dish Direct, they're going to switch you over, give you 100 bucks on top of it. No gimmicks, no like hidden fees, no uh, coupons to redeem or anything like that. They want you to cut the cable and discover real digital quality. Like thirty one ninety nine a month. That's what it's going to cost you. That's with the local channels. That's the lowest all digital price you'll ever find in the country. And digital cable, by the way, it's going to cost you about fifty a month. So pay more if you want to for less service. That's up to you. And they're going to give you if you're into HD TV, high definition, you'll get two rooms HD ready, or you can get four rooms with DVR capabilities. No equipment to buy. Professional installation. This is the cool part. They install it on your schedule. If Saturday at Three is the time you can be there. That's when they'll be there. They'll give you another 50 bucks. 888-834-1999. They just want to get you used to good service for a change. It's Dish Direct. 888-834-1999. Call them now. Guys, you don't want to miss the incredible sexy dancers from around the world at Baby Dolls every Sunday night. Get in free with sports ticket stubs and watch all sports all the time on 100 plasma TVs, including NASCAR. Baby Dolls' 21st annual dance contest is every Sunday night. Ladies call or show up by 8 p.m. to enter. First place winner gets 500 cash weekly, plus prizes from sponsors like EliteTrends.com, the audio visual experts, Planet Tan, Electric Boutique, Bacardi Products, and Piper champagne and telenet skin technology baseball diamonds simulation toolbox.com and prestige hummer limos you'll never know who might be in the audience maxim magazine and playboy were here last year get in free with sport ticket stubs and watch all sports all the time on 100 plasma tvs baby doll saloon 10 250 shady trail in dallas babydolls.com 214-358-5511 don't miss the free lunch buffet weekdays 11 a.m to 2 p.m at baby dolls Hi, this is Gail Lightfoot. You've heard me on the Russ Martin Show, and I'm pleased to announce that I'm going to be part of the Just Mortgages Hour every Sunday morning from 9 to 10. And here's the host, David Bradley. Thanks, Gail. Every Sunday morning from 9 to 10 on Live 105.3 is the Just Mortgages Hour. We'll be covering all of your mortgage questions, so tune in, and I will teach you how to build wealth through residential real estate. That's every Sunday morning from 9 to 10, the Just Mortgages Hour with Gail Lightfoot and myself, David Bradley. Toyota Plano has new 05 Forerunners for just $24,950. Just $24,950 for new 05 Forerunners equipped with power everything. Toyota Plano on the northwest corner of the President George Bush Turnpike and Preston Road. Price plus TTNL on select models. Now sports, music, kids shows, and more all start the minute you're ready with On Demand. Free with Comcast Digital Cable. The all-American mail has few requirements. Food, shelter, professional sporting events on TV, and a regular haircut. Fortunately, for for these red-blooded urban warriors, there's Sport Clips, a haircutting place made just for guys with all the things guys like. Things like TVs everywhere, and they're all tuned to sports. And there's no girl talk, not in this arena. Instead, Sport Clips has manly things like hot towel treatments, free neck trims between haircuts, and great haircuts at a reasonable price. For guys, at Sport Clips, it's all about you, the all-American male. At Sport Clips, guys win. Visit our newest location in McKinney at Highway 75 in El Dorado near Old Navy, also in Hearst at 820 in Pipeline by Northeast Mall, and in Burleson at Highway 174 and John Jones Boulevard next to Super Target. We have Guy Smart Stylus to give you a great-looking haircut while you watch sports. White people got no business playing the blues ever. Get ready for a hilarious evening with George Carlin. What the f*** do white people have to be blue about? Banana Republic ran out of khaki. Two shows this Saturday, 7 and 9.30 at Bass Performance Hall. I don't think white women should be calling each other girlfriend, okay? Stop pretending to be black. 
And no matter what color you are, you go, girl, should probably go. You've seen his HBO special. Now see him live. Overnight, I became a sun worshiper. Well, not overnight. You can't see the sun at night. <laughs> First thing the next morning. Two shows with the legendary George Carlin. This Saturday, 7 and 9 30, Bass Performance Law. Reserve seats on sale at the box office. Charged by phone 877 212 4280 or online at basshall.com. In prisons, before they give you a lethal injection, they swab your arm with alcohol. Don't miss George Carlin coming live. Chevy's NCAA March Madness event. Big deals for the big dance. Now through March 31st, there's big savings from GM, an official corporate champion of the NCAA. All over the DFW Metroplex, wherever sports are played, you're hearing the same thing. I'm waiting. You know I'm going to wait. Sure, I'd like a new pair of Nikes, but I'm waiting. I want a new tailor-made driver, but I'm waiting. They're all waiting for the grand opening of Dick's Sporting Goods this Saturday with two big stores in Frisco and Arlington. Can't wait? We're open now for a sneak preview. We're going to have more choices and low prices. It's worth the wait. Whatever sport you play, Dick's Sporting Goods offers you guaranteed low prices on the hottest gear from the best names like Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour. Get the latest in golf from Callaway, TaylorMade, and more. Plus the help of a PGA Pro. And pick up a free Dick's scorecard and start earning valuable rebates. If I don't have to keep paying higher prices... I'm tired of paying too much for my golf gear. Then I'll wait. The wait is almost over, so don't miss the grand opening of Dick's Sporting Goods in the DFW Metroplex this Saturday, 8 a.m. sharp in the former Galleons locations in Frisco and Arlington. Sneak preview on now. Driver Select, where credit problems are no problem. Don't let your bad credit trouble you. You can drive a BMW. Driver Select, don't there for me, there for me, there for me. They're gonna keep my dreams alive. When my credit's been denied, Driver Select is on my side. There for me, there for me. There's Mercedes for the ladies and a Hummer for the boys. Pick up trucks and lots of bucks to lend for all these toys. There's an SUV for the family, not a Ford you can't afford. So come on by, I'll tell you why they got what you're looking for. Drive a selecto, oh, there for me, there for me, there for me. I'll talk the talk and ride the ride. Every car is a great buy drive. So come on all you drivers, connect to www.driverselect.com or call 866-652-7000 for guaranteed credit approval. That's 866-652-7000. Driver Select, where credit problems are no problem. Here in the Lone Star State, the official bird is the mockingbird. The official flower is the blue bonnet. And the unofficial amphibian is the gecko. You didn't know that? Well, then you must never have called GEICO for your free rate quote on car insurance. Or if you've called before, it's time to call again. You could discover the impressive savings that makes Texans love the gecko almost as much as they love the official fish, the Guadalupe bass. In fact, GEICO drivers are so happy with their decision to switch that they've given us one of the highest satisfaction ratings in the business. How much could you save by switching to GEICO? Find out with a simple phone call. Then you'll be all ready to pack up and hit the road in Texas. Just watch out for the official state animal, the armadillo. To find out how much you could save by switching to GEICO, give us a call at 1-800-947-AUTO. That's 1-800-947-AUTO. Or log on to GEICO.com. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. The Alternative Talk Station, Live 105.3. to the Russ Martin Show. You ready, Dan? I am. All right. <laughs> All right, what do you got? All right, this report is brought to us by Wendy's. For those who crave choices, try Wendy's new fresh fruit bowl served with a strawberry yogurt dip. Wendy's, it's better here. In Dallas on westbound I-30, just past Cockrell Hill, only one lane is getting through thanks to a jackknife 18-wheeler. 
Traffic is backed up all the way to Sylvan. Westbound 635 at Central Expressway, there is a disabled vehicle blocking the right lane. Southbound Central Expressway at Loop 12, there's a crash blocking the two left lanes. And in Fort Worth on 35 northbound at Highway 121, there's a disabled vehicle in the left center lane causing some delays there as well. And the support is also brought to us by CompUSA. CompUSA's 21st birthday blowout, and they're celebrating with great deals on MP3 players, computers, digital cameras, and more. (laughs) Those are big. The latest technology and people who know how to use it, only at CompUSA. That's traffic. I'm Dan O'Malley on the Russ Martin. Thank you, Dan. Weather brought to us by America Online. Go to live1053.com for your free trial. (laughs) Cleared 45 for the low tonight, about 70 tomorrow. Turn warmed up nicely today, 76 now at Live 105.3. Oh. Ah. All right, Rob brought me this paperwork on, um, is it, it's Al, Alaric Mac, mm-hmm. is that right? But all this stuff is old. I thought the information that we got, there was something more current. It's current, yes. I don't see anything current. The most current thing I see is uh, December of 99. Mm-hmm. I don't see any, uh, no wants, no wants. Hey, the guys from Acer are ready to go. Who? Ace Laminates, uh, <clears throat> Joe oh. and Bill with the uh, oh. demonstration. All right, I was thinking the chiropractor. Mm. Uh, where are we doing this? In the parking lot, out by your truck. <laughs> Let's move my truck. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now, how thick is this laminate? Uh, it's about uh, five feet tall and maybe two feet, three feet wide. And they can do all the windows here in the studio? Yes, sir. What does this stuff cost? It's uh, about the fifth of uh, the cost of bulletproof glass. It's just a laminate that goes right over our glass. Well, what will it stop? Um, I think they have uh, 45 and uh, 9 millimeter out there. <clears throat> I've seen the demonstration video. They put off a, an explosion, I mean like a bomb, 15 feet away. And the, the, the glass recoils back about three or four inches and then pops back in. It's amazing. Does it suck the bullet in? It actually it recoils, grabs the bullet, and the bullet drops to the ground. Hey, Rob, send one of the guys in from Ace before I go out there and do that. Okay, just one second. Let me run and go get him. Dan, I don't understand line one. I believe it's that RDS technology that's on the face of your radio. I know Jack next door uses it. That way, the song and title, oh. and artist and title, and the station name scrolls across, or it is displayed on the face of your radio and your okay. vehicles. So, he, what's the guy on line one telling me? Uh, he's just saying that his just now started doing that with our station, where it actually says live one hundred five three as opposed to just saying you know one hundred five point three. Oh. He just thinks it's really nifty. Oh. Just started doing it. Yeah, Jack's been doing that for a while, but we, our station. I knew Jack was doing it to where it would show whatever song they were playing. A lot of stations do that now. I didn't think they were going to spend any cash on this one. Didn't either. Plus, I don't think that technology costs that much. I think it's like three or four grand just to add it to the transmitter, and then it'll broadcast whatever information is going. Didn't know. Which one are you? The good-looking one. Mm-hmm. No, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm Joe Nemers. I'm with Ace Laminates. All right. How does this How does this laminate stuff work? Will it actually grab a hold of the bullet, or does it? Will the bullet bounce off? Well, the bullet the bullet will bounce off. The way it works is just a th- very thin piece that goes on the interior side of your glass, and uh, once it's applied, it basically turns the glass into armor. And you know, the bullet will hit the laminate, and it'll either stop it and catch the bullet or the bullet will bounce off. And can you put this on any type of glass, like if I want to do it to the truck? Any type of glass. Auto glass, home, commercial. Anything eighth of an inch glass, which is what you'd see in your automobiles, to half inch glass is what we have it on for today. Is it hard to put on? Now, for our technicians, it's it's really very easy. So all the, the glass in these studios that are exposed to outside, you could do these in an hour or so? Oh, yeah. We could do these in a very short amount of time. Is this stuff pricey? No, it's not. Is it's it really? Not. No, it's not. It's uh, it's probably the most affordable solution out there for your glass. I mean, it's a lot. It's 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 a lot less expensive than burglar bars or steel roll down shutters or you know what a lot of people think glass protection is like. It doesn't cost as much as regular laminated glass. And well, this it, also make like uh, like bat resistant. Oh yeah, after we're done shooting at it, we got aluminum bats out there for you to beat the mm-hmm. oh. beat the heck out of it. Oh, I can't swing today, but I can shoot. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> What, Dan? I'd be more than happy to take your cuts for you. 
Oh, okay. I forgot to bring a handgun. Did you guys bring anything? Yeah, we got a gun out there. We got a forty caliber for you. Okay. What's the biggest caliber uh, that these will stop? The, this will stop. Laminate will. This, this will stop the uh, three fifty seven magnum, forty four magnum, nine millimeter, forty five, twelve gauge shotgun, buck or uh, slug. Who do you guys normally work with? You got any celebs? Uh, yeah, we have everything from uh, the CIA, the FBI, National Archives, down to uh, uh, you know a lot of. You know, local golf clubs here that have a lot of celebrity clients put it on their windows, on their shop windows, and, you know, residences, businesses. How long has this been around? Uh, the company's been around 12 years. You know, a lot of people don't know it's out, a lot of people don't know it's out there. Mm. I didn't either. Rob didn't you get know? into this until, uh, who was it that got shot on stage? Uh, Dimebag. Yeah. And, yeah, Dimebag. That's when he went nuts, and we had this lock put on this door over here that we never use because the door doesn't close all the way. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a lock on this door, and then Rob went eight and started looking at bulletproof glass, and I guess he came across you guys with a laminate. Yeah, he did. And as a matter of fact, when he told me, uh, he told me what the... Uh, in fact, when I showed him the quote to put it on the glass, he couldn't believe it. And I thought his reaction was, wow, that's really expensive. And I said, well, what is your bulletproof glass going to cost you? And uh, when he told me, I said, oh, okay, well, this is about 10% of that cost. So, like a normal car, let's say I wanted to get all the windows. Can, can you do the windshield? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the front windshield is already laminated glass. Front windshield's already laminated. That's mandated by manufacturers, so it's already on there. You do your side windows and your rear windows because those aren't protected. And, you know, a, a, an ordinary car or a SUV will run you anywhere from four to 700 bucks to do the vehicle. Oh, I mean, I'm just going to think a couple of grand. No, nah, you know, a, good, a, a really good tent job is going to cost you anything from about 275 to $395. And for a little bit more, you can get the tent. Plus, you can keep people from breaking into your car and tearing it up. I didn't even think about the, the, the bat thing. Didn't either. No. Bat, brick, you know, put it on your house, you know, so people can't kick the glass out of your door or come in your bedroom window. It's, the thing is, is it I may get this depending on the cost of getting all, all the windows all around the first floor. You would think. That'd be a great idea. You know, in Texas, too, I mean, where you have a lot of violent weather, tornadoes. I mean, this, uh, this laminate meets the, the, the highest standard for wind protection there is, the Miami-Dade standard. You get a, a discount uh, for, off of uh, homeowners? You mean for insurance? Yeah. Now, the providers don't give an insurance break, but what you do is you get this stuff put on your windows, and you go to your agent with documentation that we've got to provide to you, and you go to your agent, and you said, tell our provider we want a better rate. And agents and brokers have had a lot of success about telling insurance companies, look, this person's demonstrated that they're serious about preventing loss. Yeah. You need to give them a better price. Mm -hmm. What's this am laminate actually made out of? It's made of polyester. Okay, so the stuff that's on there today, it's three layers of polyester and three layers of adhesive. And that's the key for ACE. The key is in the way it's made and the adhesive because nobody else in the world has an adhesive like this. Never dries. It never fully hardens. Consequently, it produces a much stronger laminate. The longer it's on your glass, the stronger it becomes. Hmm. You know, there's some video from a Fox News station that shows a guy hitting it. Uh, now he hits it a total of 46 times. I've, with seen, a, that. With I've a, seen that video. Yeah, with a wood bat and mm -hmm. then with an aluminum bat. And it doesn't break. The window doesn't actually break until the 40-second blow. And then he hits it four or five more times in the same spot. He still doesn't get through, even though the glass is broken. All right. So what happens, say, I have a car wreck and I'm unconscious. Okay. And now the fire department wants to get in, and I'm in this uh, Pope bubble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, we notify fire departments when we put it on residences and businesses, you know, that would have jurisdiction over that local address mm. and we give them information on how to defeat the product from the outside it's, it can only be defeated with with special equipment and special training so a fire department would have the training and the equipment to get through that you know the thing about an auto if you're in an automobile wreck you know this will hold the glass together which will hopefully ke keep you from getting injured okay. from the glass mm. okay if you're unconscious uh well i'd still like the fire department to get yeah in. yeah okay all right uh rob Yes, sir. Are you guys set up? Yes, we are. You got a camera? Yeah, I'm going to need you to do the white balancing for me. Are you actually standing out in the hall? I am right now. <laughs> I can hear the other radio go off when I'm key. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All right, John, you want to come run the board? Yep. All right, let me get my glasses. All right, let's go outside. All right. Uh, hang on. I don't know where the mic's. Rob, where's the feed coming uh, uh, in here? It's going to come up uh, on Dan's mic. All right. I got it. That's it. Okay. Who's out there? Michael. Uh, Engineer. All right. 
Okay. Give me about uh, give me about twenty seconds and pot that up. All right, there. Got it. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Okay, Rob, tell me when you guys are close. Rob. He don't talk to me. Yes, he, he just talks to Russ. Just talk to Russ. Mike is hot. Hey there, John. I'm here, yes. All right. Oh, freaking station standing out here. Yeah, I know. They, they were asking all day what time this is going to happen. They were asking all day what? What time this is going to happen. They all wanted to see it. These headphones that I've got are cut now. Can you hear? I can hear you fine. Swap headphones with me. Still there? I'm here. Mondo, let me use your vest. Rob, you can't stand behind that glass. Why? <laughs> because we haven't seen it work. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to come over here. What? Well, the owner of the company will, uh, in demonstrations, he stands behind it all the time. Well, 12 gauge or 357, he'll stand behind it. That guy right there, Brian Gow, who's down from our, down from the corporate office, he stood behind it. He said he about, uh, you know, about pissed himself when he uh, when he did it, but it worked. Rob, they said you could stand behind it. All right, it's his choice. choice. <laughs> That's. Can you white balance it? Yeah, bring me the camera. Well, it's... Rob wants to stand behind the glass and hold a camera. What's wrong with him? He's Rob. Yeah. All right, hang on. I gotta white balance this camera really quick. Yeah. You guys set up over by the dumpster? Yeah, no. No. Uh, we're back on the very end of the parking lot. Okay. Why? All right, there you go. Camera's rolling. It's already rolling? Yeah, it's on. All right, I'm going to have to take the headphones off so I can hear you, John. Okay, bye-bye. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You ready, Rob? No. No. Is this going to bounce back at all? Good. Good, yeah. Well, how far? We get back this far. Oh. It won't be going real hard when we get to Oh, all right. You, come back. you ready, Rob? All right, here we go. Yeah. God, you sure you want to get behind it? Joe, <laughs> 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 it'll take another hit? Oh, yeah, shoot. Oh, yeah. It'll take another hit? Shoot it. All right, hold on. Hey, Rob, why don't you just set the camera on the trash can? Now, did that shell come back? I didn't see oh, it. Yeah. All right. Let me know when you're ready, Rob. All right. Hold on. Set? Nope. Hold on. Why don't you come down here? Every one of them never penetrated the glass. Jesus. That's just a lamp. That's just a lamp. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a film basically as thick as a photograph, and I'm it, wiping my hand right on it. It never broke the back side of the glass. Jesus. It shattered, but it never went through it. That's amazing. And you were shooting what? The bullet hit, me. The bullet hit you in the head? Yeah, he's talking to me. 
Oh, yeah. hang on, John. I don't have on headphones. Okay. What is it? What kind of gun was that? I don't know. It was loud. That one. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, 40 caliber. 40 caliber. Jesus. Yeah, you got to come out here and see this. Okay, I'll be out. All right. I uh, have Chloe load up a break. I'll be back in. I got one in. All right. All right. Breaking. Here we go. All right. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. They were the different kids in class. <laughs> Howard Stern, Hugs and Kelly, Russ Martin, Tom Likas, and Love Lie. On KLLI, Dallas Fort Worth. This is Live 105.3. Join the alternative talk station Live 105.3 this Sunday at Bell Bottoms for the Texas Motor Speedway's Total Access NASCAR Pre Race Show, hosted by Brad Gilly. Bell Bottoms, 8407 Grapevine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills, was voted the best NASCAR bar in Tarrant County. Tonight, it's Jet Black with dollar domestic drafts and two dollar wells. This Friday, the greatest disco band in the world returns. It's La Freak at Bell Bottoms. Saturday night, Jet Black plays your favorite dance music at Bell Bottoms. It's all NASCAR this Sunday with the live 105.3 Total Access NASCAR pre-race show. Live from Bell Bottoms. Learn to be a NASCAR driver with Texas Motor Speedway Lone Star Legends drivers and cars this Sunday at Bell Bottoms. Sign up to win a free driving school gift certificate during the NASCAR Total Access pre-race show. That's Bell Bottoms, 8407 Grapevine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills. And remember, at Bell Bottoms, there's never a cover. Nissan introduced 10 bold, powerful cars and trucks and achieved the biggest sales increases in America. What's next? Nissan's Drive to a Million Sales event. We're out to break a record. One million sales. So you get great offers on select new Nissans, like the all-new Frontier and the full-size Titan. Now get 2% APR financing for 60 months or $1,500 cash back when you purchase a new 2005 Nissan Titan from dealer stock. 2% or $1,500 cash back on Titan, only at Nissan's Drive to a Million sales event. We're going to drive to a million, so you get to drive a Titan and save. See your Nissan dealer by March 31st. We're in a drive to a million, so you get great offers on select new Nissans. Nissan, shift your ride. Sales increase based on PAI Auto Data CY 2004. 1753 per month per 1000 borrowed. Subject to NMAC Tier 2 credit approval. Down payment may be required. See dealer for details. Offers end 33105. 1-800-947-AUTO. Let me repeat that number. 1-800-947-AUTO. When GEICO could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance, it's worth repeating. 7-Eleven has a new Big Gulp ice cream float treat. It's the gourmet fountain taste of IBC root beer combined with sweet vanilla ice cream. It's a taste that really takes you back to your childhood. Why, just talking about it reminds me of my first date with Jenny. Man, was she pretty. I was so nervous, I forgot to put on deodorant. And we kissed, and our braces locked. We were stuck together for three days. It was totally awesome. Awesome! Then I take another sip of the new 7-Eleven soda fountain treat, and it makes me think about my eighth birthday party. We had ice cream there, too, and ponies, and a clown that made me laugh so hard, I had to change overalls. Man, what a blast! <coughs> Excuse me. So stop by a 7-Eleven store and try the new Big Gulp ice cream float treat for yourself. Just snap the eight ounces of ice cream right to your Big Gulp cup. Fill with gourmet IBC root beer and enjoy. Who knows what memories it'll stir up. Oh, thank heaven. At participating 7-Eleven stores. 20,000 square feet. Kelly's Dallas. Seats for 1,800 people. Kelly's Dallas. But is it is big it? enough? No. Big enough. No. Kelly's Dallas. For Russ Martin. Here he goes. Oh, 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 no. Live 105.3 and Jose Cuervo present the Russ Martin Show White Trash Party. Russ invades Gillies, Dallas, Friday, March 18th. And this year, he's bringing back his old drinking buddies. Plus, back in black, Boys and Cherry, the Russ Martin Choir. Tickets are available now at gilliesdallas.com. At the door or by calling 888-GILLIES. Proceeds benefit the Russ Martin Show Listener Foundation. Supporting the families of police and firemen who have courageously fallen in the line of duty. The Russ Martin Show White Trash Party. No, 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 no. From Jose Cuervo and Live 105.3. 
Hey, check out these chicken select strips. They're really good. Why? Because they say they're good? I'm eating them and they are good. I suppose they use the word crispy. They are crispy. Aha. Crispy is just a snappy catchphrase they always use. That and juicy chicken breast. It is juicy. With the Chipotle barbecue sauce you can only get at McDonald's. How do you know they came from McDonald's? I got them there. You are so gullible. At participating McDonald's. Ellie, Ellie. Yeah? I gotta tell you something. I think you'll be interested. Matt, last time you woke me up to tell me you were giving yourself a nickname. Yeah, Flipper. I wasn't interested. Ellie. Let go. Okay, I'm a dollar menu guy. A what? A dollar menu guy. I go to McDonald's, get double cheeseburgers, fries, hot fudge sundaes. I'm a dollar menu guy. That's it? That's how I roll. Good night, Flipper. I'm loving it. Price and participation may vary. Hey, it's Sybil from the Pugs and Kelly Show, here to tell you about Silver City, the club for men. Silver City is the 2003 and 2004 recipient of the AE Award for Best Entertainers and the recent recipient of Dallas's Finest Cuisine, voted by you, the listeners. You've heard the name. You've imagined the experience. Now it's your turn to experience Dallas's premier adult nightclub. Who says the party starts Friday? Join me, Sybil, from the Pugs and Kelly Show every Wednesday night from 8 p.m. to midnight at Silver City as we kick off the weekend early. Silver City is conveniently located on the northwest corner of I-35 and Mockingbird. For information, you can call 214-689-8989 or visit us at silvercityclub.com. Silver City is a private club. Free memberships are available and dress code is strictly enforced. Silver City now introduces our free Las Vegas-style lunch buffet. All you can eat every Tuesday and Thursday from 11 till 2. See you for lunch at Silver City. Ultimate Electronics presents Visions in High Definition. I can see him standing at the line ready to take his free throw. I see the beads of sweat rolling down his face, a sense of doubt beginning to cross his mind. I can see that the last guy on the bench is too afraid to look. And even though I'm miles away from the game, I know that even the people sitting courtside aren't this close to the action. Thanks to Ultimate Electronics, now I see in high definition. Ultimate Electronics has made it easier than ever to add a new HD TV to your home court. Right now, you can save up to $300 on a brand new high definition set. With a picture that has five times the resolution and clarity of standard television, HDTV is the only way to watch this year's basketball tournament. And what's more, you'll pay no interest for 12 months on all purchases $2.99 and up. I see in high definition. It's definitely time that you do too. Ultimate Electronics. Discover the ultimate experience. Financing with approved credit. See store for details. We secretly replaced the Troy's dial-up connection with high-speed Verizon Online DSL with MSN Premium. Let's see if they notice the difference. I'll email the pictures, but I have to hang up the phone. Mr. Troy doesn't realize with DSL, he can talk and surf. What the? Mr. Troy's in shock. Unlike with dial-up, he just sent his files super fast. Honey, come here. In a sec, I'm streaming video. Someone must have switched us to DSL. Now we can both be online at the same time. See the difference Verizon Online DSL makes for $29.95 a month. You'll send pictures and emails a lot faster. It even includes MSN Premium. To order, call 1-800-PICK-DSL and get it for $29.95 a month when you sign up for a year. Order today and you'll also get a free wireless router and modem in one so everyone can be online at the same time. Now Mr. Yeah. Troy is downloading and doing oh, cartwheels. Yeah. Verizon. Offer for new DSL customers. Verizon residential phone service may be required. A $99 early termination fee applies. Shipping, activation, taxes, and recovery fees apply. Speed and uninterrupted service not guaranteed. Not available in all areas. Offer subject to change. The Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. Call Russ, who's impervious to all that surrounds him. Now, at 214 787 1053. Did you go outside and rub your hand on the back side of that glass? Yeah, unbelievable. You shot that with a 40 cal and it was totally smooth on the back side of the window. Yeah. Well, I think the lamination goes on the back side yep. and then they put a thin one on the front just so glass doesn't splatter Shoot everywhere. everywhere. 
but I think the one on the inside keeps everything from coming in at you. That's amazing. I didn't even think of the aspect of keeping people from breaking in the car. I just worried about getting shot. Yeah. Are the chiropractors going to do the stuff in here? Yeah. Rob, how long is this going to take? Uh, they're ready to go now, so as long as it takes you to uh, feel better. I've got a massage therapist and an actual chiropractor. Why do I uh, smell pain? <laughs> it's going to be a little discomfort. All right, bring them in. As in childbirth. Mm. Is it that bad? No. It's just funny that anytime a doctor talks to you about childbirth, it's always they use the word discomfort, never pain. Oh. Ah, well, she's cute. Mm -hmm. She's cute, too. They're all hot. It's you. All right, what are you guys going to do? Do you need to feel my back first? Yes, I okay. need to feel your back. And then Billie Jean, she's a massage therapist. Well, of course. Hey, she's right. actually going to... Well, Rob, just bring them over here, and, and okay. they can be feeling on my back while, right. while they're telling me what they're going to do. Some. Well, we brought some lotion, which of is going to help yes. relieve some of the inflammation. And what, what does it sound like? What does it sound like happened to me? Well, we'll see. You want to feel around right here? How spasmed you are? Right here. Ooh, that's cold. Oh, yes. Sorry. No, that's all right. What What is the cream you're rubbing on? Right now, she's just got a really nice smelling lotion. Oh. You, but we've got this stuff called Biofreeze. Biofreeze. For a lot of sports. Up a little bit. That's okay. How did you do this? I'm just not. I didn't do anything. Just I got up from the couch and it felt like I couldn't breathe. Did you hear a pop? Nope. Uh, that, where your where your left thumb is right there. is right, right about the center of it. It's in the lower area. Yeah. Let's try to get some of this out there. Glad to shave down back there today. Yeah. We also brought a TENS unit, which is going to help. What is that? This is a TENS unit is going to help out with relieving the pain yeah. and also getting ready to spasm. Electronic right. stimulation like I got when I, if you put the little pads on and you turn it up, it goes shock you. Is that going to hurt? No. Is this going to be a, a long process? I thought you guys were just going to, like, snap me. It'll take a little bit. <laughs> you want but me get can you actually sit in the chair? Face down? Yes. I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is going to go as quickly as I thought. It'll just take a moment. All right. It'll be quick. It won't take that long. All right. Okay. Yeah, stick that in my mug. <laughs> oh. Let me take this off. Uh, okay. So you're going to go All face right. down. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Let me feel through here first. Go okay. ahead. It's just going to kind of... It's over to the left, though. Um. Okay. But you feel where you want. All right. Just gonna kind of okay, I'm going to lift your shirt. Is that okay? Sure, go ahead. Okay. All right. <laughs> Treat yourself. <laughs> right there? Uh, a little bit higher. Ah! Okay. It is nicely inflamed. Is it? Yeah, it is. How does something like that get inflamed from doing nothing? Honestly, a lot of times when you have rotated ribs, they're more often up here. Oh. Okay? This is getting close to the low back. Is that bad? Well, it's not going to be an easy adjustment. Let's oh. put it that way. <laughs> but let's, uh, I'm going to have Billie Jean work yes. on relieving some of the inflammation, okay, okay. with the biofreeze. And she's going to start doing that right now. Do my pants need to come down any? Billie Jean? <laughs> I don't, I don't mind. No, he doesn't mind a bit. Yeah. He'd prefer oh, it. Have it. some. <laughs> Pull them back up. Yeah. Oh, Pull your God. pants up. Uh, the pain's up here, not down here. That's right. Okay. Uh, 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 let's put more of that. Bi Biofreeze will stay with you for a good hour. All okay. right. No gain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's our motto. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it almost fixed? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Just a little bit. Uh, you haven't, of course, yet. No, I know. <laughs> Why? Yeah, this is the uh, fun part. 
What is she doing right now? Yeah, Nick, Nick. Uh, Besides her, no, yeah, don't. She, she's trying to relieve the muscles. Uh -huh. Put your finger on the delay. I'm on the delay. I didn't say anything. I know. Sometimes you have to feel a little bit more pain for it to kind of loosen out, you know? So. We also have a uh, medical doctor that works with us, and he's on call. We well, told him that if you yeah. needed anti inflammatories or pain pills. Well, I got some of those. Okay. <sighs> Sure. I'll hold your hand. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. We'll take, we take care of all our patients. Do my pants need to come down some more? <laughs> Go with the pants. I think you're doing good. <laughs> Pull them back. Doing good. I'll get the stimulator out for you. Yeah. There we go. Is this a shock yeah. thing? Yeah. Yes. Is this going to hurt? It no. can. Well, it can if you don't do it right because the first time I put mine on, I... I just flipped it on, you you die. You think you're dying. You feel that bad for you? You have to do it very slowly. Yeah. yeah uh -huh. do, do these things normally just go away on their own? It's it's possible some do, some will. Yeah. But if it doesn't, you need a we need to take a closer look at you. Maybe take an X-ray. Do a more thorough exam. When he goes Obviously. home tonight, ice or heat? Ice. 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 Got it. Venega said heat. Well, you want to ice in the beginning, especially since usually uh, 72 hours after an injury or something right. like this. Just can ice it up. And then you can also do 20 minutes ice uh, okay. and then 20 minutes heat. Can somebody please pull my pants down? No. <laughs> you don't need your pants down. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> 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 Over the radio, I, I really thought myself. I'm sorry. your problem was up here somewhere. Because no. you can ro have a rotated rib. No. But no, this is much actually it lower. feels it feels better okay. over the last couple of hours. Okay. Here we go. Well, we're gonna leave this tens unit with you. Okay. And you can wear it actually all day all right. if you need it, as long as it takes. All right, we're about done here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that feels much better. Did he get an actual adjustment or just a massage? Oh, he didn't get the adjustment just because he's too... Okay. He's too... And tight. anyways, he's not in a good position to be okay. adjusted. Okay, no, you can't be adjusted. I mean, not like well, that. Well, what do I need to do for the adjustment? Well, I need to have a better mm -hmm. table uh -oh. and to have a more stable surface. I can't just lay on the floor? No. All right, then. Oh, fine. You know. <laughs> Here comes the tinge unit. Oh, but hold on, hold well, on. What are you doing? I'm Did not you know, done with you, you yet. You yeah. This is gonna Here help. we go. This will help. All right. How long does this stay on? This is going to stay with you all night, if you'd like. It's a hey. unit that you can actually buckle it yeah. to uh, your side. and. Take is this the same you. thing that uh, Target was selling that uh, people... <laughs> no. Makes your abs stronger. Ab <laughs> Abdomizer, no, yeah. no, it's not. No, it's not that. Is that what this is? <laughs> Much stronger. Similar, though. Yeah, this is actually... Well, tell me before you're going to turn it on. Okay, yeah, and if I'm going to turn it on right now, okay? It's got to be... It's got to feel comfortable. And I'm going to go up really slowly. All right. And what am I supposed to feel? You'll feel like little, like little, little bitty fingers going like that. All right. Hopefully. <laughs> it's going to be on like high or something. <laughs> yeah, that'll shock the bejesus out of you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you feeling anything yet? Not yet. No. Is it on? Because I've done that because it has a, it has one setting where it goes on and off, and so you turn it on yeah. and it's off, and you go, well, maybe that's not enough, and then it kicks in. No, nothing happened. That never came on. So. All right. Okay. You know what? My back feels better already. I'm sure it'll be fine in the morning. All right. so, yeah. So you guys don't you don't need to leave, leave this, especially if it's not working. Okay. Well, you can take these off off my back. Uh, yeah, let me pull my pants down a little bit. God, quit pulling your. <laughs> it's in your middle back. It's not in your butt. Well, it's okay. Is that far enough down? <laughs> Stop it. Thank you. Know, you. I can't even talk. We have a relief back pain. Um, also helps with your posture. Exactly. So squeeze it. Get so. Oh, like a lumbar support it? You got it. Yep. And it yeah. goes where you sit. So that's okay. for you. Don't forget about your shocking thing. Mm -hmm. Do we have the silk eye pillow too? Uh, yeah. so what are they talking about? I don't know. There's something else for you. There's yeah. another gift. Actually, come oh. to the clinic, and then you can get a real adjustment. Oh, where's the clinic? Absolutely. Where's the, where's the place? Let me see. 
Plano Forney Rockwall Mesquite. Yes, that's where all the sexy ladies are. That's my sexy staff. Very nice. I could go to. I could go to Plano. Yes. All right. So that you want to put in the freezer. This, okay. the eye pillow? You got it. And then... How's this going to help my back? Oh, no. It's, it's for your head. It just feels pretty good. I have one of those. Those are great. Yeah. Oh. It's for stress. Rob, come and get them out of here. <laughs> this is very nice. <laughs> yeah, nice little hug before all of you go. Rob. Hug, oh, you don't forget your chair. Yep, Rob. Thank you. 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 Thank all right. Well, you want to help them with the chair? Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, ladies. All right. Thank it does you. feel a little bit better. Does it? Well, I'll like massage that you. That biofreezes for you, too. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I get to keep that? Yes, you That's do. good stuff. Thank you, Rob. Hello. They were hot. They were. Nice. Quit pulling your pants down. <laughs> God. <laughs> Sure, you don't need to see my pants down. <laughs> Rob, they're still in here. <laughs> Rob, took it. Uh -huh. Rob, get them. Take one with you. Very nice. Bye. Thank you. Bye. You smell minty fresh, too. Here's a funny thing about all this. Yeah? My back don't hurt. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're kidding, right? You made all that up. <laughs> you are the biggest ass. No, it really does. Oh, okay. Who's on the hotline? Oh, hang on. Yeah? Tim Powers. Oh, okay. How are we doing, Club? We're cool. All right. Hi, Timmy. Good evening, Russ. Do you, uh, where are you right now? I'm on 35, uh, almost in Carrollton. All right, so you can't look at any of this paperwork that I've got on, uh, Alaric Mac. Yeah, well, I, no, I, I know what's in it, so, uh... Well, I can't, I, can... I can't understand any of this. The way, the way this started was some guy sent an email and said, hey, your buddy Al Mack got some uh, problems. And it sounded like he was talking about something current. And the paperwork that I've got doesn't show anything current. It, it ends, uh, his, seems like his uh, problems ended around 99. Right. And the, there may be things that are not located yet, but what I found in the Dallas uh, Family Courts Index were actually three different attorney general suits. One was an establishment of paternity. Uh, to determine who the father is of a particular child. Really? It, it really, and a child support order that was entered. Now, the way the attorney general suits usually come out is, is one of two things. Somebody is just not paying their child support. But more often than not, what happens is that uh, the mother of the child, usually a single mother, is requesting some sort of benefits, food stamps, WIC benefits, women's infants and children's benefits. And by applying for those, the attorney general gets involved and says, well, why aren't you getting child support? Well, you know, the father isn't paying. And the attorney general will institute... Well, I don't understand why the father wouldn't be paying. Mm, I, I well, that happens a lot more, I guess you think, because uh, it does. First of all... The well, I mean, in, in radio, you make pretty decent money. Sure. You should be able to take care... Unless you're blowing your uh, money on... Uh, mm. What are the words I'm thinking of? I don't know. Hookers? White women? White women, yes. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, first of all, the, the father may not know the child exists. That's one of the reasons you may not be paying. Okay. Uh, number two is that he may just not want to pay. Okay. And I, so I, I see a bunch of different listings on here. Is each one of these uh, a new baby, or is it all from the same baby? No, the, the first three, the ones in 92 and 93, appear that it's it's the same. The first one lists a, lists a, a, woman, a woman's name, and then mm -hmm. they list the child's name on the third line there. Mm -hmm. So basically, and the, the child's name is the same one on the, on the number six one, number five one, rather. So what's happened is there have either been additional suits because child support was in arrears or uh, it was adjusted because of a salary uh, differential. Okay. But the, the, the attorney general had to file suit against this person three different times to get child support or to adjust child support. Mm -hmm. What does uniform support mean? Uniform support usually means the person moves out of state. It's a uniform interstate act. Okay. And so the, what the child support is when you move out of state there's a uniform interstate compact which governs child support actions. What is a SPDG? That's speeding. Oh, that's something <laughs> something you and I are and everybody else is always guilty of. Right. Speeding and, and uh, yeah, those 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 other ones in the criminal courts are just minor minor traffic offenses. Okay. So the new stuff is coming. All this is just passed. The, 
the, the, the, the new stuff, uh, I've got somebody looking in the state that was... Uh, Wait, which we, we still don't know if there is new stuff. It's At this point, it's rumored. Right. At, at this point, we haven't confirmed it. This stuff we've confirmed by looking for the... Looking for the uh, the stuff that we were, you know, given in the email. This stuff kind of popped up when we did a search. Mm-hmm. But I've got somebody in the uh, in the state that was listed in the email, mm-hmm. uh, looking at that particular citation number. And if it exists, we'll find it. Well, good. All right. Thank you for the help. You have a nice day. All right. <clears throat> See ya. Very attractive, Tim Powers. TimPowers dot com. Well, it looks like someone. Yes. This Almeric, uh, Alaric Mac mm-hmm. has a uh, priorities problem. Does he? I don't want to come out and say that because this is just uh, mm. paper, and it's easy to put things on paper and make people look worse than they are. It certainly does. Easy to do. I'm sure there are valid reasons why he's running around trying to pick up white women <laughs> and not taking care of the, the chillins. <laughs> I don't know. I told him I wasn't done crawling up their ass. I know you did. You warned him. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling I could be wrong, Mm -hmm. and I certainly don't mind being wrong, but I'll bet all of this is just the tip. I bet there's a lot more that we ain't seen that that I'm not holding her up. (laughs) Could be. Hmm. It's pretty extensive, though. Paternity, paternity, uniform, paternity. Very sad. Yeah, well, busy, just busy doing other things. He'll catch up, no doubt. Right after he pays cable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stick those over there, Claude. We break here? Uh, yes. All right, we'll be back. I want to take line four. Yeah. Yes, Rebecca? Hey, so I heard on the news this morning that a local car dealership and radio station donated a car to those people whose car was stolen and taken for, you know, running from the police. Oh, and the, I was car, wondering if the car chase, had, yes. Yeah, I was wondering if you had anything to do with that. You were pretty adamant on the air that you weren't going to help them out, but I didn't know if you had a change of heart. Well, I hope you didn't, but you <laughs> I was wondering. There's no reason to always tell somebody when you do something nice. Well... I don't know. It sounded like something you might do, but I, I'm not, sure. I not, not every time that something happens, you need to know about it. Okay, then. Just checking. All right. Bye, dear. All right, bye, sweetie. Were you involved? God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I could have milked it. I could have milked it until whoever did it said something. The Russ Martin Show. This portion of the Russ Martin Show is brought to you by DFW Gun Range and Training Center. If you are addicted to us, we'll keep providing your fix. This is KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth. The Alternative Talk Station, Live 105.3. Live 105.3 and Jose Cuervo present the Russ Martin Show White Trash Party. Friday, March 18th at Gillies, Dallas. Featuring... Special guest back in black. I hit the sign. I hit the sign. Plus appearances from the Russ Martin Show Choir and Poison Cherry. How good was Loverboy the last time they played at the White Trash Party? Just ask Russ himself. Here he goes. Oh, 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 no. This is a party that you and Russ should really enjoy. Tickets now at gilliesdallas.com at the door or call 888-GILLIES with a portion of the proceeds to benefit the Russ Martin Show Listener Foundation, supporting the families of police and firemen who have courageously fallen in the line of duty. After this white trash party, you'll be screaming. The Russ Martin Show White Trash Party. Friday, March 18th at Gillies. From Live 105.3. 
GMC's NCAA March Madness event. Big deals for the big dance. Now, through March 31st, there's big savings from GM, an official corporate champion of the NCAA. Whether it's the sports we play, the hobbies we enjoy, or even the careers we excel at, we all reach for greatness in our own ways. Live 105.3 and Monster have partnered to help you reach for greatness in your careers every day. Go to live1053.com and click on the Monster banner. Monster can connect you with great local employers and great jobs in your area. You'll find easy ways to post your resume and Monster can also provide you with the career advice, resume tips, and networking opportunities to give you the tools you'll need to stay ahead of the curve and do better in your career. So to reach for greatness in your career, check out this terrific listing in Dallas-Fort Worth. Archstone Smith is seeking a leasing consultant for Mission Gate. Qualified candidates should have prior sales and customer service skills, strong communication skills, have a high tolerance for change, must be computer literate, and a college degree is preferred. And since you take your career seriously, Monster thinks you should take your vacation seriously too. Just go to live1053.com today and click on the Monster banner. You may have a chance to win the trip of a lifetime anywhere you want to go. Monster can take you there. Hey guys, are you having a tough day? Well, relief is in sight. The new Texas Showgirls Adult Men's Cabaret. Leave this world for a time of erotic relaxation. We're located on Composite at I-35 in Walnut Hill. Our stunning entertainers welcome you with open arms every day of the week until 2 a.m. We're the home of bachelor parties, corporate events, and the new executive champagne banquettes. A wild night at the new Texas Showgirls will be an experience you'll talk about forever. Oh, but you'll never forget. Our amazing entertainers know how to keep a secret. Hope you can, too. We are hot. Come see if you can handle it. For the fantasy experience to make you the king you deserve to be, it's the new Texas Showgirls. For more information, go to TXShowgirls.com. Located on Composite at I-35 and Walnut Hill in Dallas. Be there. Our showgirls are some of the finest in Texas. Come see for yourself. Don't disappoint us. We won't disappoint you. My needs are simple. I want my grass to live. I want my weeds to die. And I want people to ask me who my lawn service is. So I can say, me. You can remove the lawn and garden guesswork at the Home Depot. The only place you'll find Vigoro, the amazingly powerful, extremely easy-to-use fertilizer, along with other trusted brands. All at guaranteed low prices every day. And no one else has certified nursery consultants in every store who know how to help you renew your lawn and make your dollars work even harder. So for unbeatable prices, uncompromising brands, and unrivaled expertise, hurry into the Home Depot or the Home Depot Landscape Supply today. It's time to prepare your lawn for spring with Vigoro Weed and Feed. Vigoro greens in 72 hours, it's time released for extended feeding, and it kills more than 200 weeds, including dandelion and chickweed. If you're ready for spring, make sure your yard is too. Only at the Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. No, Jeff. All right. DNM Auto Leasing can get you in a new car tomorrow, maybe the next day since it's after 6 o'clock, but you can still call them. Uh, any area code, 35 lease, 35 L E A S E, no money down. 30 to 40% every month you can save over buying. If you buy something uh, with a high resale value, you could go up to 50%. If you're upside down in a vehicle, probably the best way that I can think of to right yourself. Because all the money that you're going to save will help you correct your finances on a vehicle that you owe more on. Get rid of it. Get into a vehicle from DNM. You put no money down, so you're saving cash already. And then all the money you save every month. Probably the easiest way to write yourself. You can call them. They'll, give, they'll break everything down for you. They'll tell you what it'll cost to lease a car, tell you what it'll cost to buy a car, and then you decide. Any option that, that they'll, they'll run through all the plans with you. Or go to their website. It's self-explanatory. DMAutoLeasing.com. You can fill out a form to tell you what your current car is worth. That way you make the decision. You want to keep it, trade it in, do whatever. Also has all the manufacturer's links. DMAutoLeasing.com or call them now. Any area code, 35 L-E-A-S-E. I've always been a big fan of free. Like any time I see a sign that says free puppies, I always take a couple. <laughs> and those free deli counter cheese cubes? Mm. I love those. So when I discovered that Comcast Digital Cable comes with free on demand, Woo-hoo! I was pleased. Imagine having tons of great shows that start the instant you say so and not having to pay for them. On demand has just what I want to watch, just waiting for me to push play. Everything from NFL Replay to Nickelodeon to Comedy Central, all free. Hey, satellite can't give me that. Yep, on demand even puts those free cologne spritzes at the mall to shame. More.
More. More. Order standard cable and get Comcast Digital Plus with On Demand for just $1 for the first month. Call 1-888-COMCAST today. Limited time offer not available in all areas. Certain restrictions apply. Call Comcast for details. After promotional period, regular monthly charges may apply. Better than anything you've ever heard. The Russ Martin Show. On the Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. <laughs> Live 105.3 and Jose Cuervo Margarita Mix present... Between you and me, I might get a little indecent tonight. Artie Lang. You ready for some dirty deeds, Dundee? Yeah, 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 yeah. Artie Lang from the Howard Stern Show. Two shows, Friday, April 1st at Lakewood Theater. You want to see a weapon of mass destruction? Look between a broad's legs. That's a weapon. Artie Lang, Friday, April 1st at Lakewood Theater. Tickets on sale now at all Ticketmaster locations. Keep listening to Live 105.3 to win your very own tickets. Party, party. party Lang. A wild night of drinking to me is when you drink so much that eventually you pass out, and when you wake up, you're naked in a police car with two cops. Party Lang. But the weird part is, you're driving. Party Lang from the Howard Stern Show, live at Lakewood Theater, Friday, April 1st, from the Alternative Talk Station. Oh, yeah! Live 105.3. If you're in the market for a brand new high-definition television, and you know that there are a lot of options and technologies to pick from, you can call the go-to guys at Digital Planet, 972-265-8500, and they can explain what HD is and the HD ready, and there's just a lot of stuff that goes on. They'll help you find a solution to your high-definition television needs. If you've got size restraints on a particular place in your home, or you want, they can do it all, from something really small to a full-blown media room. Also, if you're going to build a new home and you want to build a media room, they're also some Somebody really good to consult with because they can tell you what you want to do ahead of time, a pre-wiring or whatever, what television is going to be right for that room. Right now, this month's special, it's a 30-inch flat panel LCD HD TV monitor. Now you can get this for $16.99. Unbelievable low price of $16.99. At these prices, they're going to go fast uh, because I'm going to pick one up too. Digital Planet, 972-265-8500. Uh, these, these same TVs are going for around uh, three grand, so you can get one for uh, less than $1,700. 972-265-8500 for Digital Planet. If you can hear this commercial, if you're in the market for a pre-owned vehicle, listen carefully. Townies Ford in Mesquite has been designated the official Texas rental car depot. Decline in the travel sector has national car rental companies facing severe financial deficits. Hit it, hit it. To stabilize losses, they've shipped hundreds of high-quality, low-mileage rental vehicles to Townies Ford. Hundreds of cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs will be sold with no dealer markup, no high-pressure sales, no reasonable offer will be turned away, and only the official Texas Rental Car Depot can offer them. If you're looking for a great deal on a pre-owned vehicle, get to Townies Ford in Mesquite. Call 1-800-299-1078. That's 1-800-299-1078. Or log on to TowniesFord.com. These offers must end Monday night only at Townies Ford, the official Texas rental car depot on LBJ across from Townies Mall in Mesquite. Hurry, the best deals are going fast. The Alternative Talk Station, live 105.3. This segment brought to you by Tylock Eye and Laser Center, home of the 2020 Guarantee. To the Russ Martin Show. Feel a little bit better. Yeah, she's good. Have she, you been to that chick before? No, but I'm a massage therapist. They're normally good. To, and Tasso said she was good too. She rubbed down Tasso's before she left. Oh, <laughs> what? He had tension in his shoulders and back. Oh, and how did he? How did she know about that? Well, because he's a whiner. Well, yes. Because <laughs> you know they're on their way out and they got all their stuff and he's mm. probably hey, yeah, it's nice to meet you guys. I'm kind of tense right here in the in the. In the, right here in the, in the fat of my back. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Quit it. Oh, 
Maybe I go home and sit in that um, hot room, whatever it is, your sauna. What do you call that? Sauna? Sauna. Yeah. That I didn't know I had. Mm -hmm. It's funny because I walked into the weight room. There's not any weights in there, but that's what it was for. Right. I walked in there, looked around, and I came back out, and I saw the wooden door off to the right. Mm -hmm. And I think I remember seeing that at one point. <laughs> You've got so many rooms. You haven't even seen them all yet. Yeah, I have. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just making sure. So I went and sat in there for about 10 minutes. How long does it take to heat up? Does, does it stay hot? Or? Uh, there's a timer in there. If, I don't know. It took like five minutes. It's not bad. And that's dry heat, but you put water on the, on the rocks? Water, yeah, it's got two heating elements on the right, uh, okay. the right and the left, and in the center are those like lava rocks. Gotcha. And you pour water on those. Okay. I guess that's what I was doing. I don't know. Oh. Huh? What? Said, you're going to be, you're going to want to... Aren't you supposed to do that? Yeah, you're supposed to do that. But here's what you're going to do. You're going to get drunk and want to do this. You're, you're going to want to pee on them. Do, <laughs> do not pee on them. What? Why? Do, do not. Because it stinks to high All right. heaven. Okay. Just uh, just letting you know. It's just got drunk before several times in saunas, and everyone wants to do it, and it stinks bad. Just letting you know. All right. I'll put up a sign. <laughs> If you'd like to. Okay, here we go. <sighs> All right, 638, J.D. Ryan's here with me. Thank you, Russ. Part two is by Bell Bottoms, where you can see our very own clothes, not whizzing on Lava Rocks. Saturday night, it's going to be 8407 Grapevine Highway, North Richland Hills, from 9 to 11. Another white trash warm-up party. And Rob, Sports City Cafe, 1 to 3 on Sunday with a NASCAR watching party. Did you see all the paperwork that had to go in for us to... Uh for us to be able to test out that laminate. Oh, yeah. I had to go through legal and everybody else. Rob. Yes, sir. Do you still have that memo that uh, Purdy sent out? No, I don't have a copy of it. I can look for one. Why don't you go ask Pugs and Kelly since they like to read my crap on the air? <laughs> All right. We had this great big stink about the explosion in Gavin's office. Mm -hmm. And I mean a stink to where people almost got popped. I understand. Was bad. So when Rob goes to get the approval, because the, the laminate company, normally we just do it. We don't give a rat's ass. In the old days. We still wouldn't have given a rat's ass. Yeah. But the laminate company said, well, we got to make sure that everything's done right. Okay. So Rob says, all right, I'll submit it. They're not going to approve it because they're still whizzing and they're still pissing on lava rocks from the explosion. <laughs> And that stink hasn't cleared. Right. So there's no way this is going to happen. Two weeks later, here it is. <laughs> Says it's okay. Go. So Purdy sent it out. Um, no, it's from Gavin. But it was approved by Purdy. At some point uh, tomorrow, between 5.30 and 6, there will be a discharge of a firearm in our back parking lot where the remote vehicles park. We will be shooting into a new form of bulletproof glass. Uh, this demonstration has been approved by our legal department. Mm. With certain requirements. Your cooperation to it here, and then it goes on and on. No explosions. No. But it's okay to shoot at stuff in the parking lot. <laughs> Clear too legal. Dave, yeah. David from our production department says this is the only second place he's ever worked at. They put a memo out about discharging firearms. The other one was the sheriff's department. No. All right. Um, it says if you want to leave, you can leave, but you've, you've been warned ahead of time. All right. Go ahead. Okie dokie. According to a new survey, North Texans aren't quite as happy as some of our Lone Star State neighbors. Men's Health Magazine ranked El Paso, Laredo, and Corpus Christi in the top five least depressed cities in the country. Fort Worth and Arlington, by the way, tied for 58th on the most depressed list. Plano coming in at number 61 on the most depressed list. Dallas residents even more depressed. They're at number 79 on the most depressed list. The magazine ranked uh, cities based on factors such as antidepressant sales and suicide rates. Here's, I have the whole list here all the way down to about 80. Uh, this is going to the le from most depressed to the least depressed. Uh, Dallas. Why are they depressed? They're depressed. These are the, the um, they're ranked on suicide rate, antidepressant sales, things like that. Okay, go ahead. You bored with that already? I did. Try. Okay, Dallas. Let's see, St. Petersburg, Florida, not very depressed there. They're seventy six. Dallas and Garland, a little bit more depressed, even more so in in Houston, than Las Vegas. Plano's very depressed. Arlington and Fort Worth, understandably more depressed. Austin, Texas, is odd. They're depressed, uh, more so. We're working our way. 
down the list. Got it? I'm bored. A lot of car thieves are very civic-minded, as the Honda Civic, according to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, says that is the most stolen car. The 2000, the 19, two, or excuse me, the 2000 Honda Civic is the number one most stolen vehicle, followed by the 1989 Toyota Camry and the 1991 Honda Accord. Experts who study serial killers say uh, many resort to violence just to achieve power, and that has eluded them maybe in their professional or personal lives. Killers such as those who call themselves the BTK killer are basically losers who've never distinguished themselves except through brutality. That's according to James Allen Fox, a uh, basically a criminologist, and he's the author of a book called Extreme Killing. There's a lot of people that are obsessed with power, dominance, and control, and they satisfy the, most of them satisfy through their jobs, and if they can't, they sometimes turn to violence. Okay. Many serial killers share other similarities, dysfunctional backgrounds, feeling of abandonment and rejection, and a desire for recognition. Mm-hmm. Well, as a brand new police officer, uh, Chris Holden wanted to do everything he could to protect himself, especially after he heard about a highway patrolman who was shot to death after a struggle over a gun. So he began bulking up with steroids. Now Holden, who was 31. No, the hell they didn't offer. Tasso's just sent me an email. Well, they offered to massage me. They just walked through the building and look at people who look like they got back problems. You look tense. It's come in here. <laughs> He's still in the building? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He don't stop. No. Now he's yelling at me. Well, where is he? You want me? Yeah. How did everybody in the building, the chicks, decide they're going to rub on you? They offered anybody in the building. And I'm standing there. They go, why don't you just straddle this chair in Jeff's office and we'll start rubbing on your back. They just walked by and picked you. I'm standing right there with Rob helping them out of the building. And you and I think you of all people know that I know better than to start mooching on your stuff. Who got their back rubbed? You did, as well as I did, because they offered. I'm a little upset right now, as you can tell. What are you upset about? Because you're constantly depicting me as a whiner and it's starting to really bother me, I gotta be honest. <laughs> If you laugh, I'm really, I'm really starting to bother me. It's been a while since you've been doing this to me. Are you jacking me? I'm not jacking you. You know how much crap I get about this outside of this building? People swear, walk up to me. Swear to Jesus that you're not jacking me. Ain't going to make that the promo for the day. Absolutely. <laughs> you're welcome. Good job, T. Way to promote our show. <laughs> Are you, hey. re- you really upset? No. No. Not really. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I think I know better. We could have milked that for another 17 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for the promo. We appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Right. <laughs> Go on. As a brand new police <laughs> officer. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, it was very good. <laughs> hey, is he coming Saturday? I forget. Oh, to uh, the Spittleville shooting? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he asked me the other day if uh, if you thought it would be okay if he came, and I said, yeah, just ride with me. That's fine. I'm sure that they'll find something for you. Well, I mean, he could be one of the guys that runs out of the house. Ask him. I haven't even thought about that. Well, I totally forgot about it until he walked out, and I, I saw his fat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I would doubt he would do it naked, but... Well, he could have a towel. Yeah. Uh, he might do that. I don't know. Yeah. And, Cole, you're one of the guys, too, right? Uh, yeah. We ain't have any really naked, naked guys, are we? Anybody that wants to go out naked, it's fine. Okay. I'm decided it's been a while since we've humiliated him. Yeah, it's time. I mean, he can he can grab something to cover up his business on the way out. Yes. People enjoy seeing fat naked men run. <laughs> <laughs> That's more what? like a train wreck. Thing. No, God. we'll have to slow mo it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Jerry, it's a fire music. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. A brand new, as a brand new uh, Norman, Oklahoma police officer, Chris Holden wanted to do everything he could to protect himself, especially after he heard about a highway patrolman who was shot to death in a struggle over his handgun. So he started bulking up with steroids. Now Holden, who's 31, is out of work. One of four members of the Norman Police Department who were fired last fall after being accused of using or selling bodybuilding steroids. Police officers in uh, Mississippi, Ohio, Connecticut, 
Hawaii, Colorado, Alabama, Florida, Arkansas, and New York also been accused of these steroid-related offenses in recent years. In many cases, they were charged with using, possessing, or dealing in these steroids. Steroids are attractive to some officers who uh, know that intimidate, basically an intimidating physique can ward off conflict or give them the upper hand in a life or death struggle. But steroids can also lead to heart disease, liver damage, shrunken testicles, as well as uncontrolled aggression, or they call roid rage. Why so, would testosterone sh- uh, shrink up your nads? The reason why is because... Your nads produce it, and if yes. your body's getting it someplace else, they go, what the F? Right, then at that point, your body says, well, I'm getting it from outside the body. I, my use has pretty much gone out the window, so I'll just shrivel up for a while. Oh. Let's look at Rob's balls. No. <laughs> I see some balls. You're not curious? No, not at all. Rob, let's see your balls. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely, positively not. I won't look. Ah, let's look at him. You do. Chloe, will you look at him? What about you, Dan? Just sure. Why don't you just ask him? No. Somebody needs to see. It's medical. You're doing it too, though, right? I don't think I can. I'm not doing it. All right. We changed our minds. Thanks, though. (laughs) Are they small? (laughs) Do you want to see him? I don't really. How about if he just holds his junk out of the way? I don't want to. No, you look. I don't think I can. I I know I can't. What a Dave would train not to show up. <laughs> <laughs> That's three three or four pretty good lines out of you in two days. <laughs> Gotta get sick more often. It gets yeah. funnier. <laughs> anyway, this guy and three fellow mem- members of the Norman Force. Uh, Norman How Police about if Force. we all look? I can't. No, that, no, no. That that's famous last words from you. Oh, we'll all look, and, and we then won't. you duck or something, and we all get stuck with the balls in our face. This guy's in trouble anyway. <laughs> doing steroids. All right. Also, at a second on Michigan, a state uh, police trooper, you like this one, said he emptied his 13-round handgun through the windshield of a red Buick because he believed the driver was trying to kill him. Trooper Jaskin uh, Sack testified during a preliminary hearing for Roderick Smith after chasing the Buick through Saginaw's east side because of a traffic violation. The car actually struck him. He said he used deadly force because... Quote, he tried to kill me. Yes, sir, that's what it took. Smith, by the way, faces charges of assault with intent to commit great bodily harm against Sack. Intent to commit murder, also of uh, Robert Field Sr. and armed robbery stemming from an incident before the chase. Smith's brother, Anatole Smith, was a passenger in the car. Roderick Smith, by the way, suffered four gunshot wounds to the legs, buttocks, and abdomen. The brothers have now filed lawsuits in the U.S. District Court against the two troopers claiming they used brutal force and excessive force. They want $75,000. Good. For Men's Health Magazine, here's a profile of an unfaithful wife. You might want to see if you have one. First of all, is she she in her 30s? Basically, rates of infidelity start to rise in women in their mid-30s. She works. Working women are also more likely to cheat than stay-at-home wives. She comes home smelling like... (laughs) (laughs) That would be a hint. Yeah. Yes. I don't know what that smells like, but... <laughs> yeah, you know what smells like. No, just my own. Oh. Just my own. <laughs> well, everybody smells the same. How do I know that? I've never smelled anyone else's. I'm sure it does. <laughs> every, every time I've got it on me, it smells the same. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, she makes more than $75,000 a year. Same goes for men. The highly more paid, the highly more like they are to cheat. Number four... I wonder why that is. I just think... Probably you got, uh, you're not as worried about paying the bills, so you're a little more loose and fancy free. Uh-huh. You're not know, dependent on anybody for your living. Mm-hmm. Number four, she was married before. Second marriages are high in divorce rate and adultery. Number five, uh, one of her parents had an affair. Children of cheaters are more likely to cheat. Number six, she's unhappy with you. Really. <laughs> women, <laughs> women who say they're not too happy in their marriages are nearly four times as likely to cheat. Number seven, she has a one-year-old child. Two-thirds of wives reported a significant decline in marital satisfaction right around the one-year-old child age. Number eight, she doesn't go to church or synagogue. Women who have never attended church are three times more likely to cheat. Number nine, she's watched The Bachelorette while you're at poker night. If you don't do the same things, enjoy the same stuff, chances are you're drifting apart. Number ten, she has low self-esteem. That's a major benefactor to a woman. Yeah, and then they go out looking for external validation, and that's when they come home smelling like... (laughs) <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, what did you do? I just farted. Was that a fart? Yeah. It sounded like... A... I'm, so, I'm so happy. It's air, not water. <laughs> I can't tell you. It's like a five-year-old for the first time today. It's actually air. Hold on. Yeah, Brad? Hey, uh, tell JD that your 
junk, I guess you could say. Right. It smells like bleach or chlorine. Everyone's does. Yeah. Because my friend was playing around with his girlfriend, and next thing we know, in the back of the car, mm-hmm. the whole place smelled like bleach, and we knew what was going on. Yeah. Okay. So, it all smells the same. You never smell it, John? I've smelled mine. Thanks, Brad. I don't know that that's everyone smells like that. I've never smelled anyone else's, so I can't compare. Well, pretty much all bodily functions smell the same. Mm. Diet changes a little bit, but right. basically, I understand. It, it's pretty much uniform. Didn't know that. Learned it today. Okay. Profile of an unfaithful wife. A couple more. She's hot. If she's hot, guys are hitting on her all the time. Getting hotter if she's working out. That's a big, big warning flag. Um, let's see here. Also, if she's ovulating, do you research the shows that... I've heard about that. That's when they're, they're most apt to cheat is when their eggs are cooking. The rules of <laughs> women's sex fantasies of other men nearly double during their days of peak fertility. That's when they come home smelling like... Sp- <laughs> no, mm-hmm. they don't. <laughs> Last week, uh, let's see, this guy named Dan was playing around with a family sket, uh, pet skunk named Ozzy when Ozzy bit down hard on his man stuff. He was rushed to the hospital. He needed several stitches to stop the bleeding. Ozzy was immediately put to sleep, by the way. Why? Because he bit the guy on the thing and they had to do chest for rabies, which oh. is the procedure when a wild animal bites somebody. Right. His wife, Carol, by the way, his wife, Carol, find out, uh, found out, and she was furious. Firstly, she said that uh, Dan's injury was his own fault for playing with uh, too rough with Ozzy. And she Why did wa- you point out the name Carol? I don't know. Secondly, she uh, blames him for getting Ozzy put to sleep without her having a chance to say goodbye. Test proved, by the way, that Ozzy was, in fact, rabies-free. We talked about this a few weeks ago. The guy that was uh, caught uh, running down the street covered in not- naked, covered in nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be going to jail. Michael David Maughan was busted in Maryland last uh, summer on his 23rd birthday. Police said he was running nude and covered in nacho cheese. <laughs> in a deal with the prosecutors, Maughan... Is, is that important to the story of what kind of cheese it was? It's no, not really. Other than nachos, it's just easier to spread. <laughs> Mon was pleaded guilty to burglary, indecency, indecent exposure, and other charges. He is sentenced to three years in prison, but given a supervised probation. He was very drunk, by the way, when he broke into that swimming pool snack bar, naked, covered in cheese. Kanye West now says he wants to be paid if he's going to do any more magazine covers. He said these magazines make money from ads and subscription, but I know that's part of what drives the subscription is what's on the cover. You going to me on the cover? You going to pay me? Editors of Esquire say there's no chance of us paying him ever to do a cover. We wish him all the luck in the world. Uh, the folks from Ebony say I love Kanye, but we don't pay for covers. Never have, never will. He's got a lot of learning to do. I didn't know that uh, people got. Didn't get paid for those? I didn't either. You would think just simply because the fact you picked that up because who's on the cover? Huh. You'd get something anyway. Huh. Michelle's, uh, Michelle. What, Dan? I was going to say it's usually a trade-off because they're always on the magazine covers when they have something, you know, big to promote. Oh, that's true. So I suppose. You get back and forth. I got it. And finally, Michelle, Michelle Zip of Playgirl said her magazine would gladly pay him for a cover if he would be nude inside. Hold on. How are you doing, Chloe? Now? You got anything uh, fancy to end with? Mm, Robin Williams talking about censorship. I can't stand him. Yeah, well, there's news and information. Then I'm J.D. Ryan. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. Home of NASCAR and Texas Motor Speedway is KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, the alternative talk station. Live. Five, three. Hey, it's Bugs. And Kelly. From the Midday Show on the Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. You know, when it comes time to get a new car, Autoflex Leasing in Richardson and Arlington has the best deals in the country. Do you know why, Bugs? It's because they're like me. Easy, quick, and cheap. Autoflex Leasing is a direct leaser, so you can lease direct and save. Their exclusive Flex Lease is a lease purchase program where you can lease your car, save 40 to 50% off your car payment, and at the end of your lease, you can buy it or simply walk away. Leasing is cheaper than buying, and the smart people quit buying their their car 
cars years ago. Think for a minute. You can get more car for less money and, depending on the term, always be in warranty. Let's hear that again. You will always be in warranty. Now, isn't that a nice feeling? Yes, it is, Pugs. Autoflex Leasing makes it simple. That's 817 or 972 area codes 234-1234. Finally, find out why Autoflex Leasing has become the number one choice of smart customers. Remember, it's easy, it saves you money, and you'll get the best lease available at Autoflex Leasing. It's 817 or 972-234-1234. Make that call today and be driving your new car tomorrow. I'm Johnny Carrava. And I'm Damien. Carrava's Italian Grill is getting ready for dinner. It's not your typical Italian. Our ancestors are from Sicily. They came in the late 1800s, 1896, I believe. They had first-class tickets on the Boeing 747. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> they wanted a better opportunity, so that's why they left Sicily. Our family migrated to Texas, and we made our homes in the South. There's a lot of correlation between Sicily and Texas. You've always heard of Southern hospitality, but here, our hospitality is doubled. Like Carabas Italian Grill, it's kind of like Southern hospitality meets Southern Italian hospitality. <laughs> Caraba is from the Corleone area. It's a real Sicilian name. Growing up, people always had a hard time pronouncing my name. People chop it up pretty good. You know, Caraba, Carababa, Caramba. It's a really easy name to pronounce. It's Caraba. Come to Carabas for dinner. Enjoy chicken marsala, garlic mashed potatoes, and a little touch of Southern hospitality. We're just good old Italian-American boys trying to carry on a family tradition. At Carabas Italian Grill, it's not your typical Italian. Ciao, y'all. Buying car insurance is hard. To demonstrate how eSurance.com, the online auto insurance company, makes it easy, I'm going to log on and get a quote while my boss isn't looking. Jenkins! Oops. Hi, boss. I've told you a thousand times the staple should be at a perfect right angle to the top of the page. Right, sir. You know best. So I'm logging on to eSurance, E-S-U-R-A-N-C-E dot com. With eSurance.com, you choose the coverage that's right for you. Get a quote instantly, buy it, and you're done. It's that fast and easy. And make sure you use pencils. I'm allergic to ink. Uh, yes, sir. Anyway, at eSurance.com, you could also log on and get comparison quotes so you can see other companies' prices and know you're getting a great deal. And you're the only one who knows since you can do everything online. eSurance.com is so easy, you could even save yourself some money right under your boss's nose. <laughs> log on to eSurance.com today. Quote, buy, print instantly at eSurance.com. Nissan introduced 10 bold, powerful cars and trucks and achieved the biggest sales increases in America. What's next? Nissan's Drive to a Million Sales event. We're out to break a record. One million sales. So you get great offers on select new Nissans. Like the stylish redesigned Nissan Altima. Now lease the 2005 Nissan Altima 2.5 S automatic for just $199 a month for 24 months with $16.99 initial payment. The Nissan Altima. Now just $199 a month. Only at Nissan's Drive to a Million sales event. We're going to drive to a million so you get to drive a new 2005 Ultima. See your Nissan dealer by March 31st. We're in a drive to a million, so you get great offers on select new Nissans. Nissan, shift your ride. Sales increase based on PAI Auto Data CY 2004. Tax, title, license, and options extra. Call 1-800-858-8319 for lease details. Offer ends 331.05. The Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. Is your fat wife here? No, she's not. See the email in the studio account about uh, my neighbors? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> some of the neighbors aren't too happy. I can tell. You see that? That haven't been in the house a week. How could they not be happy already? Well, I haven't done anything. I know, but it's just reputation, radio, rowdy. <clears throat> they don't know. The guy that lived there before was landing helicopters in the backyard. <laughs> They should be pleased that you're, <laughs> you now own it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, you're a quiet neighbor. It's not like you have, you know, trouble parading around the, through the neighborhood. No, you're a quiet guy, really, comparatively. I'm sure he had parties, and he won't have that many parties. Well, right? the, here, here's what the email says. Uh, I was talking with one of uh, my uh, bosses here at uh, work, and he confirmed what I've been suspecting, that you moved in a few doors down from him. I figured that they were moving into that area from some of the hints. But uh, then when he just happened to mention that the Batmobile was driving down the street and some of the neighbors weren't too happy, I figured that was you. Mm. Doesn't say why. Doesn't say anything else. Yeah. Just you don't fit in in that group. They're all probably... What's the group to fit in? Well, they're probably all high-powered executives <laughs> and major corporations that wear suits. And, you know. It's all new money anyway. Why do, they, why do they have to be so uppity? Yeah. You don't know they're new money. Well, new well to me, new money it means you made it yourself. Right. Old money is something you were handed. Yeah. Right. And to me, the area where you moved into tends to be a newer money type area. Well, why would they be pissy then? That's my point. I, they because don't have a reason to be. You don't fit in their social group. All right, what groups are we in now? No, it's just guys that wear suits. Why is it every time that some kind of group comes up, I, I ain't in it? Regardless of what it is, regardless of what circle, group, or the... Uh, uh, Click. Social click. structure. It's just different. You always put me in my own group. It's because you are. And ain't nobody else in mine. <laughs> yes, there are. Just not in that neighborhood. <laughs> it's just those guys wear suits. They go to the country club. They're very high. They don't know me. I, know I haven't don't. done anything. Know. All they did, they see the, the Batmobile and the Mach 5 come in, and that's it. I know. Just cartoon cars driving down the street must bug them. Do we know if the cowboy player got the same cool reception? <sighs> I don't know. We're We're f- probably not. Radio people are just known as troublemakers. And I don't think Dallas Cowboys, for the most part, especially when they have families and such, are. What did you say about the Cowboys? Well, the, if they have families and are more or less settled down, I realize some of them don't have their reputation. Some of them make white people fly. <laughs> <laughs> some of them. Very, very few. Uh, Small percentage. S- some of them get busted for uh, transporting drugs. I know that. They, they probably raised an eyebrow or two when they heard a Dallas Cowboy was moving. Anybody moved in, they realized he was a Yeah, you know what? Guy. Probably not. Because anytime it's a, a professional that's, athlete, people always glom all over that. Yeah, that's got some status to it. Radio got a status. Tough. Wait till I get drunk and start riding around on that lawnmower. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe. I'll throw on the cowl and the cape, and I'm going naked. No. <laughs> there was no doubt in my mind. I went to those guys. I forget the company that brought up all the lawnmowers, but I bought one of those riding mowers. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to come tomorrow. Great. That'll be fun. I'll have that for the weekend. My player did. Yeah, Jason. Hey, Russ. Yeah. Uh, the former hockey player that used to own your beautiful castle there. Yeah. Went to a party in one of the houses, and one of his uh, hockey teammates was doing donuts in the middle of the street. So I don't think I'd see you doing that, that kind of stuff in parties and such. I, it, all right, thanks. It's not the point. The point is the reputation of radio well, the, the, the point is, they don't know me. There's no, a chance don't. that most of those people aren't even listeners. I know that the guy next door is, mm-hmm. because I got an email from him that said, welcome to the neighborhood. Very nice. But the rest of them probably have no clue who I am or what I do. The word is spreading that you're a radio guy. That the word zany and hap and wacky come with those words. It's not you. They don't know you. You're right. Huh? You ready to go, Dan? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the wrong one. There it is. All right. But first, one more time before we go. Hmm? Is, is your fat wife here? No, she's not. For more information about the Russ Martin Show, pictures, links, video, and more, just go to RussMartin.com. To get answers to any question you might ever have about the show, go to RussMartin.info. To instant email only during the show, send that to studio at RussMartin.com. The other show websites are JohnDavidRyan.com, TheGrandDragon.com, DanAntasos.com, GailLightfoot.com, and DJClo.com. Dot com. For more information on the Spittleville production, go to spittleville.com. For Black Eddie's weather information website, go to weatherinig.com. That's what I need to do. I, I need to get Black Eddie to stand in my front yard <laughs> in the middle of a fountain with a water hose. No, you don't. <laughs> and just stand there all day like that's what I bought. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't piss him off at all. That's what I'm going for. Go ahead. 
somewhere in your old neighborhood, I just hear this collective sigh of relief. <laughs> you moved. I ain't sold the house yet. That's true. Go ahead. And the official site for KLLI is live1053.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you, tomorrow. you can now listen to the Russ Martin Show anytime you want on the web at russmartin.info. Is, is your fat wife here? No, she's not. The Russ Martin Show on the Alternative Talk Station. Live. Live. Pontiac's NCAA March May. Imagine a natural wood and stone hunting lodge stocked with some of the finest game known to man. Maxim Magazine calls it the best strip club in Dallas. USA Today calls it a palace, the lodge, with the best food, best drinks, and finest cigars. The Dallas Observer says it's the best men's club in Dallas, and Gentleman's Quarterly says the lodge takes the gentleman's club industry to a new level of luxury. You've heard me tell you for the past two years about the lodge's beautiful theme rooms, like the Casablanca VIP balcony, the library, the wine cellar, which remains a cigar-friendly hideaway. Come and enjoy Chef Adrian's $5 five-star lunches or steak and lobster for just $15. The Lodge, the only game in town located on Spangler Road just off Northwest Highway west of Stemmons. Call 972-506-9229. Join The Lodge every Saturday for free. Strip for our lover classes every Saturday at 7 p.m. Couples in free every Saturday before 9 p.m. at The Lodge. Sure, you can't get something for nothing, but you'll come pretty close with Dish Network Satellite TV. Call now at 469-713-5555, and for a $49.99 activation fee, you can get up to four rooms in your house set up with standard professional installation. You heard me, $49.99, and you know what? Dish Network's going to give you a credit for $49.99, making the activation free. Hey, this even includes the Dish Player DVR, letting you pause live TV, skip recorded commercials, and more. Or, if you want, get a high-definition receiver so you can enjoy the clarity of HD television. And since Dish Network is the home at the lowest all-digital price in America, you'll get a great deal on programming also. Call SAPRO Network now at 469-713-5555 and find out how you can get Dish Network Satellite TV with no equipment to buy, standard professional installation, and the best deal in town with $200 in cash rebates. Members of the Better Business Bureau right here in Plano, 469-713-5555. Call 469-713-5555.